It's the Bob and Tom Show. When I was a small boy, I'd climb into my bed. My mother would turn off the light and pat my little head. She would tell me lessons she had learned, impart wisdom she passed along. Then she'd stand in my shadowed room and sing this little song. Never trust a puppet. <laughs> Puppets are untrue. No matter what the puppet says, she don't care about you. Never trust a puppet. Puppets are insincere. Somehow everyone always finds out what you whisper in a puppet's ear. <laughs> when I was a young girl, I got a puppet for my birthday. We went everywhere together and played and laughed and sang. But the puppet started lying and taking things that didn't belong to it and saying inappropriate things at my parents' parties. And one night when I was asleep, the puppet ran away. <laughs> Never trust a puppet or the fish that they share. There is something not quite right in a puppet stare. Never give your heart to a puppet. Always stay on your guard. Puppets will betray you. Puppets are so weird. <laughs> when I was a tiny girl, my aunt had a little lamb puppet. She would use as an oven mitt and take a hot casserole out of the oven. <laughs> then she would chase me round the house with a puppet on her hand, screaming, I burned my tongue, I burned my tongue! <laughs> No matter what the puppet says, they don't care about you. Hey, it's the Bob and Tom Show. You know, Haywood's right. Puppets don't care about you. And oh. I need to remember that. Yeah. <laughs> There's Christy Lee at the news desk. Hi there, Josh. Pat Godwin in the music laboratory. Hello, Josh. Well, my, oh, my, if it isn't Jeff Oskey over there sitting at the sports desk. Mr. Arnold. Ace Cosby. Howdy. We're looking forward to your joke or jokes of the day, yeah. Tom. I think so. I think we're minus one. Oh, okay. Yes, I promised a twofer yesterday. We didn't get it. I, I think maybe just around the corner, an early edition. Well, I am Josh Arnold. There's Tom Griswold. That means somebody lied to you yesterday. Uh, oh, we've been lying to I didn't lie to anybody. Uh, well, I'm, I, not today. It? Okay. Uh, not yet. <laughs> not yet. There's <laughs> time. Yeah, no, look, at the, look, yeah. look at the clock. I, sure, you're the first uh, people I've talked to today. Uh, see, now, a, a chicks are a little bit under the weather today. Oh, man. Oh, really? Yeah. That's a shame. It is cold and flu season. Uh, oh, yeah. I think there's like an RSV epidemic going out there. Oh, oh yeah. Maybe it's REO. Um, that would be more fun. Yeah. A it. lot more fun. Got it from a friend. <laughs> who got, got it from, from a friend. Who got, got it from, from another you've been dicking. Uh, <laughs> Wait, what? I, don't know. I, don't know. I forget the lyrics. <laughs> I'm messing. <laughs> messing around. Okay. Okay. Got, that's very nice. Uh, yeah, we got a lot to get to anyway, um, including some stuff in the world of sports. I know in the world of college basketball, a couple of those... Uh, Ooh, upset. 
Yep, up, up. Uh, one and two lose last night, Purdue and Houston. To each other, which is weird. Um, no, not to each other. It's a very odd game. It's uh, really yeah. to totally unusual. It's, you talk about it, a unique situation. <laughs> How could both teams lose at the same time? Uh, we'll find out about that. Uh, we have other exciting things. I've been going through a ton of news over here. Wow, we have um, fun dog news. Oh, good. Um, as usual. This, uh, this Dogs time. are the best. Yeah. Um, I want a dog. Yeah, Get a yeah. dog, Pat. No, you should not. I, I love you, Pat, but you yeah, I, you I, can't. You, you're too busy. Yeah, I am too busy. You're, I should start, start with plants, busy. maybe. Maybe a plant or two. No, I'm with, well, I, Jeff I, gave you a plant. I, I, I'm with Oscar here. <laughs> he, uh, Pat can't keep himself a plant alive. Yeah, he barely true. has his, his own life together. Maybe a cactus. Uh, yeah. yeah. Didn't you give him a cactus for Christmas? I did. A succulent? Uh, is your plant so alive? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Oh, oh okay. good. Jimmy takes care of it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jimmy. Um, we have, uh, I think maybe we've reached the apex in this particular topic. Here's the headline. Taylor Swift's cat uh, has a higher net worth than Travis Kelsey. Whoa. Oh, come on. How would they... What? I wonder if her cat has a social media following. Yeah, apparently. It's paid. I have to dig deep, and apparently the cat has, uh, like, her own... Uh, a merchandise line or something. Yeah. Does she have nine yeah. life insurance policies? Do cats have to carry that? I, I don't know. <laughs> Good idea. Right? Um, mm. uh, let's see now. Uh, also uh, coming up, we have uh, boy, what's in the news every day. AI in the news. And uh, we got a, a, one I'm really excited about for Josh because, mm. uh, as you know, right now is the famous uh, electronic show. Yes, out in Vegas. And, um, you know, every once in a while they have a truly revolutionary event take place at that show there'll be some product that's absolutely you know redefining the world mm -hmm. of uh, for example the cell phone uh, the, any kind of digital technology but then then after then it gets kind of boring for a while and they have to start applying some of this new stuff to virtually everything uh for example toilets mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we're gonna find out about uh Got a lot of toilet news the uh the digital toilet revolution oh and here in the usa i think we can safely say we have uh, pretty much established uh, the toilet protocols for all contemporary cultures. I mean, mm -hmm. you, know, you know, USA, USA, USA. You know, you know what I'm saying? American standard, if you will. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, no one goes, I'll tell you what, India's got the uh, defecation thing down. No. No. Uh, people water ski in the Ganges avoiding turds. Uh, Maybe okay. some odd dogs. Nice. Although uh, there is a movement right now, uh, <laughs> so to speak. Nice movement. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, Good job. But uh, some people who, uh, some fighters who I watch have come to the U.S. are don't like the way we do stuff. They think that you should have a bidet. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, and they're like, and their argument is, if you stepped in it, would you just go wipe it off with a towel, or would you go <laughs> hose your foot off? Good point. And I'm like, I never thought about it like that. that. Is a good and point. they're like, you're just smearing it around, my friends. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta wash it off. And I never looked at it from that angle. Well, I'm going for the bidet. I'm one, I'm gonna order a bidet today. Yeah. Well, this bidet is, today. <laughs> this is about uh, this is about the um, uh, the what is it? The uniting of. Some of the most contemporary digital technologies with the bidet. Okay, you'll be you'll be quite surprised. Uh, and I know Josh, you are a bidet man. Yeah, you, I, you have a. Uh, I have one. An, but you have an, an aftermarket bidet. Yes. Installed in your toilet facility. Yeah, yeah. It's and just, it works really well. It does. I mean, you still have to wipe. Yeah, but yeah, it doesn't oh. take. It's not a hundred percent, but it works well. Cool. Okay. I love it. Uh, well, Wolf, you're going to be surprised. You may want to take this up a level. Okay, I'm upgrade. excited to hear yeah, about. Yeah, get an upgrade. Yeah, I mean, it's. You mean like put in a whole new? I mean, this whatever is, this is that yeah. the consumer yeah. electronics oh. show. I'm not going to use the word laser technology, oh. but okay. uh, it's close. Mm. That could be... Do you want lasers <laughs> flying around your uh, your junk? That could... <laughs> See, that's the... no, that's why. I... No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That. <laughs> <laughs> but if you think about the integration, it would be possible now that you could do your thing, and then people could like or subscribe <laughs> to your. <laughs> Yeah, I'm surprised there isn't. That's... Oh, there is one. It's there's an app. Oh, oh the poop man. app. All my kids are on it, and you log when you go, no. and all your friends log. can see where you no. go. Yeah, I'm not making it's that. just where and there's when you go. Right. Millions and millions of people on this, and you can mark like, oh, it was you know, 
tough or a floater. Oh, or a, oh boy. And describe it, and all your friends check in throughout the day, and everybody keeps track of who's going well, when. You know, when God wakes up from his nap, <laughs> <laughs> which apparently, judging by the contemporary situation the world is in, when God wakes up from his nap, that may be one of the first things to go. That's ridiculous. Uh, even God's going to no, go, No, I'm really? not joking. <laughs> Tens of millions of people are on this app. I, that's, that's fine. And that's we'll okay. just be riding in the car, and somebody will be like, oh, my friend just went down at the Target. Oh. <laughs> I can see that because for health issues, you know, a doctor caught something about you from your breathing. If well, somebody's reading about your uh, movement, they might go, oh. Hey, 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 you know you went six times yesterday, Kevin? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I mean, man, might have an issue. I mean, we live in a world of uh, what is it? TMI, too much information. Yes, yeah. this defines. It's one. It's this isn't a medical thing. This is some kind of weird. <laughs> God, that is sad. Oh, I'm sorry. So also, also, let's see. What do we have coming up that's of a, of a pleasant nature, uh, Christy? Anything over that's going to make you happy? Um, well, I found it interesting that they're saying that guys only need to change their underwear every other day now. Every other oh, day. Yeah. Done. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, I found, no. an, I, I saw that article, and then I found another story. This is really kind of interesting about, um, for both men and women, a very lengthy piece. I'll have to do some editing here about uh, what the best kind of underwear is hmm. and, and what, I mean, fabric, shape, cotton. et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Got to go with cotton. Yeah. Um, so we'll find, out, we'll find out about that. So let's see. Bamboo. Bamboo. Bam. On, uh, Not a bad choice. It's hard to walk in, but yeah. Um, that's, okay, Pat, you, you think you're joking. Bamboo that's, sheets are my favorite. There is a thing in this, and I didn't get it. It said bamboo underwear. Yeah. Really? Bamboo. Yeah, Isn't it's like it, a bamboo cotton type of fabric, and it's wonderful. So it's not like, like, like little flutes. No. It's not like little flutes. <laughs> it's not. Like, like Zamfir. I little flutes. <laughs> I think no. I got the A sharp up my ass. No. I don't need all these tubes. They spin a nice fiber out of bamboo. They do. I highly recommend their sheets. God, when I was a kid, we used to go to uh, Starving Pandas or Furious. No, we, we, we used to go to Round Lake. They're all and the guy, uh, God, what was his name? He had uh, bamboo fishing poles. Oh sure. yeah! Wow! Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm serious. It was great. That is. That's why. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mr. Kleinhans was his name. Now that I think about it, <laughs> and you'd put you'd put worms in the hooks and drop them with your bamboo pole and pull out. <laughs> yeah, that's how fishing. Pull out. Well, that's pull how out fishing the, works. Pull out the bluegills. That's right, Pat. <laughs> Pat. Your, 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 microphone, and your microphone is going off. <laughs> Bamboo poles, Pat. It was just simple. It was a simpler life. It's we didn't have, it we didn't Mark have, Twain. We still there. have some. We, we had those have, when I was a kid. Yeah. We didn't have laser-powered fecal bunghole material <laughs> cleansing at, 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 at the Las Vegas electronic show. It was a simpler and a better world. Okay. Ashley's Crunch Bars, peanut butter, <laughs> peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. God, it was great. It's so wistful over there. <laughs> we, they're still here. No, the, ba the bamboo. It just made me, made me think of uh, Mr. Klein Hansen renting the boat and going on the I'm so glad you have like, that nice memory. That's yeah, sweet. My dad would be in the boat. It was fun. Aww. Now, um, we also have something that uh, we're going to have to dig around. They, uh, we're going to have to dig around. Don't bat. No. We're going to have to dig around. We have a um, very unusual thing in the world of chewing gum. Yeah, kind of bum uh, me out. Yeah, uh, you're gonna be. You'll be. You'll find out what it is. Okay. Hmm, Your hint is Zuba's pants. Yeah. Right now, I want to talk about Steven Singer Jewelers. Steven uh, saved a lot of folks during the holiday season, and fellas, I'm glad you had time to breathe for a week. Why? Well, that's over now. Oh, because uh, Valentine's Day's coming up. Valentine's Day's out there going. Hello, hello. Around you better get something. Okay, uh, this is Home Run Tom talking. That's right. Uh, Steven Singer Jewelers, he's got uh, everything you need. In fact, right now, Steven has uh, the hottest color out there. He's the I Hate Steven Singer guy. You find mm -hmm. him at IHateStevenSinger.com. It's called Malibu Pink. What am I talking about? I'm talking about the fastest-selling 24-karat gold-dipped rose in history. It's new. It's Malibu Pink. This is the iconic color of uh, what of shoes and fashion. That's been a big color this year. And, uh, yeah, it's everywhere, um, and it's available now. At Steven Singer Jewelers, the 24-karat gold roses, every year the number one gift for Valentine's Day. A lot of our listeners collect these. And we don't have one. Do we have one in yet? We don't even have the one in the studio yet. We will soon. Um, what, what these are, they're real roses, and they're, uh, they're co covered in 24-karat gold. And then they're hand-finished. 
and uh, with a beautiful this year, the beautiful Malibu pink. Well, you can get whatever color you like, but this is the one. And they start at just 59 bucks. And I'll tell you this right now. Free shipping. Check. Free personalized Valentine's Day card. Check. Free lifetime guarantee. And it arrives in a beautiful signature gift box. Fellas, I have you completely covered right here, right now. Uh, be, watch out for the knockoffs. Don't get the fake ones. Get the real one at IHateStevenSinger.com. Once again, starting at just 59 bucks. IHateStevenSinger.com. Get this done right now. Pull over. Uh, IHateStevenSinger.com. Tell Mr. Singer, everybody at the Bob and Tom Show said, hey, we're coming right back. This is the Bob and Tom Show. pushed you really hard mm -hmm. he did i mean but you think about it he pushed me in athletics that's sort of a normal thing to push your kid in right i mean you know there's people out there who spend their whole lives trying to find bigfoot <laughs> <laughs> How, how'd you like to have that guy pushing you, you know? do you even want to find bigfoot son because you don't act like it <laughs> you don't have a tracking map you don't have night goggles you don't know how to make a plaster mold out of a footprint <laughs> What, do you think he's going to just show up, son? You, oh, wait, there's somebody at the door. It's Bigfoot, Greg. You found Bigfoot? That's not the way it works, pal. You better shape up, because right now I don't think you could find the neighbor's dog. And Jesus said, take this bread and eat it. It is my body. And the disciple said, Jesus, we're all on low-carb diet. <laughs> we appreciate you dying for our sins, but we're all trying to slim down. Right <laughs> we want to look good in the painting. Hi, this is comedian Sean Morey, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. My gosh, if we don't appreciate having you here, I know we all love seeing one another, don't we? We sure do. Yeah. Tom, would you say so? <laughs> I think selectively. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't know there was there a, a number a, of people here. I'm not caveats. Saying all of them. <laughs> I'm busy over here, so I can take over. Oh, sure. Happy to. I know we have a song coming out of Pat Godwin's uh, pipes uh, here in a little bit. That was, that was, that that was, was delicately clumsy. worded. I was wondering where that was going. You're doing I'm, a hell of a job. You don't listen to that. You think I, I listen to... I hope not. <laughs> I'm busy over here. Keep talking. Oh, oh. for Pete's. You know what he was busy doing? doing just now? What? Swigging water. Yeah. No, I'm, take, I'm taking my morning pill regimen. Oh, oh boy. On an empty stomach. Don't mix Ooh. them up. I, I know. I'll go eat some of those... Um, what are those things? Those prunes in there? At least he's doing it himself now. We used to have to hide it in his cheese cube. <laughs> <laughs> Shove it down his yeah. He would always find it, though, and spit it out. I it know, was amazing. It was amazing. <laughs> yeah, I have that dog. Do you have that dog? Oh, you, yes. yes. You could you could put a uh, <laughs> you could put a small pill in ground filet mignon, and he goes, <laughs> and then all of a sudden, yeah. and then it comes out. Yeah, that's, that's a magic trick. <laughs> we have a great dog story coming up this morning. Mm-hmm. 
Barry is very excited about this. Did you see the video of this dog? Yes. The, the essence of it is this dog breaks out of the kennel and tries to get all the other dogs out like a prison run. Oh, that's mm -hmm. awesome. So sweet. <laughs> uh, we'll get to that coming up. Um, also, oh, I don't, wanted to mention this. Yesterday, let me see if I can find this. Um, give me a couple teasers, Christy, while I explore trying to find Oh, we have this. a couple of world records coming up. We have a guy who's uh, going to go to jail for his sock on penis stunt. We'll talk about that. So huh? the old... Uh, Wearing the sock on hot chili yeah, peppers. He was in a band. What's the what's the red hot chili peppers? Yeah, sure. Chili peppers, yeah. yeah. I've always wondered about that. What? What? If that sock is in a you... hard rock cafe somewhere. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's a great question. <laughs> I'll bet it is. You could I bet put, it you, is you, too. Could put, you could put that on uh, one of those auction websites. Who's gonna know? <laughs> um, when you do that. If, if, do you want to explain exactly how what it looks like, the Josh? That, uh... Sure. No, it looks almost like a wind sock uh, when you put it over the uh, male member there. It'll, the sock over the male. Now, see, here's you my question. You got to keep it on. Do you, That's do the you key. Put, do you uh, put the uh, sacular area in as well to to so it stays up? Uh, did he? I, I think. Or do you use it like a rubber band or a zip tie? Yeah, do you have you have to keep it on somehow. I would think. Well, yeah, they use the tube sock. Yeah, the, there, there must there must be a trick. They must do, really do you, be gifted. Were they all wearing them or just uh, flea? Just they were flea. All, I, I thought no, just they all had no, 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 no. Yeah, they, they all had it. Okay, hmm. They there must have been a trick too. Because because remember, it's about the music. Well, they were having a good time. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to see the Eagles up there. <laughs> Don Henley gets away from <laughs> that. That'd, so that'd be a hell of a show. Yeah. Yeah. Straps on it. Uh, you can't Joe hide. Walsh. <laughs> Joe Walsh would do that. Yeah. I'm, I'm guessing Joe Walsh yeah. would need a, a wind sock. Yeah. Just thinking about it. To, with his guitar skill level, he's got to be hung like a donkey. <laughs> yeah, that's how it works. Yeah. No, isn't, I, isn't that how it works? Oh, yeah. I always thought you, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I want to review some of the stuff from uh, today in history yesterday because we never finished it. A couple of interesting things. Uh, this is this all is yesterday in history. Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah, a, a new feature. Um, maybe we need a do we need a theme song for this one? I don't know. Uh, it's always bugged me when I've read, I've read this that um, uh, it was in uh, 1493 allegedly Christopher Columbus's crew thought they saw mermaids. Um, uh, you know, half fish. Yeah. Half woman. And it turns out they were actually manatees. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking, how much rum do you have to have? Because you've seen a manatee. Yeah, they're not attractive. That would be one very ugly woman. They um, might be attractive after a certain amount of time on a boat with a bunch of dudes. You think? You might go, you know what? That thing doesn't look too bad to me. Really? <laughs> I, I have never, never been that drunk. I, <laughs> um, well. uh, also, in 1962, on yesterday's date... Maybe we need the theme music. It doesn't really have the same power, does it? Uh, I don't know. Uh, you, you want to just sing it for me? There we there go. We go. Thank you. Today in history. Yesterday in history. <laughs> 1962, the NFL prohibited the grabbing of face masks. Makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> they get away with so that every once in a Huh? You could do it before? I think for one thing, I, I'm just guessing, but in 62, how many... Players had face masks on. A lot, probably. Still. I would think. When did yeah, that most, start? Yeah, Didn't way they before, all way before that? I, I mean, did, uh, did they all have to wear them? Pulling a guy down by the face mask Ooh. is very effective. That, yes, yeah. it is. <laughs> yeah, that works. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I don't know if you did. You play football like in grade school? Not that's on a, on that's how our coaches would lead us around, oh. <laughs> like grab you by the get over here and grab you by the that's face true, mask yeah. and pick you up on the ground yeah, and oh yeah that's how. My goodness, yeah, things are a lot different. <laughs> different. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, and it wasn't until '62 that that was uh, forbidden. Ooh. And they, now they, they they don't allow what is it called? The, do they call it the horse collar? What is that called? Right, yeah. Yeah. grabbing them yeah. around the and collar. Think, yeah, that was one of the games over the weekend. But you was... can pull a guy down if he's got real long hair. Right? Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. By the hair? Yep. Yeah. Yes. yes, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So that's wow. that seems a little. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why I think I'd be. Uh, <laughs> not that it would be <laughs> relevant, but yeah. I, um, hmm. Anyway. So, uh, the, the, grabbing the face mask in the NFL illegal. Grab ass in the shower is still perfectly acceptable. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Did your football running. coach do that, Jeff? Uh, uh, no, we didn't have showers, luckily. <laughs> now, you can no longer do the helmet, the head first into the nutsack thing. Well, for a good reason. Yeah, yeah, you can't do the helmet spear. No, thing. for any uh, reason. That protects the person spearing as well. Yeah. Right, yeah. Now, uh, this is significant. Um, 
uh, unbelievably significant in history. In 2007, Steve Jobs got on stage and announced the invention of the iPhone. And hello. 2007. <laughs> Changed the world. Man. Completely. Sure did. Um, the BlackBerry would gone. be... Going the flip phone, pretty much going. I know some. They now make flip phones again. Irrelevant. <laughs> flip, the, today's okay. flip phones are basically iPhones with the that fold, fold yeah. in half. Yeah, yeah. Um, amazing uh, tech. But so uh, the reason I wanted to bring this up is because coming up we have an explanation as to what is the most famous iPhone in history, the one that dropped 16,000 feet from that air, airplane over the weekend. Yeah, the oh, Alaskan yeah. Airlines jet. Yeah, they've consulted a physicist as to why that thing is okay. Have they come out with whose that is yet? No. And they haven't said what kind of... Did uh, it have a case? Yeah, but they're not saying what kind. And oh, I bet it's the outer defender. I that think, thing, yeah, yeah, that's, that's, in, a, that's no, incredible. No, if, it, if it was the outer outer box, it would have left a divot six <laughs> yeah. feet and, and killed the guy. Uh, in any event, we're looking into that. But um, oh, here we go. Um, happy birthday yesterday, Richard Nixon. Richard, oh, oh my God! Would believe. he would have been a hundred and ten? No, a hundred. Wait a minute. No, he was born in nineteen thirteen. Hmm. Uh, famous for saying, oh, I am not a Capricorn. <laughs> <laughs> wonder how things are going now that Kissinger showed up and, well, wherever they are. Wherever they are. <laughs> Did you ever hear the thing, um, what's her name? Um, oh, Grace Slick. Mm -hmm. You know Grace Slick? Of course. Yeah. Great singer from Jefferson Airplane. And Jefferson. Yes. Grace Slick, I want to say, went to college with one of Nixon's daughters, right? And she was actually invited to the White House for some... Party? Yeah, and she tried to... Yeah, because it was... Uh, uh, she was just on the list because she'd gone to the same school, whatever it was, with uh, one of the Nixon girls. And she uh, had said that she wanted to spike the uh, coffee with LSD. Yeah, oh, she man. Tried. She tried to, apparently. Did no. she really try? Yeah, I don't yeah, know. but couldn't get away with it. <laughs> Can you imagine Nixon on LSD? <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, I am not a crook. I am the walrus. Cuckoo, uh, <laughs> <laughs> cuckoo. Yeah. Uh, uh, Henry, where's the booze? Let's drop another a bunch of napalm on you some country. Imagine. I don't care. Laos, uh. Cambodia, whatever. Well. Happy birthday, Dick. Um... And then we covered happy birthday to Bart Starr and uh, the, the late, great De Bob Denver. Got and these are all from yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Once again, this is a new feature I'm doing yesterday in history. We didn't get to really get to all these. Missed one of the best ones, Jimmy Page from Led Zeppelin. <laughs> we did, we did Why don't we just call that? this new feature, Chick is Sick and I'm Frazzled. Yeah. <laughs> yeah just because I have no he's not now, here. To do. And now with a quick 20 minutes, Josh Hart. <laughs> well, <laughs> hey, I'm having fun. What do you got yeah. over there? I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, you, 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 uh, let's own it. We cool, did all cool, these. Cool, cool. I am not a crook. I, I love that. Yeah. More of that. Yeah. I love that song. I have an update on the XFL thing that you were asking about yesterday. I mean, because the XFL and the USFL have merged. What's the name going to be? United Football League. They reached out to me on Twitter to make sure that we knew. The UFL. Yes. United Football League. That makes sense. UFL. Because mm -hmm. otherwise it was going to be, I mean, let's face it. Some of these things get a little bit ungainly. Yeah. Like now, LGBTQ, LMNOP. I, <laughs> there's only, you can only have Careful. so many. You can only have so many before you. I, I know we're trying to be inclusive in our culture, but yeah, <laughs> UFL. That's better. UFL. Simplified. Yes. Okay. United Football. League. STP. All right. STP. Oil treatment. Stone Temple Pilot. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's simple. Okay. I think I think more people know STP as Stone Temple Pilots these days. Yeah. They don't know about Andy Granatelli? Well, of course well, I sure, do. Yeah. I, is it his birthday? Oh, my God. I don't know. Is it? Wouldn't Look that it be up. great? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, STP. Remember, that used to be on all the cars. Sure. Is it? Does that? Is that still out there? It's. It, I, I don't know. Is I it, don't know. Is it, yeah, STP. Yeah, is it still a yeah. thing? Yeah. Do yeah, they you can still, it's it's still... Uh, yeah, there's uh, the oil additive yeah, and... Right. Yeah, gas the, additive. Yeah, or yeah, it's the one, yeah, the DE, ah, whatever the hell, yeah. Do they, st is it still, I don't see ads for it anymore, was it? But, uh, I don't know, I see it at the at the auto shop. Yeah, okay. You, you're probably not at the auto parts store very often, are you? <laughs> it was not too long ago. Really? For what? <laughs> what? For what? <laughs> yeah. He, actually, Tom does go in there every, I every once there, in a while. I was in with my, my Suburban is... 
like, what, eight years old, so and it runs like a top. I had to get new windshield wipers. You want to see a happy uh, Tom, go, take him to a, an auto parts store. Really? Yeah. He loves it, huh? <laughs> oh, it's great. Get a new bucket? What fortunate, do you I, I went, this is all true, I went to uh, the Napa Auto Parts store, the one right off right. the freeway up here, and uh, the gentleman there was kind enough to uh, put the windshield wipers on my car. For they, you. They do that, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. I have no idea. I, nice. Those things are tricky. They can be so tricky. Yeah. But uh, and there's have and, you ever put them on wrong and uh, then you turn the <laughs> well, I, like two months ago coming down the highway to work and I turned it on and it just went flying and luckily it was four in the morning so no one was behind me yeah. but I mean it could have cost I've well the next day I saw a deer with an eye patch <laughs> <laughs> and you got in some uh, I can remember a car I used to have this is weird they were different. Yeah, a lot yeah, of yeah. some are shorter. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like the left one and right. the right one. Yeah. But that reminds me, my aunt used to, um, uh, my, my I had this crazy aunt that would never go through a car wash. <laughs> so, Did she have a car? And I don't, yeah, yeah, she had a car. And I don't, I, I don't mind. Fair question. Yeah. I, I don't mind, uh, I don't mind uh, hand washing a car. I kind of enjoy it. But yeah. I, and as you know now, I go through the car wash virtually every day because I'm a member. Sure. Uh, but um, my very first new car the very first new car I'd ever owned, I was uh, 32 years old. Never had a new car. And I bought Ace. I bought an Isuzu Trooper. First year they were out, the two-door Isuzu oh. Trooper. Those were cool. They were cool. It was great, though. If um, if someone breathed on it, it would fly across the yeah, road. I was going to say, yeah. not very safe. <laughs> yeah. It was like having a spinnaker on a sailboat. <laughs> <laughs> but I had a brand-new Isuzu Trooper. And I don't know if they do this anymore. They used to have this... Um, this thing above the back window in a lot of SUVs. Yeah, I call it a spoiler. It was like an airfoil. Yes. And I guess the, was it, what was My it? My Jeep Grand Cherokee has one, yeah. It was to clean the back window or something? Like I don't know what it was for. Guard? I think it just, it's more aerodynamic. Yeah. Looked like a sneeze guard. Anyway, mm -hmm. brand, I think my Suzuki Sidekick had one of those. Oh, so a brand, spoiler in the back. So brand, brand new car. <laughs> I've had it for a week. And I go to the car wash. Uh, this car wash is no longer. <laughs> and, um. I go through the car wash and it uh, rips off that whole thing. Oh, what? Yeah, it, it, it tears it off <laughs> and one of the front windshield windshield wipers. Oh, no. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I made my aunt up in heaven going, I told you. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I uh, never did replace that back window thing. Yeah, I wish sometimes it didn't come with those because. If you go to the car wash, then it never dries underneath it, so it continually Do they still drips. have those on cars? Yeah, my, I just said my Jeep Grand really? Cherokee has yeah. one. Yeah, absolutely. I, I've, I had four Jeep Grand Cherokees. I never had one of those. Uh, I think you did. You just don't notice it probably. Well, that's probably true. I, <laughs> <laughs> my cool car drips when it comes out of the car wash. It does. <laughs> <laughs> just telling you. Um, and, uh, oh, we got to get back to our today and... Music, please, Ice. I've got to get back to our new feature, Yesterday in History. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize, do we play this music the whole time? No, it just no, uh, oh, the the yeah. it, it just kind of gets you in that mood. It sure oh, does. Yeah, you yeah. start feeling, ah, uh, graduation day. Um, did we miss any? Yeah, we, oh, we we covered Dave Matthews' birthday and then yeah. Josh insulted Pat. Yep. Well, yeah. Pat Pat's insulted us by passing that well, was parody off as... Oh, it's one of, my parody. one of my favorite things. <laughs> the actual song. Happy birthday, Goofing Dave Matthews. Goofing around with the vocalization. <laughs> it's it's in the middle of a fun. bit, there's no setup. To <laughs> <laughs> Dance, puppet. Dance. I loved it, Pat. Thank you. I think it. Thank you. Perhaps for those my feelings. Perhaps for those that missed that. How does Dave Matthews sing? Hold on a second. I'll have to grab my guitar. Oh, okay. Geez. Hey, you guys talk like that. Can't you just add little bit? Fine artist. What are you doing? Why is your guitar handy? Are you scratching your balls? Because Dave, <laughs> Dave's, Dave has vocal range, something Pat uh, has trouble with. <laughs> See? <laughs> something breakfast. <laughs> moving in there a direction. Sounds nothing like that. Right? <laughs> sounds, like, sounds like he's falling down the stairs when he's singing. <laughs> Central heating. <laughs> No, I, Dave Matthews would love that bit. Of course. Yes. He's, he's got a great sense of humor. He'd find it. And I think everybody knows everybody. I love that bit. Okay, okay. And you love Dave Matthews. I do, yeah. But I love Pat Godwin more. You go to you go to a lot of concerts, too, don't you? Aren't you a big fan? I have not been to a Dave concert in probably in, in over 10 years. But, really? yeah, I used to go all the time. 
I've been to a bunch. It of just them. hasn't worked. Like I've been either working or something, but I, I haven't been able to see him. But I think he moves well with a guitar, probably better than anybody. He's very passionate. Yeah, he's fun. He's yeah. just a lot of fun. Now, cool. um, let's see. Uh, coming. Oh, Christy, give me the teaser. Oh, coming up, we will have an update on that iPhone that we were talking about earlier that fell out of the jet. We also have a guy who apparently said he was. Selling Queen Elizabeth's walking stick. He's been uh, arrested for fraud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What a turp. <laughs> stick of off the road. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Queen Elizabeth had a walking stick. Yeah. And Monkey King wanted. We'll have that coming up. I love that story. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's a real job. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And Monkey King sounds like a some kind of cool show or a sure or a great place for a burger. Yeah. I don't know about that. I don't that. know if I'd eat at Monkey King. Oh, I would. You would? Sure. I'd eat at Monkey King. Monkey King. They'd, they'd have that. They'd have like a jungle gym, and they'd have all kinds of fun stuff. Oh, for now the you're kids. talking. I like it. Good burgers, great fries. You go to Monkey King. Oh, it's unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> no, the burgers aren't made of monkeys. Right now, I want to talk about. Uh, I want to say thank you, actually. To my friends at Raycon, because uh, one of the gifts I got the girls, I got the uh, the full the full headphones. We talk a lot about the Raycon earbuds. I got them those full headphones, and when you're traveling, which we were, there is nothing. I mean, the, the one of the great things about the contemporary world, traveling with kids, you pop on the headphones, they get plugged into whatever they got. If it's a game. Or what, and it's quiet in the back seat. Ah, and they're fully content and engaged, and their brains are working. That's a good thing. Thank you, Raycon. Uh, right now, uh, I want to remind you that Raycon has all kinds of stuff out there, premium audio with a great price point. Check it out at raycon.com uh, slash Tom. Right now, they've got 20% off your Raycon order. Well, that's handy this new year. Raycon's every uh, the, I've got the everyday earbuds, they call them. Mm -hmm. And uh, I prefer them to the uh, the little teeny um, Apple ones you yeah. find in the parking lot all the time. <laughs> Um, uh, Raycon's earbuds, I wore them on the, on the plane on the way back. I uh, was listening to something and also not listening to the jackass in front of me who wouldn't shut up and was talking across the aisle. Um, Raycon has, they term them optimized gel tips. I call them those soft, gooey things that fit in the ear things so that they fit your ears. They're not going to go anywhere. You're not going to lose them in the parking lot. Raycon earbuds, eight hours of playtime, 32 hours of battery life. And uh, they're about half the price of the uh, famous premium audio brands. Check out Raycon earbuds. And I'm just telling you, this is just me talking. It's not here in this piece of paper. Right. Those full headphones are great if you're planning a little bit of activity with the kids or just want <laughs> some good Lord peace and quiet. Uh, full headphones for the kids. Go to buyraycon.com. 20% off your Raycon order. That's buyraycon. Uh, slash Tom. Did I say dot com? Buyraycon.com slash Tom is what I meant to say. Buyraycon.com slash Tom. I need coffee. Uh, but thanks to the Raycon folks for helping out with my vacation. They can help yours too. When we come back, cool things in the news. We'll even get some sports wedged in there. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Got something to say? Send us an email. Bob and Tom at BobandTom.com. This is the Bob and Tom Show. The airport because it's got like magical powers. The airport's the only place where like you could be on the floor eating a salad <laughs> and somebody will come up to you and ask you to watch their most precious things. You know, like, Can you watch my back and my kid? <laughs> Name A Jackson, you know, slot 32B or whatever, and you just go find your car. And I went there and you know, um, uh, 29, 30, 31, and then there's no 32. It just started with another rental car. It's like, I know I can't ask, like, where's 32 after 31, because they might not let you take the car, you know? <laughs> Eventually, I went and asked, I was like, hey, ma'am, uh, there's no 32, it just, there's just budget. And she goes, oh, we merged with budget, so that's an Avis car, so you just take that. I should have just taken the car on the off chance that there was a corporate takeover. I wasn't. <laughs> and then maybe drive to somebody's house and break in and go to bed and hope it's an Airbnb. What are you talking about? Like, the Olympics are my favorite four years because they give that stat every four years about how many condoms they hand out at Olympic Village. <laughs> this year, we gave away 618,000 condoms at Olympic Village, and every time I hear that stat, I'm like, why? <laughs> Those are our best people. <laughs> what we told that kid would be perfect. It'd be good on the land and the sea. It'd be like a, a first 
human Range Rover. What are we? How about we start handing out condoms at Storage Wars meet and greets? A basketball fan, and they said, like, uh, if everything works out perfectly in the next three years, LeBron James and his son will be in the NBA at the same time. I was like, no, oh, that's cool. But then I did a little math of my own, <laughs> and I figured out that in six and a half years, me and my daughter's student loans are going to overlap. <laughs> This is the Bob and Tom Show. Hey, hi, how we're hanging out with comedian Ron Ramey, Chick McGee doing double duty. Chick, do anything else? Uh, what's the most dangerous thing about uh, starting a new relationship with a girl, fellas? That, uh, that's right. What kind of pet does she have? Oh, oh. I was going to say finding out she's a psycho. And what you does know. it mean you don't about know. her? This well, is from, maybe dep depending on the kind of pet, you can tell she's a psycho right away. This is from yeah. HolyTaco.com. Huh? <laughs> if she has a big dog. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. What she thinks, what she thinks it says about her. Mm -hmm. I'm not like those other girls with their tiny yappy dogs. Mm -hmm. I'm a strong, confident, independent woman who's making it in a man's world. I see. I what it really big, says, I love big dogs, though. What, what it really, really says, says about her is a big dog says, "I want a boyfriend. I want a boyfriend. I want a boyfriend." <laughs> I want a boyfriend. <laughs> really? Really? What, what the pet is thinking is, "Please stop using me as a body pillow and grinding on me in the middle of the night." Oh, 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 oh. Grinding? No grinding? A small dog. Okay. okay. What she thinks it says, I'm not just adorable. I'm really adorable. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so adorable that I have a living accessory. All the cool people are doing it. I'm just like a famous celebrity. What it really says, I want to be exactly like Paris. So if you're looking for a stupid, mm. annoying, talentless woman like Paris Hilton <laughs> with a little dog, I'm your girl. Really? What well, maybe pet, it says, I like a little dog. What does the pet think? What the pet says, the thinks, is if that purse she carries me in is full of used condoms again today, I'm going to bite her. <laughs> <laughs> I miss my ex-wife. <sighs> this is a mean, mean website. Here's a cat. What, if she owns a cat, what she thinks it says, I'm responsible enough to care for another living creature, but... I don't want to have to pay a lot of attention to it. That's mm -hmm. why I have an animal that I could potentially leave alone for a few days, and it would be just fine. What it really says, having a cat. I don't like having guys spend the night at my house, so I adopted one of nature's ninjas to scare off any non-regular visitors <laughs> using a razor-sharp pounce attack in the middle of the night. Uh -huh. Ouch. What the, what the cat is thinking, come on, dude, that I'm not familiar with, show me something dangly. I dare you. <laughs> what fish. she thinks it says, only uh -huh. a fish. Fish tanks are sexy. Uh -huh. I know this is just a small bowl, but it still oozes sex. This fish depends on me, and if it lives past the first day, people are going to know that I'm responsible enough to take care of another life. What it really says, one time I had sex with a biker in the parking lot of the county fair, and he spent $26 winning me this goldfish to remember him by. I forget his name, but I call the fish Nemo. Okay. What I the like pet, is, what the the pet is thinking, thing? the, that whore hasn't fed me in six days. <laughs> My water looks and smells like a sewer. <laughs> and finally, a parrot, uh, what she thinks it says, I enjoy having a pet that's interesting and intelligent. I am an exotic person, so I have a pet that reflects my personality. What it really says, if you own a parrot and you're a girl, my grandpa died recently. <laughs> he was known locally as the crazy bird guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So he left me this temperamental, awful bird to remember him by. Mm -hmm. What the parrot is thinking, squawk, F you, F you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, hang on a second. What does Strasvitsa mean, uh, David? That's hello. Oh, okay. <laughs> that just means hello, you moron. Yeah, listen. Hold on. Yeah, boy. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? Russian wolfhounds. <laughs> Russian wolfhounds get really big, don't yes. they? Who knew? Yeah. <laughs> you seen him. He was cute little puppy when we bring him up. <laughs> <laughs> wow.
What is the name of your doggy? Our dog? Yes. Well, now we call him Foamy. <laughs> Foamy. <laughs> <laughs> Foamy the Russian wolfhound. <laughs> Are the stars out tonight? I don't care if it's cloudy or bright. Because I'm blind. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Good, Good morning, sunshine. Bob and Tom. Got a hooker. Burn it. Yeah? <laughs> hey, it's the Bob and Tom Show. Dear, dear Bob and Tom Show. <laughs> that Josh is a pervert. I, I, know, I, I know a pervert when I hear one. Yeah, I am a pervert. <laughs> what are you going to do, though? I like... Uh, Pervy stuff? Women pervy and sex? Pervy stuff, is yes. that what she said? Pervy stuff. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I think people think I'm more of a pervert than I actually am because I'm not afraid to talk about things. Right. And I yeah. respect exactly. you for that. Oh, well, thank you. It's great. Uh, you, th- you keep thinking that. <laughs> you're, you're an open uh, individual. Uh, yeah, we have, um, let's see now, who's well, here? Uh, on your Mr. J- Mr. Jeff Oske uh, is sitting in for Chick McGee today. Chick's a little under the weather. That's all right. Good to see you, Jeffrey. You got some gigs coming up, right? I do. Uh, next week with uh, Han and Dyer up in uh, Green Bay. And then in February with our, uh, with, I'm opening for lovely uh, Pat Godwin over there and down in Evansville, Indiana. Oh, that's right. Saturday, February 10th, Pat Coslett's uh, Simplicity Gig, the famous one in Evansville. That'll be great. I know this weekend, am I I getting this right? It's uh, Willie G and Greg Hahn. They're in Michigan at One Night Stands. Yeah. I love that name. And that's in Waterford, right? Uh, Yes. And that's, as as I understand it, two shows Saturday, one show Friday. That'll be fun. Uh, coming up later on on this show, by the way, it's going to be sexy time oh, with yeah. Allie Breen. We'll certainly look forward to that. But as promised today, a special early edition. Who's that sexy yeah. man with the deep voice? Ace Cosby. Here he is with his joke of the day. Hey, Jeff. <laughs> yes, Ace. <laughs> my, my geography teacher asked me if I could name a country with no R in it. Mm. I said, no way. <laughs> that was oh, that's a thinker. Man. You take the R out of Norway. Oh, Norway, you see. I like that. Yeah, that's gold. That's Not almost, bad. Too almost, early. For that, a thinker. That's more of a nine o'clock. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah that's, it's like having math first thing when you go to school. <laughs> yeah. I'll dumb it down at nine. Thank you. <laughs> One for Jeff. Okay. Now, um, we uh, turn to uh, Christy Lee at the Bob and Tom News Desk. We have a couple of world records today. Oh, wait a second. Oh. I'm waiting. I don't have that music. Do you have that music, Jeff? Uh, Yeah, here it is. Got a skinny little runt named Dalton. Oh, no, that's uh, that's Roadhouse. That's That's why it's named Roadhouse. Yeah. (laughs) I'm getting pretty good at this. No, we don't. (laughs) Oh, wait, that's that's the wrong music. music. Here, let's try this one. Okay. Nope. Time now for... Uh, what the hell is oh, that was things we learned. Yeah, you're right. Now you're confused, too. Uh, let me see. I might have it over here. Hold on a second. I got this machine. Here, this is it. Stupid. Nope, that's... That's just sports well, and jump. I'd be wait, happy wait, to wait. read you a bedtime <laughs> story this, this if you'd it? like. Oh, yeah. A man from India. World record. It's broken. The Guinness <laughs> World <life>. Record. <laughs> I like it. Stupid. There it is. There it is. A man from India has broken the Guinness World Record for the longest marathon punching a punching bag. Oh, yeah? Yeah, Mr. Sidhu Kushitri, a lifelong martial artist, achieved the title with a time of 55 hours and 15 minutes. Just punching a bag? Yep, beating the previous record by five minutes. Wow. (laughs) Probably on hold with the cable company. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) Is he doing it like a boxer? Like... Or just punching. I don't know. I, I think it was a video. heavy bag. I think it was. It wasn't the speed bag. Oh. Hmm. Um. Yikes. Oh, yeah. I wonder how often he has to punch it. If he can go like every twenty seconds. Right. Exactly. Or if it has to be continuous. Oh yeah. If he can't just <laughs> hit it and then <laughs> go wait take for a second. Five <laughs> and, yeah. five. Bob yeah. and weave. And <laughs> I bet his hands are all bruised. Wouldn't you think? I think they'd be yeah. a tad raw. Probably. Yeah. Uh, they do wraps. Yeah, but still. 55 hours? Yeah. Oof. Did you ever drink um, wine in the bag, Christy? Wine in the bag? In a box? Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. That's, that's the misnomer there. Yeah, wine the in a box is, is actually in a bag. Yeah, yeah, it is inside a yeah. box. 
It's Which a bladder. I found you can take out, and yeah. they fit in your cooler better. As <laughs> a right. bladder, You're you can get like right. nine boxes yeah. of wine. You're right. Because it says too. in the story, the longest uh, marathon for slapping a wine bag <laughs> was uh, broken by the Kappas at Indiana University in 2011. Oh. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> Not slapping a wine bag. Beating, beating the wine bag. <laughs> okay, girls, we're going for it. Uh, sounds, sounds delicious and delightful. What kind of breaks do you get when you do this? That's what we were asking. Yeah. Is, uh, I mean, if you, he has to go to the bathroom at some point, right? Tom just wants to know if he had to, to crap eat. his pants. <laughs> I'm just looking. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, you get, you, you're you allowed um, what? five minute breaks every hour. Oh, well, that's not bad. But here it says, wait a second. And you can accumulate the breaks oh. if you want to. So you oh, can so take you 30 take... seconds off here and a minute off there. Or you can save up and then do like 15 minutes. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah, That's what, yeah you're yeah. right. Yes. So you go three straight hours, you got a 15 minute right. break yeah. coming up. Take huh. a sleep. Uh, well, I didn't think you were going to say <laughs> Yeah, I, you know. <laughs> take a sleep. You got to take a <laughs> sleep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, congratulations, um, Mr. Kushitri. Kushitri. Mm. Coming up, we have another world well, record. That's a she, not a she. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, well, on. that's an awful children's book. The, yeah, the, the she, the she tree. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why? Why have anyone wear that? Uh, <laughs> they don't stand under the she tree. Uh, but sure is getting big. Got a lot of fertilizer. Uh, when those we, aren't pine cones. Yeah. <laughs> when, we, when we come back, we have more world records. And uh, we have uh, the latest, believe it or not, from that electronic show in Vegas mm -hmm. actually involves a toiletry. Mm. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. Catch any part of the show you missed later today on our YouTube channel. So let, let's get a shot of the mustache. We have the camera in here now. I got a, I got a before shot. Okay, now I we just got the, uh, we're now, we're, now, now we got motion pictures here. Zoom in nice and tight on this blonde beauty. Hey. Um. Okay. Now, uh, you have uh, is that mascara? What kind of makeup is that your girlfriend got for you? This is the Cover Girl Lash Exact Mascara. It can be found in stores near you. Okay. Now, are you, Chick, are you going to apply the mascara to yeah. the stash? We'll see if it looks. Come on, Chick. It looks any that. better. What color is the mascara? Uh, well, it's, it's the color of the tube, right? It, no, no, it's not purple. It's a brown. Okay. Oh, that's okay. the one. Because your hair is kind okay. of blondish, blondish brown. Here's a little something for the camera. Hey! <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's, uh, okay. could we forego the, uh, let's get, let's get this going here. Just get the, uh. Okay. Get I'll be the... gentle. You know what, though? What? His mustache looks a lot better close up. It than does. It looks from very good. Thank you, Chick. I appreciate yeah. that. Because you can't see it from far away. It's you the same color as the touch. skin. Gentle touch. Now, does that stuff, what if you lick your lips? Will that stuff come off? <laughs> don't do just look, don't I'm just, just do the middle. Am if you I do, half stashed? Wait, mm -hmm. I'm not. I'm not doing this in the. Now, if you now. get uh, you know, oh, you darken it up a little oh, bit. That looks nice. See, Thank it you. brings out the. Oh, oh, see. I, I Give me a look. Either. Brings out his eyes. Look at that. Oh. Look at that. Okay. And then you do this. Yeah, yeah. Pump, oh, pump okay. it, pump it, pump it, pump Bob, it. Bob, <laughs> yes, Bob did, remember the movie that uh, last year was made that didn't have any oh, speaking yeah. to it? The, uh, the Artist? The Artist. Did anybody yeah. see that? Did you see yeah. The Artist, Pat, the silent movie last year? Silent to. movie? Yeah. yeah. It was called The Artist, won a bunch of Academy Awards. That sounds You awesome. look like that guy. That's the kind of mustache you have. Mm -hmm. An Academy Award winner, huh? Let's take a look. Well, well and it, 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 it was yeah, supposed yeah. to be a mustache from the days before there were talky films. Right. Mm -hmm. It may be a little data. Turner, let me see. Let me let me I verify. Things almost done. Uh, it's actually looking, over here. Yeah, looking pretty darn good. good. Looking right. pretty darn good. Let's see. What's right. done? Turn around. Oh, let's go. <clears throat> Voila. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, Pat, Pat McAfee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear God. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Now, I can see it now. It, nice. it does look very romantic. And it um, really does match his hair color a lot Oh, better. my God. We yeah. got a little mascara, Ronner. We'll wipe yeah, it off. I'm sorry. Yeah, they started talking to me, and I got mad at Tom, so I can miss. Now, do you think do, maybe you should go with the what's the permanent dye for the mustache called? The permanent? All, yeah, it's an all commercial. Not so permanent. Just, just for men. men. Just for men. That stuff. You need the just for men. Mm-hmm. You think it would look like this permanent? Sure, yeah. No, it wouldn't be no, no. permanent. It would it, it uh, last for a couple of weeks. A couple of weeks, and then you have to reapply. And... So for my Super Bowl TV stuff, I need to get the just for men. 
Well, yeah. just do it, yeah. just hit it with the mascara before you go on screen. I mm-hmm. think it's, it's fine the way it is. Chick, I'd like to thank you for what you just did. No, but then you're going to be walking around, and then, then you're, <laughs> you're, 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 you're going to be wiping your face, and it's gonna, half of it's going to come off. If I was to have a cocktail right now that happened to run a little high, yeah. would mascara run I think so. I don't think so. Some Most mascara is is like they you, the yeah. commercials I've seen, the girls dive into Of course, the they pool. always uh, you know, it's women, and their, it's their uh, eyelashes that they use it for. Rarely do you see those get hit with a, a yeah, drink. Stash, yeah. <laughs> and uh, and when they do, they usually kind of tear up. I don't know how that would work at a bar, Pat. Yeah, uh, Pat's now trying Maybe to you touch should up go the, the mustache. Just for men. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But then the question has to be asked, even if your mustache is dark, is it really your look? Okay. And that's Let's where I think, I think that comes into question. <laughs> She's single, pissed off, and is looking for money. Lots of money. Hi, I'm Linda. I'm Phil. Yeah. Did you forget something? No, I don't think so. Any gift? Gift? I, I didn't know that we were... Mm, bye-bye. <laughs> Loser. Wow! Tune in to Bob and Tom TV and see why she's called the Bitchlerette. She's on the prowl, and she's got... Shut your- Hole and bring on the rich numbers. Uh, on Bob and Tom TV. <laughs> well, there you go. There's a show I'd watch. Yeah. Yeah. This is Bob and Tom 24 7. Comedy, guess, Bob and Tom exclusives. And it's here on the internet. Bob and Tom 24 7. I babysat a cat a couple weeks ago. No, it went in the show. Oh, he. Then he started uh, picking his out of his litter box and dropping him in the middle of the living room floor. <laughs> well, this is a protest. <laughs> it did seem like some sort of action. Cats oh, are, that's funny. you know, jerks, basically. <laughs> Can be. Cats are jerks. <laughs> <laughs> well, internet porn. Oh. oh. Ah, well, there's okay. the that You know, people don't, go, yeah, photography. <laughs> mm-hmm. people don't go to porn shops anymore. No? You know, because of the internet. Oh, that's true. But I think you missed out on the social aspect. Uh-uh. <laughs> Is there a social aspect to that? Yeah, well, you avoid eye contact. Uh-huh. Try to hide your titles. <laughs> Tranny. Oh, no, I was working on my car. <laughs> <laughs> the other day, though, I was watching gay porn. Uh-oh. No, wait, I'm sorry. I was watching pro wrestling. <laughs> Comedian Diana Jordan is here with us. Now, can I ask you something? Yeah. Since you've been here last, have you had any augmentation of any kind? No. Okay. Must what be. Oh, I'm wearing the Wonder Bra. Is that... Are you kidding? I, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> I just showed it. Impressive. Yeah. They call it the Wonder Bra because when you take it off, the guy wonders where in the hell you're... <laughs> How are you listening to... See what I'm talking about. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Well, hi there, Josh. There's Pat Godwin in the music room. Hey, Josh. Jeff Oske sitting in for Chickster this morning. That's right. Ace Cosby at the engineering board. Hey. I'm Josh Arnold, and my gosh, if it isn't Tom Griswold working hard over there, what are you looking for? I'm uh, just uh, grabbing some stuff here. I got, oh, good. I've got to get organized, but I'm doing that. Well, I'm doing it. I just noticed this. Got a congratulations due for our uh, our pigskin winners every week during the regular season of the NFL. We awarded a big green egg mini max, the Rolls Royce of cooking devices, uh, to one of our listeners who d- did a fine job on their picks. Um, last week's winner, James Dunn. Uh, congratulations to James, um, and uh, he is uh, from somewhere in Ohio. 
Okay. Uh, I, I got Somewhere. A, that's a big state. Yeah. I, I know it was originally listed as Union, Ohio. Apparently, that's not correct. I'll, I'll dig that the correct answer to that up for you. Hmm. But we're going to talk to him Monday, Tuesday, uh, tomorrow. Uh, during our sports pick segment. Uh, our winner uh, the week prior to that was Jeremy Childers of Marion, Ohio. And then the week 17 winner, Spencer Suharski of Manton, Ohio. And by the way, I forgot to tell you, what? they all also win that Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese mm. Oven Baked Bundle. Mm. Uh, 2024, the year of cheese. Yes. I, I created something with Gardner's Wisconsin cheese. What'd you create? Uh-oh. Uh, it, it, I, so they have their uh, that that air-baked cheese, which is so awesome. Right. And what you do is when you when you bake it, you can grill it or use your air fryer, whatever, however uh -huh. you want to do it. Uh, I air fried it. Yep. And it's just so good. And you cut it up into little, uh, like, oh, you know what? I'll, for, the, for the sake of this analogy, I'll say chocolate square pieces. Like the same size. So like a like, Hershey bar? That's right. And you take two Ritz uh -huh. and a little slice of Gardner summer sausage and you make savory s'mores. Ooh. Ooh. Because the air, the, that, that grilled yeah. cheese. Uh, oh, <laughs> I did that New Year's Eve. Nice. And the next day. <laughs> I like this. We, we have to get this recipe out there. The, yeah, I'll have to film uh, doing it. Yeah. I like the name, the savory s'more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's very a good nice. idea. Oh, I love I'm summer sausage. I'm trademarking sausage. that right now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Delicious. Uh, okay. Well, let's see. Um, we got to uh, head over that way. Tom, have Christine. you heard about the Ritz controversy? What? Like, uh, this is like a thing. The Ritz cracker? Yes, that people are saying, uh, so, uh, you know, with the uh, inflation, all that stuff, uh, they're saying that some companies are doing things, they have new recipes to try to save money. Gotcha. Well, they're saying that Ritz are now way crumblier than they used to be. Have you guys noticed that? No. I, no. Oh. To a certain extent, I think they are, but... To me, it takes nothing away from how good they are. Right. <laughs> so what? Some... I'm putting the entire cracker in my mouth. Right, like, right. who's taking a bite of a Ritz? <laughs> I, I know. Like that. <laughs> oh, I would. My bad. <laughs> so their um, their claim is that I'm taking a bite out of a the Ritz. The recipe has somehow has, been has altered. changed. Yeah, <laughs> and that now the <laughs> the Ritz that. break <laughs> easier than they used to. Huh. Which if, okay, uh, yeah, I, I'm with you, Jeff. It doesn't bother me really. Yeah, I'm I'm putting in the entire every time like a little plate, you know, a little <laughs> sandwich right. plate. I'm putting the whole thing in my Did mouth. Did it affect your savory s'mores? Uh, no. There Maybe you go. if you're trying to put a spread on it, yeah, that could it be, would be an issue. But I did essentially do that, and it wasn't too much of an issue. Oh, okay. okay. So. Mm. Kind of interesting, well, though. That is. I, I I had read about what's what I forget the word they used. Yeah, exactly. I there is a word for, for it. something that was like shrinkflation. Yeah, shrinkflation. Now oh, that's where yeah, too that's where many put, uh, li lighter. Yeah. That's where yeah. like, they'll, they'll dent box. the bottom of yeah. a jar. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, right. and I'd like to, I've, I've stated this before, when it comes to packaging, a lot of it's fraudulent. Nothing is more fraudulent than if you make shakes with protein powder. Mm -hmm. Oh, those, <laughs> those, mm -hmm. That's like half full. Yeah, oh, half? No, uh, not even half. Most of those protein powder things. It's like fifty bucks for a thing of protein powder, and you get this this the, this uh, jar, whatever it is. Oh yeah, big, and it's this you know twice the size of a football, and you open it up, and it's mostly air. Do they need to do that? Uh, do does they? The, does there have to be an air cushion in there? No, so like, I think they do it because people aren't going to pay fifty bucks for a thing that's the, smaller. The, it's the, a perception the, the size of a prescription drug jar. <laughs> Gotcha. I, I, I just didn't know if there had to be a certain amount of air to. It just strikes me that in this, this uh, they're trying to be, you know, uh, it's it's honest food powder. <laughs> Wait a second. Well, you're not real well, honest about your yeah, measurements. Yeah, you're, you're screwing people. <laughs> and let's face it, that's waste. We don't need any more plastic waste. Make a, a smaller container. Oh, boy, the hippie has something to say. I'm you know, what I'm with this green piece over here. <laughs> I know. Hey. I'm with you on this. I was in Colorado skiing. Uh-huh. And uh, uh, the tap water, at least where I was, was fantastic. Sure. I mean, it was great. All tap water is poison. And then that is not true. <laughs> then you go to a restaurant. Someone they well, I, I need to have you know whatever my b bottled water from Finland. Really, <sighs> this is you should be bottling this stuff. Yeah, I, I, I don't get it. We gotta, uh, as a culture, <laughs> recognize that a lot of places the tap water is delicious. Mm -hmm. Some of the best water I've ever had in my life came out of a hose. Yeah, so. right. <laughs> no kidding. I don't. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Which, by the way. Uh, I grew up drinking from the hose, yeah. and I've since learned 
don't drink from the hose. <laughs> uh, no, I, I I know someone who got severely sick and uh, from it, and the the doctor was like, "Were you drinking from a hose?" And he goes, "Yeah." And they go, "Do you know how many animals crawl up those <laughs> and leave defecant <laughs> and die <laughs> and things yeah, like that?" And they're you're drinking hose. all of that. No, he ended up getting dysentery from drinking from a garden okay, hose. Okay, wow. well, yeah. so he, has, he has his PhD. But of all the people, <laughs> yeah, he got dysentery. <laughs> but, but growing up, we did it all the exactly. time. Exactly, that's did. the first person I've ever heard of that. Well, yeah. who knows? Maybe we. But were I all, think the larger point <laughs> is diarrhea. That, I don't know why. The larger point is uh, tap water in most places is actually okay. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah. You yeah. don't have to have you know bottled water. It's ten bucks a bottle. This was actually distilled through uh, Princess Diana's panties, oh. and it's guaranteed. To, that is good water. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, I yeah. drink it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The people's piss. Well, let's see how many people's, people's what? The people's uh, princess. Yeah, yeah. 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 You want the? You yeah. get that R in there. There's something in there. Princess yeah. and the P. Uh, <laughs> yes, very good. The princess is P. Okay, but yeah, I'm with you, Christy. Too much of. Too much plastic. Very really. I, I've now, gotten very. Now, some of the packaging has been explained to me. For example, potato chips. Right. They have to have the air in there, right? You well, think so? Well, they'd get on. Um, it acts as a cushion, kind yeah, of. Yeah, I would it? think. Yeah, okay. It would mash Now, all. some, though, it's like, all right. There, you didn't. That's why, and Greg Warren has, has been, uh, well, he did, hell, a whole uh, hour of stand-up about this, essentially, that Pringles perfected the packaging, packaging yep. of, ch of they any, certainly any kind did. of uh, snack. Uh, yeah. That's a snug fit. I mean, it's top a to bottom, fit, isn't it? Yeah. Top to bottom. Yeah. Very little wasted Boy, space. they're good. And uh, I can't wait till next Christmas so we can uh, have Pat play his Pringles tribute. <laughs> yes. <laughs> to the... Uh. To the uh, guy that had to poop in the Pringles can. <laughs> you know, he didn't have to. He chose to. Yeah. Which is, which I, is wonder, I wonder if we gave anybody that idea. <laughs> I hope not. And they were listening to it and then, hey, that's a great trick. Because uh. <laughs> <laughs> no. Tom's contention, because somebody wrote in and said, here's the way to do it, and Tom agrees. Is, what, uh, you, uh, once again, this lawyer admitted uh, that he, he had pooped in a Pringles can and heaved it apparently on his adversary's uh, uh, whatever. Parking lot. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that someone wrote in and said, no, the way the trick is you poop in a Pringles can and then put several Pringles on, on top, top and then leave it somewhere. Oh, I mean, that is not a prank. That is that just, is just yeah. cruel. That's, that's a lawsuit, yeah. right? Yeah. That's yeah. a criminal. That's I'm yeah. pretty sure. I, I hope so. <laughs> it is, uh, well, we'll uh, now turn to Christy Lee at the Bob and Tom News Desk. What's, what, is, what is happening? We have another Guinness World Record. Oh, do you have the music, Ace? Well, I thought you were just I kidding. thought you had the music. No, no, I'm... Over here. Stupid World Record. A man from Norway has set the Guinness World Record for the most tattoos of the same band. 33 really? 33-year-old Tom Engelbrecht was confirmed as the title holder with a total of 43 tattoos dedicated to the band... Hanson. Nope. Metallica. <laughs> Thanks, Ace. You saw the story. No, I didn't. Okay. You just guessed? Yeah. Really? Nice well, guess. It was Metallica. Wow. Metallica? Tom estimates he spent over $24,100 on his tattoos. He has been to 24 Metallica shows. <laughs> That's nothing. Throughout his life so Wait far. Fairly impressive. And says yeah. <laughs> they, don't get, they don't go to every city every year. So That's got... true. Says his favorite one was probably in Bergen in 2015, although another contender is a 2009 concert during which he got up on stage and actually sang into the microphone. Whoa. I don't know if he cool. was invited. He was promptly or... tackled <laughs> and <laughs> thrown out of the venue. Right. <laughs> I mean. How I much mean... did he spend on him? $24,100. Man. On the tattoos? Nice yeah. 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 He's going to spend another 100000 when they sue him for uh, stealing their <laughs> rights and, yeah. or their likeness and yeah. everything else. Um, Jeff, you just got a new tattoo. Yes, I did. did. How much, may I ask, how much did that cost? Uh, you may not. Uh, oh, okay, all right. <laughs> it was... Uh, Is it more than $500? Yeah, uh, around 500 Let me see. Okay. Oh, yeah. That it goes all the way around your forearm. That's yeah, very nice. it's a band, the, but it was also hand drawn by sure. the artist, and so I had to pay so for that. So him to spend twenty four thousand dollars that's not crazy. No, that adds up. No, yeah, wow. Okay, this guy, I just found a picture of him. Mm -hmm. uh, he has one of his legs has a very, very. That's from the. How do I describe this? From sort of the top of his butt cheek all the way to his knee. It's got one of the guitarists, in, you know, a portrait of him. Wow. Yeah. It's very, very elaborate. It looks like he has all of the lyrics to a couple of songs on his right calf. So yeah. it's not, not just a logo. 
That's what no, I'm picturing. It's, no, it's not logos. It's all kinds of sort of... Metallica-themed. Yeah, Metallica-themed what is, stuff. What does he have enter Sandman? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You don't want to, yeah. Yeah. It's oh. usually about, uh, if you, for people who have their whole arms done, right. it's usually about 3,000 an arm. To get a sleeve. Really? Okay. To get a sleeve. Really? Around. And for a great artist, it could go up to 10,000. For, okay. For a uh, kind of good artist, it could go down to like 500. A kind of good artist? <laughs> yeah, you know, if you don't mind catching TV. Well, yeah. <laughs> um, is, is, where does this guy live? Norway. Okay, okay. No way. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, it, it, it's very elaborate. See, I learned. Ace, you go. Ace, you've been to, what, 200 KISS shows, including the one we went to. Mm -hmm. Do you have a KISS tattoo? No. You ever, ever considered that? Want one? No. no. Yeah, a, sometimes you can just like things. They have a very memorable <laughs> logo. Nah, not this day and age. I tried to tell Chick that. You don't have to get your football team slathered all over your body or whatever, <laughs> paste, etched into your skin. You can just get a hat. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Take, he, it off. Uh, Take it off when they did start Did not losing. respond well. <laughs> Shocker. And that's not their logo anymore. Yeah, yeah exactly. that is an issue. Yeah. You have to wonder if, if anyone's... Are, I mean, obviously people get tattoos they regret. Pat, I know you've got... Oh, a lot of regret, regret over here. You're getting that one removed, right? I'm thinking about it, yeah. But Which you're keeping one? the... Uh, you're keeping the, the signal? I'm you're, keeping the Celtic knot over here. Okay. And the Dukakis tramp stamp. <laughs> and the, and the, and the Mondo. Yeah. You really went all in. Yeah. I have free Britney <laughs> on my chest. <laughs> so you think that that would you know, last forever. And then, you know, yeah. my Millie Vanilli tat. <laughs> Uh, you know, just I feel sort of stupid now. I have to. Uh, That's a great documentary, by the way. I watched that over the weekend. What Which is, one? The Millie Vanilli. I figured it'd be too sad. It's re it is sad. I bet it's <laughs> <Yeah>. sad. <laughs> well, one guy's dead, right? Isn't he? Yeah. 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 Uh, no. yeah. And I think he died sad. Yeah. Uh, that, that was Vanilli. <laughs> <laughs> weren't they? They were. They were. They were. They weren't particularly Vanilli, though, were they? What? No, they weren't too vanilla. No, no. They were, <laughs> were, were, were mocha. Mocha Ely, yeah. When they stopped being Millie Vanilli, I saw Rob and Fab in concert. Oh, okay. Oh. Singing their own stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. How were their voices in real life? Uh, not, not great. Pretty bad. And those songs are good. Oh, that's, yeah. that's the real problem. It's like those things were catchy. Uh, well, and, yeah, it's because yeah. they were written by somebody else. Yeah. And well, sung by somebody else. The song by somebody else is the key there. Ever, that happens all the time. Yeah. Everybody knows. Okay. Paul McCartney never actually sang a word. Of course not. He wrote yeah. You idiot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Anyway, um, so Josh, are you going to get the share tattoo taken off your uh, No way, man. Right She's cheek. back. She's back in a big way. Yeah, she is. She had that big Christmas hit. <laughs> That's uh, right. Okay. All right. And well, Sonny's on the left cheek still. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> yes. yes. Oh, reunited. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's so sweet. All right now, I want to say hello. Hi, everybody. To our friends at HelloFresh 2024 has arrived. You got all kinds of goals. One of them may involve uh, your, your, your dietary thing. Well, HelloFresh can help you out there if you want. They've got all kinds of great food. Of course, uh, great traditional comfort food, but also calorie smart or protein smart recipes. If that's what you're looking at right now, might be a good idea. HelloFresh is whatever you do, whatever you eat, it's going to save you a ton of time. They do the grocery shopping. They do the measuring. They send you the kit. You put it together, meaning you cook it. And it's so easy because you've got a chart with uh, the photographs. And yep. It'll tell you this one's this one's a persimmon and this one's a pineapple. More likely, it's uh, stuff that you're very familiar with because it's great food. HelloFresh has it going with a brand new program. And uh, every week, lots of options. What are you looking at over there? Oh, Christy? this one is so good. It's one of my favorites. It's lemony shrimp, shrimp risotto with roasted zucchini. A lot of people look at risotto and go, oh, what is that? It's easy. You can make it. And HelloFresh sends you the ingredients. A beautiful card with six easy steps. They're laid out simply. And you have a beautiful, elegant meal on the table in 40 minutes. Yeah, famous for their quick stuff, too. Mm -hmm. So uh, check it out. Uh, breakfast, lunch, or dinner. In fact, speaking of breakfast, you can get uh, free breakfast for life. You know, while you keep that uh, HelloFresh subscription active, in each box there'll be a free breakfast item. So get the details by going to HelloFresh.com slash BT Show free. That's HelloFresh.com slash BT Show free. And uh, get free breakfast for life with that code BT Show free. One breakfast item per box while your subscription is active. The code BT Show free. HelloFresh.com slash BT Show free. Great food. Uh, and a lot less food waste, which is significant in today's world. And uh, you'll be a better cook. 
and you'll enjoy some great food. Tell them the Bob and Tom Show sent you. HelloFresh.com slash BT Show Free. Coming up, a lot of interesting news about underwear, believe it or not. Mm-hmm. Uh, and um, an unusual story about cocktail ice. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. That's why you're single. That's all. What? Are we? Wait a minute. I'm sorry. We're back live. Um, back with that. Not your tongue. He was talking about me because I went like this. No, 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 no. I'll tell you what it was. You see, you don't, you're not even aware of what you just did. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. We're live in the Napa Auto Parts studios. You're Coming up, our, in, our interview with Donald Fagan. You're from so Steely Dan. stupid. You don't no, know what you're No, saying. no, we're trying to make conversation. Just before the mic's open, Josh goes, hey, uh, my toilet seat's uh, on the way. Yeah, that's right. He's excited about right. it. Right. It was something we had did discussed. You, did you hear what Tom said? We were trying to make conversation. Tom doesn't he didn't have speak conversations. A word during no. the break. He, he doesn't kept say his anything. Headphones they invented on. the phrase, he talks <laughs> at me. <You>. Yes. <clears throat> I thought it was like, I mean, Josh, okay, you're on a first date. Let's yes. just say, let's just say, and, you know, there's some nice music in the background. You're at a nice restaurant, and uh, <laughs> the Here waiter comes up. You order a, some sort of cocktail, I assume. What, so, what do you? What's your oh, beverage of choice? Uh, oh, I might have a, uh, a tequila and a okay. beer. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, uh, together. A beer. Sure. Absolutely. Yeah. A little Go, beer uh, and shot. Why not? As you can uh, what see. What he's as thinking can... is here. You <laughs> don't look like an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he's thinking. Oh no, no. I think he looks like one. Um, and then <laughs> far farthest from the truth. And then, Go ahead. And then this this young lady orders something, and then you say, "Diverse." conversation starter hey uh, my uh, my new toilet seats uh, i just got a thing from amazon it's on the way <laughs> and then she goes yeah, i'm sure that's oh, what wait, you would waiter do. could i get an uber i've got to get out of here i have a thing i had a... oh my god the way your brain operates i know it's amazing fascinating isn't it? mm-hmm. so your okay. new toilet seat something you want, to, you want to tell us why well because no we were talking because i'm tired <laughs> thought... of my vacuum cleaner and with christy and i were talking about vacuum and i'm gonna order the one she has Yeah, you're and... replacing your vacuum i love my vacuum I'm tired and so, of my and so vacuum. to enter the conversation you said wow that's really interesting hey my toilet seat's on the way <laughs> because the other okay, day i mentioned just... that I broke about it. it. Josh, <laughs> I love you, but I think he might be right. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm just saying <laughs> I'm just saying it's kind of a kind of a conversation killer, really. I knew we only had four seconds left in the break. It's kind of a funny I thing. I thought I would yes. You know what? Oh, oh, I, I thought I, I was <laughs> I thought I was bringing up a topic you, that you would enjoy. You no, know, I get Josh. I know what he was trying to do. Okay, sir, I didn't understand. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it took just over a year, but about six months longer than I had in the pool, but it finally happened. Oh, you had, you Josh, had the you had the under? Josh, you, I, had, you, I, I, I would have I would have taken the under too. Josh now openly <laughs> hates Tom. I had the under myself. I, Congratulations. But that was when they said I couldn't play because I was, I couldn't play. Really. I do like porn, uh, but I'm going to ask you guys a favor. We get a lot of emails sent to the show. You can stop sending me porn clips, okay? I, uh, thanks, but no thanks. I, I appreciate it, but I'll be honest, I want to find my own porn, okay? <laughs> T-Rex doesn't want to be fed. T-Rex wants to hunt. That's... <laughs> Yesterday we were talking about hickeys. Yeah. I have a story oh, for you. you Which one of your daughters hickeys. has one? You had those hickeys, yeah. Oh, and, they're, and your daughters. Yeah. No, nobody has hickeys, but we have death by hickey. Death by hickey? Mm-hmm. Well. My boyfriend was a vampire. <laughs> Were that me, I'm sure the officers would stand over my body and say, I have a feeling this is how he'd wanted to go. <laughs> <laughs> More chalk. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because I'm so oh gigantic. My God. One Here's stick one of, of chalk the things I've ever would done. never <laughs> not be enough at all. We had to use a whole box all. of chalk to outline his... Look uh, at him. He had to take please. his headphones off, <laughs> lean back, and just, he's yeah. screaming with laughter. <laughs> he's, he's just an awful person. <laughs> I wish so. I were an actual <laughs> sports assort. Body, your limbs. More chalk. <laughs> Lucky numbers. Man, if that weren't funny, I'd be you know so what? mad. You know what, Josh? I ate all day yesterday, and I really feel good about it, so screw it. You know Sorry. what? It doesn't matter. I was just trying to lighten the, the sad picture we all had of Josh lying there dead. Oh. Maybe lighten the, oh, lighten oh, the mood. Did. You know, I think yeah. that's even more insulting. He's taken an insult to you and tried to spin it into a positive. Oh, yeah, that's what's insulting. Sorry. Good God. <laughs> <laughs>
24-7. This is Bob and Tom, 24-7. Joining us in the studio, comedian Mark Eubanks. Did you go to college down in... Uh... I went to college in uh, University of West Virginia, Morgantown, West Virginia. Oh, really? I was a mountaineer. Hmm. Well, why would someone from Florida go to college in West Virginia? Uh, because you didn't have to be real smart to get into school there. <laughs> 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 Basically, showing up got you that piece of paper. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, valedictorian was a 2.0. <laughs> <laughs> On the breathalyzer. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you have to get drunk to be an ass? Why do you have to get tight before you get loose? Why do you need a double before you get into trouble? Can't you get into trouble without an excuse? You want to get up and get out and get free and get crazy. But why do you have to start by getting stoned? Because, Pat, you don't have to get drunk to be an ass. You can be an ass on your own. <laughs> Hi, this is Rodney King. <laughs> Hey, it's the Bob and Tom Show. Welcome back. Thank you for joining us, Tom. What are you enjoying over there? I see you really uh, savoring a beverage. Oh, it's a nice uh, flat white, they call it. Oh, I was watching a movie and somebody ordered that. Really? Never it, I think heard it's it. the end of Saltburn. Uh, I bet it wasn't. Boy, that movie. Oh, I love Saltburn. Mm. My kids watched that three times at least. The best. Holiday. What's it about? Two hours. <laughs> <laughs> Boys at Oxford, uh, you would kind of, we'd probably like it, actually. Don't tell him that. He'll watch it and crap all over it. What's That's it about true. now? Uh, it, 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 it's yeah. a talented Mr. Ripley, great Gatsby. Yeah. Okay. Uh, right. Yeah. Very rich family. By the way, we're having a Nutella discussion off the air. Some very unsettling moments. Yeah, we're not going to talk about Salburn anymore. Nutella is an Italian. <laughs> That's uh, the fake treat. chocolate stuff? It's hazelnut. It's not fake chocolate. No, it is fake chocolate. It's Every hazelnut. time I look at it, I go, oh, this is going to be good. It's chocolate icing, and it's not. And I, <laughs> I get mad. <laughs> Have you what flipped is... a table? <laughs> <laughs> yes. So it's the, it's the Milli Vanilli of... Uh, it's a hazelnut gooey. spread. It's not it's supposed to be chocolate. I know, but it looks like chocolate. Yeah. Have you seen the... They've repackaged it? No, I haven't. Yeah, it's, it's called I Can't Believe This Is Not Chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> I love those long names. Is that stuff still out there? I can't believe it's not butter. I can't believe it's not butter. I don't, I don't know. Think so that's still out there, right? I yeah. don't know. I use real butter. So. Yeah, because I mean, sure the name's too long. It's like remember the famous shampoo. Gee, your Gee. hair smells terrific. Gee, yes. your hair smells terrific. You know what took them out, Christy? They went into feminine hygiene products and <laughs> the la <laughs> labeling was labeling was, it was embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> Mommy, I found the stuff all. It's, uh, oh no, it's a, they, they call it snatchalini now. They, snatchalini. <laughs> it's Italian. It's Sounds a, like a female uh, Italian magician. <laughs> <laughs> Ta-da! Boy, that poor rabbit. <laughs> wow. It smells like a canal in Venice. Okay. Oh. Well, that had nothing to do with anything in the real world. What do we got here? Oh, okay. Now, we have... Uh, do you have the Red Hot Chili Pepper-esque story? This involves a Russian singer who's been arrested... Because, you know, those Russians, they, they really tolerate free speech. Yeah, especially with their mu yeah. musical groups. Hey, I, I, can't even yeah, name, yeah. I can't even name the one, the, the, riot. the P riot. It's a riot. Yeah, it was a riot. <laughs> um, a Russian singer has been sentenced to prison after he inadvertently exposed his penis to concert goers. Oh, and it was an accident, no Mr. less. Mr. Maxim Tesli uh, is, in the, is the front man for a band called <laughs> <laughs> Shenky, mm. which translates to the puppies... The puppies. What? Yeah. S H A C H E N K I. That's a pretty good name for that. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Shinky. He was wearing a sock over his penis oh. during a performance when it fell off and revealed his genitalia, which is what we were talking about earlier with the red hot chili peppers. How did they keep those babies on? Yeah, there there has to be some. a trick. Yeah. The court Double service. Double-sided tape. Or yeah. Quoted him as saying, it happened by accident. I didn't think that the socks would the sock would fall off and it seemed like an appropriate performance, which of course was not the case. He was then handed a 10-day prison sentence on the grounds of petty hooliganism. <laughs> Good, what I a like, cool charge. Isn't that great? That's the name yeah. of his next band. Yeah. <laughs> yeah well, what are you in for? Petty. Really? Mm. Yeah, 10 days is enough to uh, lose the old AC. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He doesn't mean air conditioning, no, folks. He doesn't. Uh, I got a letter. This comes to us from Cincinnati, Ohio. Um, uh, Gunter is kind enough to write. Hi, Gunter. He says that uh, you were speaking about the uh, 
I got to reword this. The um, uh, penile sock, if you will. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, from the famous Red Hot Chili Peppers. Right. Sure. And they would do this on stage, and mm -hmm. and I was asking, I mean, do you? You put a rubber band on it. I would think that would could cause serious damage. I think Josh just hit the nail on the head. Do that double-sided uh, tape is perfect. That's how I, mm, you tape what? your shirt together so your breasts don't fall out. I'm sure it would work on socks. Yeah. <laughs> Fabric and flesh. I'm yeah. sorry. Could you say that slower? <laughs> I know. Uh, uh, zip ties. I don't, and he goes, uh, in my younger days, a group of coworkers and their girlfriends and I were hanging out. Uh, it was an underground big hit club, so that picture with Red Hot Chili Peppers became a topic of, co of conversation. Similar to what you guys were wondering, me and a couple of guys knew that the socks stay on if you tuck in the uh, <clears throat> accoutrement, if you will. Oh, oh yeah. I mean, you'd think. Yeah. So we went into the other room and uh, tried it on and rejoined the party. All eyes were on us for the rest of the evening. Yeah. Okay. And, and they, they stayed on. Never lost a sock, huh? So I, I I guess that that makes more sense I suppose right. I, and I don't know if the Chili Peppers if they had the you would think if they did they had the balls to do that <laughs> <laughs> so to speak they would have to have done that because if their balls were exposed <laughs> Christy <laughs> that would be an indecent yeah. exposure charge right yes I don't I don't know. Yes. And all the you think. You can't walk around is it, is with it, your I consider out. testicles to be indecent. <laughs> yeah. If I saw somebody with theirs hanging out, I'd go, you know, that's indecent. <laughs> that isn't decent behavior. I mean, you could try walking around with your hanging out of well, your it's, zipper It's today. hard. Yeah. I mean, you're going to... Oh, well, that's even different. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then the sock stays on yeah, without the... Uh, way yeah. easier. <laughs> Pat, how much for us to get you oh, to, to perform a song with that sock look? Oh, my gosh. With the chili pepper sock thing? Yeah. Would you do it for... If we each gave you a hundred bucks, yes. <laughs> Absolutely. That's so, that was such an honest response. Yeah, I was thinking Jimmy. I was thinking yeah. Bills. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'd, do, I'd do it. Yeah. Oh, it'd be so great. That would be so funny. Wow. I got a hundred bucks for you. Oh. I got a sock. <laughs> Please use one of my socks. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Class it up though. Wear a black dress sock. Or make, nice, it, make or, it a nicer, a, a nice argyle with a, yeah. with a garter. Don't don't use the no shows. You got to go with a nice crew at least. <laughs> yeah, right. Right. Yeah. yeah, don't use a tiny boomba. Yeah. yeah, it's kind of right. if you're using the no shows, it's kind of embarrassing. Don't use those things that shoe stores have when you want to try on a pair. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, no shows are a little large on me. <laughs> <sighs> well, hmm. in prison for doing that. Wow. Well, uh, yeah, geez. Good luck to him and his band. Again, it's about the music. Sure. I mean, it's Ru Russia, right? Yeah. He's lucky. Like, 10 days in prison is pretty good, pretty good uh, sentence for Russia. You would think it would be longer? Yeah, like, longer. like way worse. Yeah. Like, he would be on a chain gang somewhere, like, breaking rock or something. Ugh. Oh, he probably, the gulag for 10 days, I bet, is oh, rough. Yeah. But, good. yeah. <laughs> Wow, poor guy. Um, uh, well, let's see now. Do the Chili Peppers still do that? Do they? Is that... I don't, I don't think, think so. so. No, they'd have to get longer socks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the tooth right now. Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah, these days, the way things are going, you know. <laughs> the sadly, Christmas stockings. They're, they're longer but thinner. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The key is they're, they're slender. They're, Does that they're, happen? The testicles tend to get saggier sure. and thinner. I mean, the, uh, the other, uh, uh, no, they... As something stretches out, it tends to thin. Okay. I think that was the joke. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Deep Purple's rewritten that song. It's uh, when they sit down, it's balls in the water. <laughs> <laughs> I, that hasn't happened to me yet. Do you, Jeff? Uh, it, actually, over break it happened, but it was because I didn't look, and the person who used before me had flushed, and it the water had risen. Oh, because it didn't go down, and they didn't plunge it, and then that's when I oh. experienced that. Oh. Oh. Luckily, the shower's inches away. <laughs> yes. 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 Jump in there, yes, but was the water clean? It couldn't. No, be. no. Yeah. it oh, was. Dear. Oh, dear. the okay, exact that's, opposite. Okay. Wow. That's awful. Awesome. <laughs> so sad. Big in uh, Nutella. Wow, I, I'd be boiling water. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is worth it. I don't know what's going on in our country, but people forgot how to flush a toilet. Have you run into this in, in public restrooms? 
I'm in this building. And our, I think the toilets have just gotten weaker. And, and people and just don't stay around long enough to realize. Make sure that no it's shrapnel not going is, down. Uh, yeah, yeah remains. It seems like every toilet I've walked into in the last six months, I've had. to But flush don't we know the toilets have gotten weaker? Isn't yeah. that like a whole thing? Yeah. Well, I tell you what, it's funny you'd bring that up because Christy, I gave you a news story out of the electronic show. What's the what's that called? The N E T. The C E I C E S. Yes. Consumer Electronics Show. Okay. <laughs> this is that. about... Um... Kohler, the great folks in Wisconsin. We love them. Uh, they've debuted a voice-controlled toilet seat. Voice-controlled, no less. Yeah, it can connect with your Alexa or Google Home. Now, <laughs> this, see, this, to me, <laughs> I'd love to see like a Stanley Kubrick-esque... <laughs> <laughs> I can't raise the lid. <laughs> par parody of this, yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, Hal... Uh, Hell, my balls are caught. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dave. <laughs> I can't unclench them. <laughs> no, Hal, you yeah, have to. Yeah. Hey, you're you're going to die on the bidet, Dave. <laughs> this water's going to be a little bit hot, Dave. Kohler, I'm, Kohler's, about to, I'm about to cook your ass. <laughs> Kohler said its Pure Wash E930 bidet seat is not only heated, but offers adjustable water temperatures and pressure, as well as warm air drying. Voice activation through Alexa or Google Home allows you to have hands-free control of the spray dryer and UV cleaning. Wow. The high-tech bidet currently priced at, what would you pay for a nice... This is just the seat, Voice-activated right? seat. Bet it's bidet expensive. seat. I'm going to say 600 bucks. I'll say it's 2000 $1,289. That's too high. Whoa. Yeah. I'd go six. That's it. But you talk to it. Well, yeah. They better talk back for that. Like, it better tell me it loves me after it's done wiping me <laughs> for 1300 Or it has, like, jokes. Yeah. Do you have a breath mint? <laughs> oh, no toilet. Hey, uh, uh, judging by that, I'm going to play brown-eyed girl. <laughs> yeah. Couldn't you really have fun with somebody, though, if you're Alexis controlling that and you're in the other room? Yeah. And, uh, no, somebody's in the other room. Oh, that's a great idea. Literally. Right? <laughs> Alexa, boiling water enema. Uh, <laughs> My bidet has all those features except for the voice control. It has a boiling water enema? No. Oh. It has, uh, <laughs> but I can control the temperature of the water and the uh, pressure of the water. Like, is your hot setting hot, hot? It's, yeah, you can tell it's hot. And cold is cold. Oh. So I'm right there. I'm near, I'm uh, like so, probably 70%. So essentially, it's a smart toilet. Yes, what is what this? But is. mine is I, I have to use my hands. I have, it has a remote control. So but this one is so this could be this tied. Could in, tell. This thing could be tied into your uh, food ordering. So what? It would know what kind of it would know? Oh, uh, it was Mexican food night. Um, hey, Pepe, uh, up the temperature. <laughs> we got a lot of work to do. I, know. I, I thought you were going to say it's Mexican food night. Hey, order more tortillas. Right. That's what I <laughs> right. You Same. clearly hate them. Yes. Uh, this mm. is I, I don't know. Too much for you? Yeah, uh -huh. it is. It is. I, I'm really surprised you don't have a bidet. I know, thanks. When you put that People fancy house them. in, you should have put a fancy bidet in. No, I have standard, uh, although I do have the... Uh, you have the good toilets, right? You have a urinal. The new ones now, they have the two-system thing. Yeah, that's you, not bad. Yeah. You press one half of it for the... For one and the milder, other for yes. two? Yes, uh, you know, the milder flush and the other one yeah. to haul the mail. Well, makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, this is getting real common now. To use well, how do you know which one to push? I always wonder about that. Because Mine is, is uh, it, it, one of the. It's it's a circular thing, and then instead of being divided in half, one of them is like two thirds, the other one's a third. So the smaller is the one you push for, is, is for number for, one. For, yes, for, for my okay. flush is just if you just flush it real quick, and yeah. it's, that's the light flush. And then if you hold it down for a, a second, it's a bigger flush. Really? Yeah. Huh. And huh. it works. It works wonderfully. I'm really pleased with the toilets I have. You flush. sound like you're very pleased yeah. with them. Are they, do you have bidets in all of them? No, just the one. So my guests don't get to use a bidet. Should, makes... I, should I get a guest bidet? Yes. I think yeah. you're being selfish. I want a bidet now. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. I'm not being a very courteous host. <laughs> I, I, I don't have a bidet, but if I did, I would certainly would you have use a bidet at in my else's parlor home? bathroom. That, see, that's the thing. Uh, yeah. I thought it might gross people out, but there really is nothing gross about it. That's perfect. Except that it's spraying water up your <laughs> <laughs> It'd be really funny if you didn't tell the people that was going to do that. <laughs> you know, bidets aren't just for the back. Women can use them. For I have a question. Yeah, that's why they sit forward. Do you have to close your legs so it doesn't start squirting out the front? No, it goes right where it needs to go. <laughs> that's a fair question. You have to aim it ahead of time, right? No. It go, it go, you I mean, you I, adjust I, it, yes. I, I envision I'm sitting there struggling with Wordle. 
and uh, and I've got my legs just a little bit apart, and all of a sudden I've got my phones all wet. Well, 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 well Squirtle. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Well, thank you very much. Uh, what's coming up in the news, Christy Well, Lee? we're not done with urine talk. We have a really good story about that. And, guys, how often should you change your underwear? We'll talk about that coming up. Uh, we also have gum news today. As in chewing gum? Yes, and it's going to upset a few people, I think. Oh, and I've got a, I, I did, found some really cool audio um, linkage, if you will. To of the, me using my bidet. Um, no, no, no. I, although he can certainly create that. Here's your, uh, here's your hint. Yipes, stripes, peach nuts, got them. Yipes, stripes, new cherry stripe gum. Yipes, stripes, peach nuts, got them. Yipes, stripes, new grape stripe gum. Remember that? Yes. Yipes, yep. stripes, yep. peach nuts, got them. No. We're going to hear about, um... Of course not. I mean, the... it sounded a thousand years old. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I heard, heard a pterodactyl in the background. <laughs> That was, that was played before a fireside chat. <laughs> Literally the Charleston in the back. It, was, it may have been in the 60s. Uh, 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 uh. Our tribute to Yipes, Stripes, Beach Nuts, got them coming up. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Hey, thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. Get a look at today's show on our YouTube channel. Definitely, yeah, that gives you the... Oh, yeah, so you can't see the uh, outline. Yeah, uh, now, yeah with jeans, yeah, the... it definitely gives you the, the J-Lo butt. Yeah, yeah, if that's what you want. Yeah, baby's got back. Yeah, now, I, Chick uh... McGee has tried on a pair of these, and Chick is known for having no buttocks. <laughs> How much do you want on video? What do you mean? We want it all, baby, money shot. Like just... that? Oh, there we go. There we go. That's what, that's what I like. <laughs> oh yeah. There's no almost no difference. I mean, right here. This is more what they're looking for. Oh my god. Come check come in, on Chick. And, okay, uh, Chick has the yeah. yeah, okay, Chick has them on. And oh dear God. Oh, He's no. got a shelf ass. Now wait a minute. What did you? What you have did you, a shelf ass. You have a you shelf do? ass. Have a nice ass. How what did you, you do? <laughs> you look like you turn around. Let me see you from the I side. I can't recommend these booty pops enough. <laughs> Let me see the profile. What oh my you? God! You got a basketball in your ass. Going on. <laughs> no, you that, that is not just the booty pop. What did you do? That doesn't. That. What did you put back there? I. Uh, Attitude back here, Bob's what I got. You got a you got attitude, a, you, I got you got a shell fast is what you've got. I've what did got... you put what did you put in there besides the booty pops? It's a little little fluffy pillow. <laughs> oh. Well that's a, if that's the look you're going for. Yeah. You know what? All the girls will talk about you at the club. Oh yeah. Oh, it makes me want to. It makes me want to do a joke that only four of us would get, but we'd never forget the moment. But I can't do it. All right. You know that is a. Well, that's you got a big uh, shelf really ass now. That is a good. <laughs> it makes you taller. Look at that. It improves your posture. Oh, oh that's great. I'm not great. all hunched over. Oh, that's funny. Oh. Oh, it feels uh, like I have a really awful hemorrhoid. Uh, <laughs> well, it looks like a big uh, awful hemorrhoid. Okay. Oh, I got to get this okay. off. It's yeah, really, I'll, really hot. I'll bet. My, well, you probably weren't supposed to put the extra padding in there. That's just sweating. Okay. Got this lycra. And... Christy, is your ass really hot right now? No. Because Christy is also wearing the booty pop panties. Are you, is it breathing? Are you? But Christy didn't put a pillow inside I'm, of hers. I'm yeah. just. Yeah, that's they look pretty good. I got to tell you, Christy. Do they? Yeah, they, they look very nice. It's if you're into that sort of thing, warm. you don't like, like a big butt. Not, uh, not that shape. No. Oh. Well, it's not. It doesn't make. I want to. It doesn't make your ass look huge. It just gives you more uh, lift. Lift in the back there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks, it's, it looks a little. It's not making your it looks hips, like hips the butt wider. Is too high. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Let me see. Let me see one more time. Uh, <laughs> you want to feel it too? Turn just turn to the side. I'll feel it. Oh, let go over it. and feel. Oh, yeah, oh wow. it. There you go. Come on. Yeah. Squeeze it. Come on, Tom. Go, go there. Tom. Squeeze. Go, baby. Go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm just, I don't know. I'm just getting old. I hate 
I'm not doing this gracefully. I hate technology. I hate any kind of change. I, have you seen this commercial for a car where they say the car can actually anticipate when you're going to have a wreck? The uh -huh. car can predict when you're going to... I guess they got some kind of computer on board. Right. I thought, you know, if that was really true, as soon as I hand the keys to my son, the damn airbags would go off. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but I said, all this technology, like, I, I, I'm, I'm sure you guys probably have this. Uh, I just don't understand if this, like, MySpace and Facebook. Oh, yeah. Twitter. Right. I just don't, I don't understand the concept. I don't, can you imagine uh, being in a mall and going up to a complete stranger and going, could I be your friend? <laughs> denied. You'd be denied bail. That should be denied. I just, and young people out there, I'm not saying I'm right. I know this is old man cranky talk. I really do. But I, <laughs> I just don't understand. I see all these young college kids getting tattoos with, like, Chinese characters on their arm. Yeah. You think there's college kids in China getting... Geter Dunn tattooed on their arms. I, I find that unlikely, don't you? I, That's very possible. Now, this, this, you don't have to be old or cranky for this to make you mad, but this is making me nuts. Have you noticed how uh, lately when you call these tech support things, in my case, I was calling my credit card, but when these 1 800 things, we know this has been outsourced for a while, but sure. remember in the beginning how they try to pretend like they're American? Oh, yeah. They'd say, I oh, my name is Sean. You go, right. yeah, how's the weather in Calcutta today, uh, Sean? Uh -huh. But <laughs> now they don't even care. Have you noticed? Seven. I'm serious. I called the day, and the guy just told me his uh, told me his Indian name. And when they put me on hold, they're playing Ravi Shankar. You know, they, <laughs> did, they didn't bother to hide it at all. And I, I was getting so frustrated because you know I I wouldn't get anything done. I kept saying, "Excuse me, I'm sorry. What was that? Please, excuse me. Could repeat that." Mm -hmm. And here's what I want you guys to do. It was a lot of fun for me. Maybe we'll start a movement. I started mumbling on purpose, like Boom Hour from King of the Hill or Gabby Hayes. I started going, <laughs> "Yeah, they damn will make up a thing in there. Put someone down on him." He goes, "Excuse me, what?" I said, "Yeah, how do you like it?" <laughs> Things I've ever would done. never not be a we had to use a whole box of chalk to outline his. Look at him. Uh, he had to take his headphones off, <laughs> lean back, and just, he's yeah. screaming with laughter. He's he's just an <laughs> awful person. More chalk. Lucky numbers. Man, four. if that weren't funny, I'd be <laughs> so mad. Let's talk to our guest, Tom Foss. Tom, tell us about your life. You uh, married, single? What's going on? There? Married, very happily married. I got a friend going through a midlife crisis. You know anyone like that? Oh yeah. And he's asking me what he should do. Oh yeah. And I keep telling him cheating is like growing pot. <laughs> <laughs> like growing pot? You can do it and get away with it, but you can't ever, ever tell anyone. <laughs> <laughs> ever. Ever. <laughs> ever. Anybody. You're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. That's awful. Awful entertaining. Essential. Morning Radio. Uh, this is Bob and Tom. Details. Oh, uh, I, yeah, that's right. Chick isn't here. Hi, it's the Bob and Tom Show. <laughs> Boy, if there's no more, better proof of how I coast every morning, <laughs> it, it really shows itself when he's not here. Anyway, Bob and Tom Show, uh, we're all here, and we're glad you're here. Tom, what's going on in the world of you? Tell us about you. Well, I'll tell you what. Um, <laughs> I am exhausted, and uh, why? Rough day. Vacation. I know this. I know. Yes, that's the thing. I know it's it's kind of a hack premise, but when you go on vacation, when you get back, you need a break. Yeah, <laughs> vacation yeah, from yeah. the vacation. It's just you know just too much of everything. You just, I just want to have a day where I can sit down. And I can't. Uh, but yeah, I'm fine. I'm. I'm but see, then there's okay. the opposite of that. This was the first time in a long time we didn't go anywhere on vacation at all, mm -hmm. and I feel like I didn't get a vacation. It's just I don't feel rested. Did you feel rested? Uh, yeah, I did. But I know I do know what you're saying. Yeah, I mean, I just laid around and watched TV all day. It just seemed oh, pointless. Yes. <laughs> uh, well, um, in any of it, no, everything's cool. Um, now, I, I wanted to get back to this news story 
because I've got a, a couple of tributes here. This involves the um, the famous Kohler company, mm -hmm. very maker of very fine products. Oh yes, uh, including toilets, and they have uh, released a um, a voice controlled toilet seat, the Pure Wash E nine thirty bidet seat. So and and now you have a aftermarket bidet at your house, Josh. I do. Yeah, very fancy. Thank you. Yes. If you're not familiar with the I bidet, it's like, it's like a water pick for your anus. Yeah, that's a very good <laughs> and, uh, definition. Shoots, uh, <laughs> shoots warm water there to clean things out. You know, some, there's probably some guy listening going, how'd they know I was using my water pick on my <laughs> ass? <laughs> <laughs> Had to set up three mirrors to even see what I was doing. <laughs> um, I, I don't know. I don't have one of these. I, it seems a little bit weird. But this one, it's it's voice controlled. Yeah, by Alexa or Google Home, which is really bizarre. But I was thinking of something that would be really cool with this thing. Hmm. I wonder if you could program it. So now, for example, let me just uh, state um, uh, the, the hotel where I was staying had a gym. Mm -hmm. I'd go down to the gym and warm up my legs to go skiing. But they And, and that gym, the toilets have a, some kind of electronic gizmo so that when you, uh, whatever you're doing, if you, when you walk away, it flushes. Okay, yeah. Sure. yeah, yeah, yeah very common, there's no yeah. flush right. switch. A lot of toilets have right. yeah. that. Well, I was wondering, I was thinking about this thing. I wonder if they've designed it so that um, if a guy pees in it. Right. Before he, before, as soon as he finishes, it goes, put the seat down. <laughs> oh, I was going to say it actually sets it down for you. Well, I think it'd be funnier if it I was... think some of them do that. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Jeff, wouldn't it be funny if the toilet seat was bossy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why I need hey. more of that in my yeah. life. Yeah. Hey, hung like that's a thimble, good. put the seat down. <laughs> <laughs> it, starts, it starts insulting you at the toilet. The toilet starts going, wow. I'm surprised you could even get your fingers around it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need this from you, toilet. Uh, hey, well, you want to borrow some tweezers there? <laughs> <laughs> toilet. Uh, <laughs> anyway, it's the Pure Wash E930 bidet seat. Yes. All right. Um, It'll set you back almost 1300 bucks, but... How are they demonstrating that at the CES this year? Well, I hope they use a mannequin. <laughs> <laughs> now, don't... Does it... Am I wrong? Doesn't this usually coincide in Vegas with the Adult Entertainment Awards? Uh, please, Adult Video News Awards. Uh, the AVN. Yes. I, I apologize. Thank you. Am I wrong about that? Yeah, they they're back to back. So yeah, this that costs extra. <laughs> but yeah. like, isn't it that that men and use, they did that on purpose? Use this. Oh, I have to go for business, but they're really going for the AVNs. Um, well, now they're they aren't the exact same time. They're, oh, okay. they're one week after. But yes, it was because all these international folks come in. There's uh, no, the, the AVN. This is pornography awards. <laughs> yeah, it's the Oscars Adult of uh, porn. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you do, know what it is. They work hard. They need. Do to, they show clips? And they. I, oh, oh, oh I, that's a good question. Actually, Ace, you and I have talked about how they they show I, these on Showtime. I've got a last year's episode. On my DVR. So, so when they say uh, uh, and nominated for Best Actress, uh, Adriana Chechik for Face Invaders, will they show? I think, I think they, they show, show a clip. You know, yeah. So I, I have a real quick question. <laughs> did they do the? Uh, did they do the thing at the Oscars, the memorial? Oh. <laughs> That's a good question. The AVN in memoriam has to be so sad. Oh man. Oh. Yes. Who can forget <laughs> Diamond Rock Smith? <laughs> my, my favorite part of the AVNs are when they accept a new award, you know, for like whatever so they're doing. Whatever, yeah. 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 I can thank my mom and dad. Oh. <laughs> well, see, that's the I thing. I can thank my there's... mom and dad for abandoning me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, sure, I have daddy issues. In fact, my new film is called Backdoor Daddy. Oh. <laughs> I'd like to thank my uncle. You know why. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Uncle Bad Touch. Oh, uh. uh, rough. No, a lot of, uh, yes, it, there's a lot of do they? Let me ask you this. Many porn stars are actually quite uh, uh, healthy. Normally. Talented, and, healthy. Yes. yes. I've never watched them. Um, well, do they I, have? I don't know not. if I believe you. But do they I have? Like, <laughs> totally lying. I have never watched. No, the 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 porno awards. I've oh right, 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 right. Yeah, Tom yeah. and Your Honor. I'll watch it today. Do they have like um, orifice specific? They awards? do. Yes, yeah. they yeah. do. Best backdoor. Best. DVP, best yeah. gang. Okay, I, I don't know what, know what that means, and now I just realized. What did you say? I don't want to know. What DVP. Oh, what? I don't know what that is. DVP. I don't even know if I know what I, that I, is. I, well, maybe you've got to keep it to yourself. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure I think, I think sure the first word, double. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
Yes. Ah. Uh, yeah. Okay. V. V. Okay. Great. Oh. <laughs> now, do the uh, is the public invited to the uh, to the dinner? I think so. I think if you wanted, you could just buy you tickets. Buy a ticket. Yeah, and you yeah. could buy a and seat. Is, at the table. is it a dinner or is it an auditor? I I just envision there is a dinner it, like the Golden Globes. It this is sounds. Like... This is going to sound uh, very snooty of me, but uh, the the author David Foster Wallace wrote an essay about how he went to the Avians one year, and it's if you look look up his essay about it, if you really want to know <laughs> how it is, it's pretty awesome. I don't remember. And boring. It, they say it's the most boring thing you can go to. It looks like a big hotel ballroom. It's gigantic. Yeah. And every comedian that's ever, because they get comedians to uh, host, host, and uh, they say they always say it's the toughest room they've ever worked. Because first off, hosting an award show is already a thankless gig right. completely. Right. It's impossible. Yeah. And I, I, this year they're going to get Joe Coy. That way no one gets an erection. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think there's many that find him to be a handsome chap. I don't know. No, no. They, that, did you hear how he bombed? I did, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never seen such. Though I feel bad for. It. I do too. Yeah, I, it's probably. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah ten I, days. I, I would imagine a lot of the criticism is unfair, but it's. Uh, I, I, he I was don't know. Brutalized. Yeah, that which is unfortunate. That's but a tough. A, that's a tough gig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh well, what's he gonna do? Oh yeah, I guess they didn't like me. I'll, I'll go. I'll go sell out another fifteen arenas. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, he's taking it in stride and, and doing fine. He seems to have good spirits about <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, okay. yeah, he'll probably have a new ten minutes about it. Yeah, yeah. you would think. Yeah. Uh, now, um, so the question was. Um, uh, how do we get to the AVN Awards? Oh, oh, uh, CES. 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 Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yeah. The uh, toilet that you can hook up right. to your Alexa. Right. I, I, real quick, back to the porno awards. Um, <laughs> please tell me that they have, like, that pre-award thing where they have the morons out there. They have the red yeah, carpet. Red carpet. <laughs> but yeah. it's pink, right? Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's got to be. they ask them what they're not wearing yeah. today. Yeah. It's, it's got to be a, very it's gotta, it's funny. Gotta be a, it's got to be a, a pink carpet. What are you not wearing? <laughs> <laughs> there are varying degrees with what they're wearing. Some are glammed up. Sure, some are like, sure. You know. Well, I, I imagine since mm -hmm. they've obviously... You know, it's you don't have to be worry about being modest when you've been in uh, you know a cucumber four. <laughs> <laughs> I have not with, seen that one. Veg vegetables in my keister. I, I saw it, but I hadn't seen one through three, so I was lost. Uh. <laughs> I don't think there's a lot of, a lot of modesty. Uh, I just that has to be. Well, uh, uh, you're here for the awards tonight. I, uh, good luck <laughs> with the uh, I can't believe it got in award. <laughs> <laughs> I think and, they're all very uh, excited, uh, having a good time with their friends. Oh, wait a minute, am I hearing your butt plug buzzing? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Do they buzz? Oh, sorry. Some. Well, this introduction is now The one I have in now isn't. But. The, the, the introduction I was going to make. When we come back, <laughs> we have a tribute to, um, to the bidet uh, and other things. Uh, also, uh, what have you got coming up, Christy Lee? Uh, coming up, we have our Fruit Stripe gum story. We have a Monkey King Wanted. Um, what else do we have in the news? The walking stick from Queen Elizabeth that uh, allegedly was fake was being sold. <laughs> and the first AI-powered restaurant coming soon. Huh. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I've had enough of AI. Have uh, you? When we come back, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Just got to get a hold of us? Call, fax, mail, or email. Get all the contact information you need at bobandtom.com. This is the Bob and Tom Show. awkward situations i feel like um recently in dc i, I threw up in the street uh which isn't a, a big deal that happens i'm a pretty heavy drinker but uh <laughs> what was different about this time was as i was about to throw up you know when you're when you're yeah. just starting to come up i made eye contact with a woman sitting outside of a starbucks yeah and then i held eye contact as i vomited oh, <laughs> oh. so oh, it was just amazing. very awkward because she just saw me kind of look over at her and then go Bleh! <laughs> and uh, I mean, did what's you, going uh, on in her reality? You know, does she, she wants uh, to watch that? Did she get her didn't get her number? I did not get her number. <laughs> no, no, I'm afraid. You? What does she go home no, and say? You? I was so ugly today and made a man vomit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want her to think that. You know. <laughs> so I had to go over and tell her it wasn't the case. Man, that's a bad hair day. <laughs> yeah, that's, if, you're, if a man looks at you and vomits, it is a bad day. You need you need to visit your hairdresser <laughs> ASAP. Wow. Yeah. Yeah.
Yeah. Uh, T.J. Miller is our guest. Killer, yeah, right? it really is. Yeah, but I, I get, yeah, I, I get into stuff like that. See, all I'm the time. a sympathy vomiter. I would have, if he'd made eye contact with me, I would have. I would have me too. You would vomit joined. also. I would join so when, you. Yeah. So when you smell vomit, oh, oh, yes. you immediately oh, vomit. Oh, well, say let's, goodbye. Let's, let's let's move on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so far, we've covered soiling ourselves and vomiting. Vomiting. In the uh, studio. What show. next? All right, let's go into pussy lesions. No. No, Bob. That's wrong in the script. It's not pronounced pussy. <laughs> there you go. You know, it's written that way. You know, it looks that way wow. on the page. Uh, you know, if you read that wrong at the uh, audition, yeah. wow, that's a different movie. Yeah, well, what's entirely. This, Mr. Abrams, I don't it's understand. Much closer to a Mr. Skin film. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think so. I would say. Oh, <clears throat> yeah. So, uh, now, were you a big drinker in college? Yeah, I, yeah. I, 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 in college, I think I, I, I drank a little bit more than I, I do now. I, well, whatever is. In college, whenever I drank, I would pass out. It was like my thing, you know. Right. Mm-hmm. That's how people knew me. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Um, pass out guy. Yeah, it got to the point where even before I went out, I'd go ahead and draw a dick on my face. Because <laughs> <laughs> it was gonna happen. It was gonna eventually. happen. Yeah. Your buddies were gonna take care of it anyway. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Just take it right. Oh boy, you know. Yeah. It, Why wait? It, was, right. it really is something else. I see. I don't. I, I'm really. I'm not a fan of that. Oh, I'm not. That's because it, first of all, what do they think it's gonna help me? You know, they yeah. think years from now I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna be saying, "Yeah, it got really bad." You know, I was just drinking all the time, passing out, and then uh, one day I woke up, looked in the mirror, and I was like, "TJ, get it together." And I <laughs> owe it all to Steve and his artistic ability to draw a ball sack on my forehead. <laughs> <laughs> Adopted parents. Adopted parents. Adopted parents. That's right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm adopted. Mm-hmm. I was actually left in a basket on the, the stoop of a fire station. Hmm. And had oh. I been a Dalmatian, they would have kept me. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> damn your luck. Huh? Yeah, damn my luck. No. But you, lo- were, you were, that's nice, though. You were, you were adopted, and you're, you have a good relationship with your adopted I love being adopted. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. But people say things to me. I, I'm with my dad. A guy comes up to me. He goes, you have your father's eyes. <laughs> I'm like, no, I don't even have his address. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I think he lives near a fire station. Uh, somewhere. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, you know, it, it's, it, I, I really I, I feel blessed to be adopted. Uh, but I'm curious about my culture, my heritage. Mm-hmm. Uh, I kind of think I'm a light-skinned black man. Uh, really? Ba- really? Based Very on light. what? Because I'm big. You uh-huh. know, yeah, oh, and, uh, uh, oh, I got you. Okay. okay. Uh, banana. Uh, people, exactly. <laughs> banana, That's banana. why it's a fun word. Uh, people ask, are you English, you're German, you're French? I don't know. I'm adopted. All I know about my culture is they give away their children. <laughs> 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 or go effing nuts with a hot fudge Sunday. How would you rate the Effing House Family Restaurant? It was the best effing experience of my life. <laughs> rate this place? Well, yeah, I wouldn't give it a B. I wouldn't even give it a C because it's effing A. <laughs> In Effingham, Illinois, it's the Effing House Family Restaurant. You'll have an effing good time. <laughs> Morning laughter <laughs> just might be the best medicine. No matter how hard I try, can't keep my hands off my feet. <laughs> Bob and Tom Radio. Tom Radio. There's a lady in town. She's an Orthodox Jew. And she needs to buy bread that is unleavened. But it's late and she knows. That the stores are all closed <laughs> And she really needs to make a sandwich <laughs> And she's buying bread at 7-Eleven 
I got thrown out of J.C. Penny the other day. Really? Yeah, fondling up the mannequins. <laughs> believe that? And that ain't my fault. Have you seen the mannequins in there? Uh-huh. And they taunt you, too. They got the little short skirt on, arm up, kind of waving you over. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Shoot. I tell you what, if you ask me, the little whore was asking for it. <laughs> Hey, this is Henry Phillips, and you're listening to Bob and Tom. Hey, it's the Bob and Tom Show. There's Christy Lee at the news desk. Hello. Pat Godwin in the music room. Hey, Josh. Jeff Oske sitting in for Chickster this morning. Yes, sir. Ace Cosby running the engineering side of hey. things. I'm Josh Arnold, and there's Tom. Hey, uh, what's going on? There we are. <laughs> Every time. You're either early or late. <laughs> I know you're busy over there doing things. A lot, a lot going on over here, Ace. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a lot going on. A lot going on. So much so you neglect the one thing you should be doing, which is... <laughs> Make sure the coffee has sugar. How, how many times have I told you I cannot talk and think at the same time? I don't know. This is probably not the right job for me. Probably not. Uh, okay, let me see. Now, where were we? Okay, I've been doing a little... I was over here actually doing some more homework. Oh. About? Well, we're talking about um, uh, contemporary uh, toilets. Mm-hmm. And um, this new one that is actually voice controlled through your Alexa or you know whatever thing you've got, which to me is kind of weird. Um, it's extravagant, it, that's for sure. The, the Pure Wash E nine thirty bidet seat, which is like I said, it's like a built in water pick for your can, if you will. But you tell it what to do. Now you have a bidet, right, Joe? Yes. Yeah, I can't talk. Now, about them. do you have to? Uh, Warm up the water or anything? Or? No, it's already set, and uh, it when it comes out, it comes out at the te- desired temperature. So really? It's, yeah. Does no. it have to be hooked up to electricity at all? Yes. Okay. Yes, I am plugged in, and uh, it's also it's obviously tied into the water line right, right there in the back of the toilet. And, mm. It's mm. amazing. What a world! What a world we live in. Indeed. What a world. Uh, now, That's uh, what the witch said when she used her What a wonderful world. Uh, Pat, do you have a, uh, a tribute of some sort? Yeah, I forgot about this. I wrote something for Josh. Uh, Thank when you. He, when he first got this. Sniffing the tears tribute here. Oh. <laughs> Josh is doing all right. Sold out shows on Saturday nights. Making extra cash. So he did something nice for his ass. <laughs> Toy in the seat. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Toy the seat. This new seat's sweet. It even measures your heartbeat. <laughs> Josh sits broken hearted. <laughs> Came to, but he can't get started. <laughs> He's got a bidet under his toilet seat. Yeah, and it gives you a warm little splash. <laughs> you won't get a nasty butt rash. <laughs> Land your feet. <laughs> Check your blood pressure on the toilet seat. Hey, toilet, toilet seat. seat. On the toilet. Toilet seat. A pizza Josh eats. <laughs> <laughs> toilet seat. <laughs> His stool is red. I guess it's the beach. So, <laughs> toilet seat. Josh has a toilet seat. <laughs> toilet seat. <laughs> Apologies, uh, apologies to the sniffing the tears. Great sniffing the tears. <laughs> that was kind of their only big hit, right? I think. I think so. That's the only one I've heard. Yeah. yeah. Great song. That is great. Not that one, but I mean, no, the, no, the one that yeah. it's based on. Certainly, a uh, love, lovely tune. Uh, Chick McGee, a little under the weather. Uh, so Jeff Oskey is sitting in with us. That's right. And uh, Jeffrey, you got a show coming up. I understand. I do next uh, next Saturday, or next Friday night in Green Bay with uh, Dave Dyer and uh, Greg Hahn, and then in February with. Mr. Pat Godwin himself. February 10th. I'll be opening for him down at the uh, Evansville right. Furniture Store. Big Valentine's now, Speaking show. of Greg Hahn, uh, it'll be Willie G and Greg Hahn at One Night Stands in Waterford, Michigan, this Friday and Saturday. Two shows Saturday. That's at One Night Stands. Uh, also, uh, while well, speaking of uh, the state of Michigan, congratulations uh, going out to uh, our various winners in the last three weeks of the Bob and Tom Pigskin Competition. Manton, Michigan's own Spencer Suharski 
was Week 17 winner. Week 16, Jeremy Childers of uh, Marion, Ohio. And uh, over the weekend, it was James Dunn from uh, Union, Ohio. Um, at, and they all win, of course, the Big Green Egg Mini Max and the Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Oven Baked Bundle. Uh, so, and then, well, I think we'll be talking to probably to James uh, tomorrow uh, with a special edition of the Shoe In of the Week. Uh, now, uh, once again, thanks to the Big Green Egg folks and everybody who won the beautiful Big Green Egg Mini Maxes over the course of the NFL season. We now turn it back to Christy Lee. What have you got over According there? to the New York Post, men. You can safely change your underwear every other day instead of every day, like Mom told you. It doesn't sound comfortable. No. Do you ever flip it? Dr. Anju? I never, never have. No, I would go commando before that. Yeah. You never just took it and turned Flipped it inside, it inside out? out? No. no. Mm-hmm. Dr. Anju Methil, a dermatologist with the facility known as Clinic Spots. What's his first name? Anjou. <laughs> Anjou. <laughs> sorry. Oh, I love Anjou with a roast beef sandwich. Anjou. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Anjou. Anjou. A-N-J-U. Doctor, Anjou. The, what does the doctor say? Uh, he says in situations with minimal activity and no sweating, changing underwear every other day may be acceptable. Oh, this is a woman, by the way. She added men's looser fitting styles like boxers may also allow for slightly longer wear. That makes sense. They're more breathable. Yeah. A little more. Yeah. They're not hugging. Yes. <laughs> Not absorbing as much, potentially. Well, actually, and there's another thing. Let me see if I can find it. I saw this. Uh, oh, here it is. Uh, this is a uh, scientific study. Headline from the Huffington Post is, The best and worst types of underwear to keep you uh, t- to keep you healthy, quote, down there. Is this for women? Both. They spoke to two urologists and two OBGYNs. Okay. Oh, for P's and V's. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what would you say? Scientific. For P's and V's, and V's. yeah. V's and V's. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay. <laughs> Girls have V's, boys have V's. No, I, I, right. I, you, you could have gone. I thought you were, no, no, never mind. Well, never. <laughs> there are a couple most, options there. Yes. Yeah. Most cases. Well, actually, yeah. could, have gone, could have gone yeah. P's, P's and D's. <laughs> yeah, could have gone yeah. P's yeah. and D's. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, C's oh. and C's. Could have gone, yeah. gone P's and P's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's, a it's a different world out there. <laughs> All kinds of stuff. Okay, uh, the, it, uh, ladies. The best fabrics for underwear, <laughs> according to these uh, This is doctors. a no-brainer. It's got to be cotton. Felt, uh, this felt. is natural, b- breathable <laughs> fabrics, yeah. such as cotton, uh-huh. allowing the air to circulate. Sure. <laughs> Otherwise, you're going to knock your man out. <laughs> so I got to stop buying women burlap underwear? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that shaves you. <laughs> oh, this is a new word for me. Uh, it says, um, I'll, let me read the sentence. Humility. Uh, Ray, <laughs> <Ray's>. <laughs> Modesty. Uh, it, it, have you ever heard the word vulvar? Yes, yeah, it, pertaining it's, to the, the vulva. vulvar. Right. It, this, mm-hmm. it, that sounds like a character from <laughs> Star Trek. <laughs> I am vulvar. Uh, I am vulvar. Planet vulva. We are a four-lipped species. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> These yeah, are cotton this, uh, panties means something on my different. <laughs> <laughs> it says um, a breathable fabric important for vulvar health. Mm-hmm. Sure. I've never seen, I don't think I've ever seen vulvar. Um, it reminds me of Farfel, the dog from the old quick commercials. <laughs> anyway. Do men go commando as much as women? No. no, I don't think so. I don't think so either. I bet yeah. they do. Uh, this this is where this goes. Yeah. There's a certain age where you can no longer go commando. Yeah. Uh, most of my lady friends right now don't wear underwear. Right. Almost, I mean, probably 80%. Not with, no. dre- with dresses? Yes. Well, in your defense, you hang out with sluts. <laughs> <laughs> and where are you going this weekend? <laughs> yeah, where do you guys like to hang Tell out us at? what place you'll be. hanging out with sluts. <laughs> no underwear? <laughs> These are married women? Yes. Okay. That's do a you, fine idea. Now, are you part of that? Um, no, I am not part of that you're, game. You like to wear? I like to be now, covered up. Okay, this gets complicated, Christy, and this is some, we touched on this earlier. This is once again an OBGYN saying uh, for ladies uh, for underwear, natural options include hemp, bamboo, mm-hmm. and linen. Sure. Now, bamboo, aren't those little sticks going to get stuck? <laughs> bamboo makes a very nice fiber. Oh, because like I, I said, I, you, my I, when I think, bamboo, I when love I think of bamboo, I think of uh, Mr. Klein Hansen <laughs> renting those boats on Round Lake and fishing with those bamboo fishing rods. Bamboo's sure. come a long way, Tom. Yeah. Those, yeah. Those, are, those were the days. So they make Easy bamboo to grow. into fabric, do they? Huh? Yes. yes. Makes yes. a wonderful fabric. But it, uh, bamboo sheets have been known to kill dozens of panda every year because uh. they start to death. So shame you know what? You, we don't have any pandas here anymore, so I don't care. Now, linen, do you have to iron or <laughs> Yeah, that gets wrinkly. 
Especially down there. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I've never seen linen underwear. I bet it feels good. Oh, it'd be cool in the summer. It'd be great. It's going to look bad, though. Um. <laughs> yeah. Oh, do you look at your underwear? Well, right, like a sharp pays face. Oh. <laughs> well, doesn't it already kind of yeah, look like that? A little, little bit. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, one OBGYN reportedly says polyester is the worst fabric for underwear. Oh, I bet. It's yeah. neither absorbent nor breathable. Yeah, that's no now, good. Now who's, get... where, who's making that? <laughs> yeah. Why? Uh, now, how about the cut of yeah. underwear? Linen underwear is expensive. What? It says thongs tend Terrible. to be tighter and more constricting. Yes. It says women... Pain in the ass. It, it, well, <laughs> yeah, I bet. Uh, <laughs> by definition. By, 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 that's only half of it. <laughs> it says, yeah, women should avoid wearing a thong. Uh, or any underwear that, quote, uh, sits very close to the rear end. Mm -hmm. It increases the... Another new word for me. Um, the, of developing bacterial vaginiosis. Mm -hmm. Yes. Is that a word? Vaginosis? Vaginosis. Oh, vaginosis. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, doesn't, it's a bacterial that, infection of your vagina. That's what it is. That sound like the name of a waiter if you're an Italian. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm going to be your server. I'm vaginosis. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Skull. <laughs> More cheese? No. no. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> when we come back, men's underwear in the news. Yes, and why your urine is yellow. Coming up. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I know that one. Oh, I don't. It's full of piss. Uh, <laughs> I see. <laughs> that would be it. What else is coming up, Christy Lee? Also coming up, we have a woman posed as a Waffle House employee and stealing cash. We have a dog who escaped from a kennel and then tried to free all of his buddies. Oh, it's like, it's, man, like, it's hilarious. It's like a prison break. Yeah. That is funny. Cute little dog. Uh, looks like a German Shepherd. Hilarious. And all right. Uh, what else? I'm sorry. Cocktail bars in Greenland. Oh, oh the, yeah, it's this kind story. of an interesting yeah, twist. This, yeah, great. We can all have a cocktail to watch the world end. Greenland's the one that's really cold, remember? And Iceland's the one that's yeah, really it's green. The opposite. Yeah. yeah, it's kind of the opposite. Uh, good yeah. naming. Bernie. I know, right? <laughs> all right, now I want to say hi to Steven Singer from Steven Singer Jewelers. Uh, uh, speaking of green, let's talk pink. Malibu pink, to be precise. Now, what am I talking about? I'm talking about the uh, fact that Valentine's Day is just down the road. I know. You've had a little bit of breathing room, fellas. Steven Singer, we got you through it. We got you through the holiday season. But there's another one coming down the pike. You can scratch this off your list immediately. I guess you check it off your list, don't you? You can do it right away. It's IHateStevenSinger.com. What am I talking about? I'm talking about those roses, gold-dipped roses. Every year, he's got them. And there's always one featured rose. This year, it's the famous color Malibu Pink. That makes sense. Barbie there's, Pink, yeah. Yeah, this is kind of everywhere. Yeah, it is It is kind of a Barbie thing. Very good, Christy. And uh, this is the newest one, kind of uh, an iconic color and fashion. And uh, you can never go wrong with pink. And, of course, uh, this is what the gold-dipped rose is. And this is a real rose actually dipped in gold. And uh, then it's uh, with it's they apply a very special uh, kind of a almost, I don't know what it is. It's like an acrylic thing. Yeah. So it's it got kind of a, it's a, it looks like a, a pink rose. And um, it's, like I said, 24 karat pure gold. And then it's uh, hand finished by skilled artists. So you want to check it out by seeing it. My description really probably isn't that good. Go to IHateStevenSinger.com. These start at 59 bucks. Now here's the key. Free shipping, free personalized Valentine's Day card, and a free lifetime guarantee. And it will be in a beautiful free signature gift box. So that's going to uh, check all the boxes. You'll get it all done and be ready for Valentine's Day and not get one of those, well... You know, when I said I didn't want anything, I really didn't want something. <laughs> you know, no matter what you do, fellas. We know she goes, no, I don't really need anything. It's a lie. Uh, this is a perfect gift. Malibu Pink for my buddy Steven Singer. I hate stevensinger.com. Don't forget, jewelry always works. I hate stevensinger.com. Tell them the Bob and Tom Show sent you. Coming back with an astute analysis by scientists of men's underwear. This is the Bob and Tom Show. I, I did a show at this dance club. I don't know if you can tell by looking at me. I don't like to dance. <laughs> the lady running the show, she was like, why don't you shake what your mama gave you? I was like, I don't know how I'm supposed to shake scoliosis and a low self-esteem, but. 
There were black lights everywhere in that venue, on stage and backstage where I'm standing. And I was just doing the normal pre-show check, and I had a, a stain on my pants right here. I know, I felt the same way. Uh, what had happened was, uh, you know when you put your pants in the washer and you dump the soap and it all landed right here and that shows up under a black light. I didn't know that and neither did anybody else. Cause I was on stage and everybody was like, oh man, that is a lot. It was a cap full, it was a lot. Uh, that's two loads, so. If you think that's a dirty joke, it's because you're a dirty person. That's a laundry joke, it's a clean joke, so. If you want to uh, create a sex act oh, of I, some sort, because there's, well, there's a whole bunch of them They're kind there. of internet sex acts. Yeah. I don't I, think they really are sex acts. Yeah, I don't know if there's anyone don't, uh, out don't there. Don't do that. Uh, with yeah. with doing the dirty Sanchez, I'm, I'm enjoying uh, that they are. What is it? The uh, what is it? Much. The Puerto Rican taco punch. What is it again? The uh, that's what? a good one. Why don't you add that in there? Uh, what's, what's Puerto the one Rican. No, Bob's got, Bob's got the song. Bob, there's, Bob did all the research. There's a, no, there's a lot. There's Bob, the Bob Alabama, got his Nobel on this song. The uh, Alabama hot pocket. The Alabama hot pocket. Is Shanghai one of my, surprise. My favorite. So when I found out what it was, I was. I really thought about pulling it from the song. It's so disgusting. Oh, I don't want to <laughs> The this. Alabama hot pot? Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's um, not good. But we, now, oh, do you remember the formula here? You take you take the city you were born in, and then, Chick, what do you add? Uh, your favorite uh, kitchen utensil? Or, or candy bar. Or, or candy, candy bar. bar, I guess. Yeah. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Dear Bob and Tom, I was born in Walnut Creek, California. Sounds like a Walnut great place. Creek. It is. Mm -hmm. uh, as a kid, my favorite candy was Fun Dip. Oh, yeah. Fun Dip. The Walnut know. Creek Fun Dip. I don't know what those are. It's what like a stick, and it comes oh, with a powder, seen, and you stick that? the oh, candy Oh, like Pixie stick. Sticks only. Well, uh, no, it's like a, like a popsicle stick. Oh, and the stick. stick is made out of sugar? Yes, yeah. and you lick it and dick it and lick it and... Oh, boy. You lick it? <laughs> I'm sorry. Freud's Why in the phone. They heard, they heard that. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Freud was calling. Do yeah. do do Dr. Freud? <laughs> with tears in their eyes and the first little old lady said well <laughs> they're finally together the second little old lady said who Susie and her first husband or or Susie and Sam Samurai no neither her legs <laughs> 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 Hello, you're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. This has been Chick McGee speaking. We're, we're speaking with uh, Mike Armstrong, comedian, former cop, uh, cop in Kentucky. We're not going to say exactly where you were, cop. We were walking around downtown. Mm -hmm. this in, guy's in uniform? On, yeah, this guy's laying on the sidewalk. He's laying there going... You know? <laughs> and I'm like, shut up, you drunk fool. Mm -hmm. And I got him over to hood the car, and this woman walks up, and she goes, excuse me, officer, you might just want to let him lay there. He just jumped from the 10th floor. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my, God. my wife's like, what'd you do now? You're on TV again. <laughs> what'd you do? You're on this officer, Mike Armstrong. <laughs> Made matters worse oh, on Thursday right. night. See why I don't lives? drink? <laughs> yeah, the guy, but he sued me. Uh -huh. <laughs> he I'm sued you? To, yeah, how am How are you supposed, supposed to, to know he's not a drunk? <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. Uh -huh. Mike Birbigli is our guest. Are you dating anyone? Do you have a... I, I realize what I need to find is a woman who loves me for my money.
but doesn't understand math. (laughs) 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 I know this girl, and uh, she wasn't too bright. She wasn't, like, book smart. Uh She was, like, magazine smart (laughs) Uh or uh, butter label smart. (laughs) (laughs) I went out of this girl, middle of the day, I swear to God, and she goes, you know what turns me on? I go, what? And she said, black guys. (laughs) Which which I really found discouraging. (laughs) Because I've been mistaken for a lot of things in my life. But I've never had anyone be like, you're black, right? (laughs) I'm Olive Garden Italian. Hey, this is Frank Caliendo, and you're listening to Bob and Tom. Back to the Bob and Tom Show. Great to have all of you with us. Hope you're feeling well. I know we all are having a great time. Tom, you are uh, having another beverage, and I can't help but notice it's tea. It is tea. Uh, Caffeinated? Uh, No. Really? Well, it took you a while to answer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's okay, but it's, you know me. I'm not worried about it. Yeah, we don't care if you're you high. <laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> no, I was joking. I say live. 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 No, and what I mean by that is have, if you're not supposed to have something, have a little bit of it. <laughs> yeah. That's what I do with cocaine. (laughs) (laughs) Thanks, Jeff Oskay. Temporarily sitting in for Chick McGee. Uh, We hope. uh, (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Wow, this show got dark fast. Uh, Uh, You said he was sick. You just didn't say how sick. Uh, uh, We have have, uh, a discussion uh, by uh, uh, physicians. Of underwear. Now, we've reviewed what the ladies should wear. Mm-hmm. Panties, panties. Uh, well, they, uh, naked. the fabric should be natural fabric. Should be panty fabric. Uh, and, uh, yeah. Panty fabric. I didn't know no, you could... definitely not cotton. Sorry. Yeah, just, and I didn't know they made Sorry. panties out of bamboo. Yes. This is uh, hemp, bamboo, or linen. So the bamboo is a fabric. It's not, not like a Zamfir's flute. No, Tom. <laughs> it is a fabric. Yes. Sorry. Um, okay, so let's let me cut to the men here. This is um, here we go for men. Uh, cotton also the best fabric. Okay. All right. And this sounds like an ad because it's comfortable, cool, breathable, moisture wicking, and absorbent. Mm. Absorbent. Um, yeah. Your urologists <laughs> noted these characteristics are dependent on the quality of the cotton. Oh, well. Now the yeah. cut. This is where men differ. Yes. Uh, it's doctors advise loose fitting underwear. Oh, like boxers. Uh, yeah, tight fit, uh, tight fitting underwear reduces air circulation and may increase local moisture down there. It sounds like they're doing a weather yeah, forecast. Yeah, it sure yeah. does. Ah, uh, well, in the suburbs, you're going to find the balls are <laughs> the balls. Um, <laughs> Cloudy with a chance of balls. <laughs> well, now, now, here we go. Now this is significant. Recent studies have shown that men who primarily wear boxers yeah. have a 25% higher sperm concentration yes. than those who do not. Those okay. who've been through the I'm having trouble conceiving thing, that's one of the first things they tell the guys. Start wearing the Start boxers. Start wearing the boxers. Really? Yeah. Huh. Oh, you really didn't know that? Yeah. No, I uh-huh. maybe that's why I've had trouble in the past because I wear a thong. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's, that really mm-hmm. tightens, uh, probably yeah. cutting down Might on the it. sperm. Yeah, yeah. they're uh, yeah. well. <laughs> what? Nothing. <laughs> okay. Nothing. Uh, it says it says doctors agree that underwear should be changed at least once per day to reduce bacterial load. <laughs> that's what they say. Bacterial load. Boy, the, the last time I said I have a load in my underwear, it sure wasn't bacteria. <laughs> well. Now, we just had another, from a different source, a story saying it's okay to wear your underwear two days in a row. But you, man, when no. you put on a a two-day that sounds uh, horrible. boxer, you, you know, yeah. right? You, it, nobody's ever put on <laughs> underwear they've already worn and been like, oh, these feel new. No. <laughs> but you've yeah. never done the thing where you're, you're short on time, you take the underpants, you do the flip? No. I haven't. I haven't turned them inside out. No. No. I never understood that. Me either. You're now like, you've got the skin on the outside. On your the skin on the yeah. Doesn't that sound like that sounds like the name of a band? <laughs> hey man, skid in the outside, they're opening for nine inch nails. I'd say that show. Um <laughs> it says people may want to consider changing their underwear more than once a day due to sweating, incontinence, or discharge. Yeah, well, you know no what? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, Any yes. of those. Oh, yeah. Hey, Doc. Hey, I got my doctor in the phone. Hey, Doc, I just pooped my pants. <laughs> Should I change them? <laughs> what kind of... Yeah. What no, kind in of, fact, you can wear them tomorrow. What yeah. kind of moron? No, just hang them out to dry. <laughs> oh, God. Let's see. Now, some doctors found no issue with sleeping in underwear. 
Some people tell you not to sleep in underwear. Yeah, let it breathe. Yeah, let, let it breathe. Let it breathe. Well, Pat, you're right. It's a, this is, a, once again, according to the Huffington Post, this doctor they interviewed said, uh, allow your genitals to get air ventilation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sure, sure, sure. Now, Josh, what do you sleep in? Nothing. Yeah, I, I'm, an, I'm a nude sleeper all year round. Do you sweat at night, though? Um, I, yeah, I will, but not every night, no. Okay. Jeffrey? Oh, uh, I have kids, so I sleep in gym shorts. See, that's the thing. I was going to say the exact same thing. No. No, uh, my kids will know when you're in <laughs> Papa's house, he might be naked. Now, did you ever, we had a we had a neighborhood guy who, this isn't weird, uh, but he he was the dad who always was in his tidy whities and uh, a uh, undershirt sure. when you would go with your friends to his house, just sitting in his uh, lazy boy. With and his would, beard and cigarettes. Yeah, and, and would talk to you like he wasn't in his tidy whities. Wow. And it wasn't any big deal at all to him. And right. I always thought that was so weird yeah <laughs> yeah that's just sick yeah um, he was a retired police officer and he just sit in this thing and drink his beer yeah yeah, and yeah. Wear, but he'd like get up and walk around and get you a coke in his that tidy is the whities. number one turn off for me tidy whities Ugh. yeah that's stupid i wore yeah. them until i was like 18 or not i wore so them you were old enough to buy your own underwear yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah oh I wore my them too god long. they're awful ace, yeah. uh, if, if one were to encounter ace uh, in the middle of the night what have you got on in that bed i'm natural yeah. You're natural? Okay. Yeah. Once again, if you have kids... What if you get a robber? You're going to fight him with your junk all flopping around? See, and my I, my theory is the robber will be less hesitant to attack me. Because you're naked? Yeah. 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 Oh. And Ace just whip the guy. <laughs> <laughs> just beat him? <laughs> beat him, beat him with it. <laughs> Take that. And there's sweats right there. But one. Uh, oh, okay. No, if you have, as soon as you have kids and they have sleep over, you realize you there's no way you can ever be naked. Yeah, you got to be prepared for <laughs> that. Yeah, you got to yeah. be. You don't want to be that guy are, uh, on the front page of the paper. No, oh, air well, personnel. Uh, little Bobby Johnson swears that he saw Mister. <laughs> you know, you got to be. You got to have the sh- gym shorts on. I was seen in my t-shirt and underwear by, uh, I'll say, a stranger not too long ago. It was a, a housekeeper, and I, I was. Uh, I said, I'll be, up, I'll be upstairs, and she said, great. And I said, just, you know, if you need anything, let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. And said, okay. And I was uh, changing in my room, and I was sitting in my underwear, and uh, she came into my room and said, I'm done. <laughs> and in my head, I was like, no, we already took care of that. I, 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 I thought I made it clear. <laughs> we said our goodbyes, but you didn't have to do this. But really? Right. I went, okay, thanks. And <laughs> she came into your room, finally. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> no. No, trust me. I <laughs> okay, Christy, I nearly put her yes. in my house. <laughs> I, I need your help here. Sure. This is uh, this is another uh, Always study happy here. happy to help. Types of underwear for women. Mm-hmm. Now, I don't get all of these. I mean, okay. some of them. Okay, the first one is G-string. Right. And the second one is thong. Uh-huh. What's the distinction here? Well, a G-string is just a little string, and a thong usually has a wider backing. Yeah. In the front? In the back. In the, in the back. back, too. Okay. okay. In the G-string, it's peeking out. And with yeah. the thong, it's more hidden. Yeah. The front? No. The back. The back. Oh, okay, now the, the, th- the third type of ladies' the the ladies underwear is the hipster. Hipster. Yeah, those are like boy those shorts. Those are hot. They are oh, real no. cute. No, no, that's, I'm not right. Um, that's not right. Hipsters come up high, but they come up high on your hip. I thought that was French cut. Is that French cut? Yeah. yeah but, me, me and Ace know our I thought French cut were green beans. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I swear that was. <laughs> no. Okay, now here's number four. See, this sounds like a... Um, is a hipster a boy this, this, this next one sounds like the name of a of the name of a wild animal on a kids show, the tanga. Oh, the tanga is definitely very high. Like it's usually cut like right here. So it comes way, way up. up to where you're. Where you're In fact, it's hard to, aren't they hard to put on? You need help? Doesn't it take two to tango? Ah, <laughs> I like that. Ah, that's very, very nice. Uh, the, astronaut, the, the astronauts had to wear tango. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, um, Chrissy, didn't your mom tell you to let it breathe when you were a kid? Absolutely. I remember that. Yeah. Well, the the most popular tango is the brand... Uh, Poon, I think. The, the poon tank. That's right. The poon tank. The, hip, the hipster underwear, from what I understand, is like between a bikini and a brief. Does that make sense? They're not as low as a bikini, but not as high as a brief. I right see. in the middle there. There's also the bikini is number five. Uh-huh. Number six is boy short. The boy short. That's yeah. what I was thinking. Those of. are big. Is it like a boxer? Uh, they're like a b- boxer brief for men. Yes. 
Only a little shorter. Okay, then maybe boy yeah. shorts are hot. Yeah. Sh- shorts on little boys. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jesus. What is wrong with you? Yeah, I, that's what I what you, is you were doing so well. Mm-hmm. I. Then they have the uh, the French cut. Yeah. Haricot Which is verts. similar to the tango, but not cut as high. And is that what uh, in uh, National Lampoons that she's showing off yes. at the... They were really big in the late mid '80s for the bikini, like a bikini on you yes. see on the beach. Yes. Yeah. The tanga, I remember those. Hot. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. And then the ones for men we're all familiar with. Boxer briefs. That's about all you got, right? Boxer brief, boxer short, brief, bikini, jock strap, thong, g string. No, nothing. It's nothing. Surprising Anybody here ever worn bikini shorts? No. 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 They don't, look, they don't look comfortable. Thongs, I've worn, I have put on a girlfriend's thong, yes. Yeah, but not a man's thong. Like right, not right. Not you no. bought a pair. Right. Did you put it on in front of her? Or? Yeah, she was real mad. <laughs> You're going to rip it. <laughs> you stretched it out. <laughs> yeah. Well, like, aren't these $4? What do you want? <laughs> no. <sighs> now, um, what about edible underwear? I've never uh, dabbled in that arena. It's very um, popular. It's basically a like a fruit roll-up. Yeah, yeah, right, exactly. right. Yeah. It is, yeah. But it seems that's something you you put on and immediately eat, right? Uh, yeah, and from, you don't. The woman doesn't wear it so, in a marathon. So you're saying, you're saying that they they spoil quickly? It's yeah, like, well, I think so. Like, yeah, it's like an avocado. <laughs> <laughs> the the avocado of undergarments. <laughs> when I was uh, my first girlfriend, when I was out of high school, and uh, got a girlfriend. And I got her a pair, and this was back uh, obviously in the '90s. You were out of high school, but how old was she? Hey. Uh, okay, and uh, <laughs> so I only date older women because I have class. Uh, but uh, we found this out. It's very melty, and with the uh, hair, oh. it just turned into like uh, trying to get gum uh. out of a. Uh, <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> And it took hours, oh. hours to remove all of the. Oh, why didn't you just take a shower? Uh, well, where we were wasn't that <laughs> wasn't, wasn't an option. You need <laughs> gasoline in a Brillo pad. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's a shame it wasn't in the 2000s. You could have just shaved it off and it would have been very fashionable. Right, exactly. No, we tried picking it out for hours. Oh. <laughs> well, in a way, that had, had to be kind of fun for you, in a way. Uh, uh, it lost its fun about <laughs> minute five. <laughs> I bet. It had become sort of clinical. Yeah. yeah. After a while. Uh, this is hot, isn't it, babe? Yeah. yeah. Okay. No. <laughs> uh, well. why, why does that stuff seem fun, though? Because oh, you're, you're like, young. oh, let's do this. And then you do, it's like bringing food or like honey right, or something. Right. And then you're like, why did I do yeah, this? Oh, this is real messy. Yeah, 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 this chocolate syrup, that was a horrible idea. I've just yeah. ruined my sheets forever. I, so the, the edible underwear is made of fruit roll up material? It's, that like, kind of, it's kind of. like a fruit roll up, yeah. huh? basically. Right. And is this, do they make it for men? I'm sure they I'm do. I'm sure yeah. they do. It's sure a Valentine's edible. Day thing, you know. Yeah. <laughs> a one-off. A one-off. <laughs> Everybody's done it once, maybe. No, I've never done it. No. You've never done the edible underwear? No. <laughs> no, I have never even no. seen it. No, we, it's not. It it you it buy it at, like, like, Spencer's. Sadie? Yeah, you could get yeah. it at Spencer Gifts. Is it, is it available in a variety of flavors? Do they have, like, a well, Neapolitan? Ooh, the one <laughs> I had was, like, Eat a straw of fresh. red <laughs> strawberry. <laughs> oh, Neapolitan. I shouldn't have got the mushroom and Swiss. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh my God! The cat's in here. I'll, ne- I'll never get the. I'll never get the tuna again. Oh, <laughs> this tuna. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. Hi. Well, while we're on this topic, hmm. scientists have discovered why our urine is yellow. Why? According. Thank you for asking. It's Josh. full of piss. <laughs> Sorry. So good. Actually, according to the new study, red blood cells degrade and create the pigment bilirubin as a byproduct. Hi, I'm Billy Rubin. <laughs> <laughs> Billy Rubin is yellow. It'll turn yellow, yeah. Compounds in the gut turn the bilirubin into urobilin, which is the pigment that results in yellow urine. I have a question. Genome sequence. <laughs> yeah, I have a question, too. What did any of that mean? <laughs> yeah. well, that would be the honest question. <laughs> right. My stupid question is, is the urine of of most uh, animals, or at least mammals, yellow? I think so. I, yeah, yeah. yeah. My, depending uh, on how much water you drink, my wa- my urine's clear. Mm. You're probably is clear by the end of the day, right? By the end of the day, yep. Yeah. yeah. Mine's just frothy all the time. 
Yeah. Really? Yeah. My and really? and it, it has a, a slight taste of malt. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Pat, how's yours these days? Mine is red. Is that bad? <laughs> <laughs> well, with your diet, it could just be beets. Oh, you know, we joke, but I had quite a good time on New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. It was champagne like. I'm not sure. Kidding. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. In taste? <laughs> uh, um, I mean, not to not be, be gross, but for how much coffee you drink, yours has to have yeah, a coffee scent. There are foods to. that have, I mean, we all know the asparagus, but yeah. if I have uh, popcorn, I know that I had popcorn. Really? Really? At a certain. And then coffee. I'm coffee that way with coffee. Sure. Yeah. yeah what, me so too. what? When you pee, it smells like coffee. Yes. Wow. Yeah. And then if I have popcorn, the next like about four hours later, it's uh, my pee smells like a movie theater lobby. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, in the lobby. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, please don't be in the lobby. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, so, well, that's why you're you're under yellow. Interesting. Some guy named Billy Rubin discovered that. Okay, good. <laughs> good job. Billy Rubin. Yeah, Billy very Rubin. good to know. I, I, now, uh, we can tie in something you were just talking about to an interesting news story. You were talking about removing the gum-like substance from the uh, uh, lady parts uh -huh. of the friend post uh, uh, edible underwear. Right. We have uh, what in the news? Gum. Yes. Coming up. Yeah, we do okay. have gum in the news. We still have to get to Monkey King. It's not a sad story like they're not going to make uh, uh, Big League Chew anymore. No. Oh. Uh, one of the double met twins died. No. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh. It, was, it was sad. Choked to death on gum. <laughs> well, that's ironic. That is uh, oh, ma wow. massively untrue. <laughs> and uh, uh, once again, it's uh, thank you time. I want to thank uh, the Raycon folks. I uh, uh, bought a couple of those um, Raycon full headsets. The 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 they're the earphone. What do what do we what do we call these things? Tech -tech. Headphones. Oh, the headphones. Headphones. Yes. Headphones. headphones. Sorry. Headphones. Yeah. Um. But not just the earbuds. No. Yeah. The full case. The full, the, yeah. 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 The, I got those for the girls for traveling, and uh -huh. they're the best. You know, Bluetooth. They can uh, play their games or watch their whatever they're doing on those video pads. And uh, it's not bothering me. Ah, it's peace and quiet, Walter. Thank you, Raycon. That's not why Raycon wanted me to talk about uh, or what they want me to talk about, but uh, I'm going to anyway. Bob and Tom show, we know what's going on here. We know what's crucial. And a good pair of wireless earbuds is, of course, very handy. I wear those on the plane coming back. And um, Raycon has those everyday earbuds, they call them. I prefer them to the uh, fancy, much more expensive Apple ones that fall out of your ear. Uh, Raycon earbuds, they have a, a variety of um, these, uh, what do they call them, Christy? These things that fit in your ear. that The it, gel tips? The gel, thank you very yeah. much. I never can remember the name yeah. of those. What I'm saying is they're not going to fall out of your no, ear. No, because you can fit the ones you need in your ear. They right. have a lot of options for you. The Raycon earbuds, they're twice as good. They're half the price. Just check them out. Go to buyraycon.com slash Tom. You do it today, by the way. A special going on, 20% knocked off the price. Need a good pair of earbuds, don't you? Well, these are the best. Uh, buyraycon.com slash Tom. 20% off Raycon products today. You may want to get some of those uh, full headphones. And if you're doing some more traveling, I'm telling you, they're great. Buyraycon.com slash Tom. Don't pay too much. Pay what they're worth. And these are worth twice as much. Does that make sense? No. How can they do it? We'll find out. Buyraycon.com slash Tom. We're coming right back. It's the Bob and Tom Show. Reach us toll-free at 1-888-BOB-TOM-1 or at bobandtom.com. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Hello? Hey, it's, uh, it's Tiger. Oh, hey, Tiger. What's going on, man? I need you to do me a huge favor. Yeah, sure thing, man. What do you need? Um, can you please take your name off your phone? I want to answer my phone and uh, maybe call me. What? Oh. So if you can, please take your name off that. Are you shitting me? Yeah. She knows about us? Oh, man, this is bad. This is really bad. I just have a number. Oh, boy. She hasn't seen the photos yet. <laughs> Tiger. You still love me, right? Okay, you gotta do this for me. Please tell me you still love me. Tiger? Tiger? Tiger. Hello? Oh. Hello? Uh. Today we're gonna do a 
cover, the only cover that we do. Yeah. Oh, good. The entire program, but we'd like to play something for you dedicated to something's been in the news this past uh, week. All I right. Forward to it. I think everybody's been surprised about it, and this is a song that explains how I feel about it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they're both ashamed of what they did At least that's what the paper said They walk all day cause they're always on the prowl Tiger and horse Tiger and horse His wife called him Doing them horse <laughs> They're both pros at what they do And both require special shoes Of each of their heads going down in the caddy <laughs> Tiger and horse Tiger and horse His wife called him Doing them horse <laughs> Neither of them's made a peep And fire hydrants don't come cheap Be careful when you're out there Chasing tail. <laughs> you could wreck your truck and cut your head, but the number one lesson ever said no matter what you do, don't leave voicemail. <laughs> tiger and horse, tiger and horse. His wife called him, and the odds are pretty slim that you won't see him with any more horse. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Today, a little bit of a uh, <laughs> little bit of an issue, something a little minor. Uh, Christy has a new boyfriend. She's uh, officially announced um, the uh, arrival of her new boyfriend. <laughs> Yeah, you, you just, just got here. Got yeah. well, I mean, he's, she Russia. ordered him online. Yeah, yeah come on. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean you've, been, you've been seeing this guy, and now suddenly it's uh, okay. We're oh, we can go with it. Yeah, we're going, we're going with it. It's official. And the reason we had to go out and go with it is because this guy's name is Tom. Mm -hmm. My name. Mm -hmm. And there was some confusion my behind the scenes. Christy, my, telling me. I'm the only one named. I'm the original Tom. Well, no, but Christy was you know telling stories. Go well, this weekend. Tom and I did something, and she would you know, and have to tell about some exotic adventure. Clarify. Had, and I'd have that to clarify because, that I. Mm -hmm. did it. I had no part of this. There has been some speculation on the show that Tom and I might be seeing each other. This mm -hmm. Tom, but it's not. It's not totally not true. Mm -hmm. So you have boyfriend Tom, and then yes. I will be plaintiff Tom. <laughs> <laughs> I think. How about boss Tom? Uh -huh. uh, ooh, I like Taking it off here, boss Tom. Uh -huh. <laughs> but see, mm -hmm. since he's your man, he should be major Tom, mm -hmm. and I would be minor Tom. Oh, that's nice. That way, you know, since he's like the guy, mm -hmm. your major, mm -hmm. your major dude. Yeah. We'll, we'll have to settle on something. I kind of like work Tom versus play Tom. Or mm -hmm. day Tom versus night, night Tom. Tom. But mm -hmm. then sometimes you see him during the day. Like mm -hmm. on a Saturday, you probably I'll let him in, I assume, during the day. <laughs> no, he stays chained to the tree, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> He's not allowed in. Sometimes no. we have lunch, you know. I think there's a Starbucks in town that thinks that we're having an affair. It's great. Really? Yeah, it's great. Because you know how you we meet at the same Starbucks occasionally. And, oh, I see. You know, the people that work there kind of give you that look like, oh, mm -hmm. Well, that's because when, that's because, see, he's facing them and you're, uh -huh. when you look away, he makes funny faces with his lips. That's probably true. Hey, look. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. That's yeah, the sure standard. That's really, yeah. Don't ever do that again. <laughs> <laughs> Keep your tongue in your mouth. <laughs> Sorry. That's a really that creepy was, that tongue. like a lizard snake. What was that? Snake. I missed it. Well, so, you don't want to see, see it. See, let's just, let's just say, let's just say Chick oh. is the employee at Starbucks. Yes. And then and then I am facing them uh, right. sitting at the table. And, and I'm sitting you're my sipping, back to You're them. sipping your some, annoying, to, oh, uh, some annoying exotic don't drink. Don't show me your tongue again, please. And as soon and as you look away. You look away, and then, and then he goes, uh, <laughs> with his tongue. <laughs> implying. That creepy pink thing out of his face?
Hi, this is Dr. Will Miller, and you are listening to Bob and Tom Radio. It's an old uh, Eskimo trick uh, of how to uh, catch a polar bear. Now, you, what you do is you go cut a hole in the ice, right? Right. And then you take little peas, and you place them strategically four inches apart all the way around the hole, right? And a polar bear will crawl up, and he'll look at it in very much curiosity as what is going on there. Now, when he bends over to take a pee, you kick him in the ice hole. <laughs> <laughs> I actually uh, have a, a sexual fantasy associated with the earthquake. Go. All right, woke well, chick up. Uh -huh. mm. uh, in my fantasy, I am making love to this woman, yeah. and then all of a sudden she feels the earth move beneath her. Mm. Ah, yes. And then she rolls over on top of me and shields me from debris. <laughs> 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 Safety first, everybody. Safety first. <laughs> Essential morning radio. All day and all night. Yeah! This is Bob and Tom Show. Hey, it's the Bob and Tom Show. We're having a great time this morning. Glad you're with us. There's Tom. Uh, looks like he's got some correspondence. I don't know if it's appropriate for the air or um, not. Um, uh, I have one. Oh, okay. Uh, Jeff uh, Oski. Yeah. About, uh, we were just talking about uh, proper underwear for men. Sure. Uh, this man writes in, I disagree with the recommendation that boxers should be uh, loose-fitting. My testicles were hurting when I was a teen, and it turned out after visiting the urologist, I needed tighter boxers to give them proper support. Signed, Joseph Big Balls McGee. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hang on. I've, I've been into the thing. Um, wait a minute. Uh oh, oh, this is, oh, oh dear. What? Um, oh, yikes. I'm not sure I can read this. But give me just a second. Yeah. What does well, it pertain to at all? Uh, well, I saw it's the, it says the Colorado Campfire. Is that a. I don't know. Uh, well, see, I was thinking it was the pizza. Um, the pizza. What? Pizza. Yeah, like, the, uh, there's a place I go to uh, when I go skiing, a uh, uh, Blue Moose Pizza. Mm. Okay. They have a delicious campfire pizza. Have you ever had that? No. Ooh, oh, that never good. been to Blue Moose. It's great. What oh. do you got on that? Well, uh, S'mores? Um, <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> you know, that that's a fair guess. It's usually something smoked. There's actually a campfire pizza locally, too. Is there, there is? Yeah. 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 It's delicious. It's really good. It, it, it's kind of spicy. I really liked it. So I've, I've been eating, eating campfire pizza, but... Jason just handed me this. It says Colorado Campfire. So I thought maybe it was about the pizza. Oh. It's not. What's it's it about? A, uh, it's apparently one of those vulgar sex moves, Christy. Oh. Mm. The Colorado Campfire. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. yeah. You mean All I can say, a made-up <laughs> well, fantasy sex move? Well, all, all the, this part is described as uh, <laughs> I can't. I'm going to have to dance around it. Okay. Uh, sure. I want, yeah. you, I want you to, um, marshmallows are involved. Oh. Okay. And, okay. The, and, and the, four of your closest friends. Oh. <laughs> and the phrase, like loading a Civil War musket. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know something? I'm, I'm not going to read the rest of okay, this. Okay, good. All right. But uh, thanks very much for making us aware of that. Wow. Yes, uh, we, we've been talking about underwear all morning. Well, I got an underwear song here. You do? Sure. Yeah. We were oh. the, the scientists were talking about what's the best kind of underwear. Uh-huh. And um, I think... Pretty much cotton is your go-to. Uh, well, you know, whatever you're into. But I think the most important thing in my mind is clean underwear. Yeah. Which reminded me of this classic from Tim Wilson. I was driving down US 41, some idiot crossed the line. I had to swerve to miss him, knock down a deer crossing sign, <laughs> took out some woman's mailbox, wound up hitting a pothole. And the last thing I remember, I was chewing on a telephone pole, but I had on clean underwear. <laughs> clean underwear. My mama would have been proud of me, cause I had on a pair. I had on clean underwear when they took me to intensive care. Yeah, the doctor and nurse said, look at there, he's got clean underwear. <laughs> I was in there for about a month. I got off the critical list. Scared me up a date with a physical therapist. <laughs> Took her out for dinner and drinks and got her back to my pad. She said she liked the lights on, and boy, I was glad I had on clean underwear. <laughs> clean underwear. My mama would have been proud of me because I had on a pair. I had on clean underwear. When they took me to intensive care, yeah, the good-looking nurse said, damn, look at there, he's got clean underwear. <laughs> clean. <laughs> Big end of it. Clean. Clean hands. BVDs. And 
fruit of the loom. <laughs> Jimmy, miss you, brother. Uh, Ironic from a guy who never even carried clean underwear on the road. <laughs> <laughs> One time. God. Well, Tim and I were doing a... Uh, we were doing a charity thing at one time, and uh, Tim was staying over at my house, and I forget what was going on, but he got on stage, and I realized every article of clothing he had on was mine. Uh-huh. <laughs> he, would, he would travel with a guitar case. That was it, and a toothbrush. And, yeah. And so he came over to my house, and I said, Tim, are you going to wear that on stage? <laughs> you can't do that. You just, you just drove you just drove eight hours. <laughs> oh, man. I've I'm seen just... him turn a shirt inside out and go on stage before. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I think I turned him loose with all that clothing. Just, hey, 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 no, no, just keep it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, he, was, he was driving somewhere else. Um, we do miss you, Timmy. Some, I wish Chick were to, There's some football player. Maybe you know this, Ace. Some, he was famous for he would never take anything on the road. Yeah, and he'd buy it while he was. And he would get, oh, that's there. right. But yeah. yeah, he always he would get bought. there and go buy it all. Right, I remember that too. But I don't know who it was. He can afford it. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, true. It's, no. But it's annoying and weird. And yeah. You're not supposed to wear clothing without washing. I would be awful. No, you don't wear clothing. Oh, I without love washing wearing it. fresh off the rack. Really? Yeah. yeah a lot oh, yeah. Of people yeah. do. Yeah. 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 And this one, I'm with you, Tom. Like, I, you have to wash it. Yeah, I, I do too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's been in some factory in Vietnam. God knows what's in it. <laughs> oh, hey, this year, I like your shirt. It smells like Agent Orange. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're still using it. I don't think they're factory. doing that anymore. Yeah. Yeah, it, it lingers. Read about it. Uh, <laughs> it have residual. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's really awful. And uh, okay, Christy, what have you got over there? Fruit Stripe gum has been discontinued. See ya. Ferrari Candy no, I, Company. I, I, and I'll, hang on a second. In all honesty, has anyone in this room eaten fruit striped gum since I don't know nineteen sixty three? No, I mean I had it in the nineties or whatever. I've I had it in the past decade, eighties and nineties. Yeah, really? It was my, my go-to. Really? I never cared for it, but it, it always al lost its flavor. Like, like in two seconds. seconds. Yeah, I was, yeah. I was reading about it, and it's right. it's famous for instantly losing its flavor. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. Um, well, yeah, Beloved read, read by on. a niche group of nostalgic fans, the gum was known for its zebra mascot, pastel stripes, wrappers printed with temporary tattoos, and short-lived fruity flavor. It came in five flavors, wet and wild melon, cherry, lemon, orange, and peach, and featured zebra stripes printed right on each stick. Now, when I saw this this morning, I remembered... You know, I, I can't remember anybody's name, but I, can, I, could, I sang this jingle to myself, and uh, I've got it now. Okay. Uh, we found it. Of course, thank you, YouTube. This was the original Beech Nut Zebra Gum. In the early 60s, it came out, yes. Here we go. Yipes, stripes, beech nuts, got em. Yipes, stripes, new cherry stripe gum. Yipes, stripes, beech nuts, got em. Yipes, stripes, new grape stripe gum. Yep. Remember that? Mm. Yeah. How did any of you guys turn out normal with that Wait weird... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We didn't turn out normal. <laughs> <laughs> no, just that generation like uh, of this, like... Fake happiness of I don't know it just yes, so all was the jingles were like then. that yeah, yeah. no we just but when you were a kid and then you oh, I've got to go get that sure I mean it's it's it the same today is with, gum what, still as popular now as it was like when I was a teen like there was Bubblicious and Bubble Yum and Big League Chew and it seemed like everybody chewed gum and it doesn't seem like it's as big as I don't think it is oh chew you, as you, much you gum kidding either really. I've got a I've got a friend I uh, who quite seriously goes through um, Nicorette. Well, well, that's not. <laughs> wait a minute. Well, yes, if you put totally different. you put an yeah, addictive an chemical <laughs> into uh, the gum, yes, people are going to want no, more of this, it. This guy's going through sixty bucks a day. But that's not yeah. a kid. That's not what we were talking about. We're talking about kids' gum. Well, I encourage kids to start with Nicorette. <laughs> well, that's kind of the, that's what <laughs> I was wondering. That way it'll lead, a to gateway sm gum. Lead, lead to smoking. Because beech nut was also. <laughs> Tobacco-based products, and, and they right. <laughs> so their their fruit stripe gum was just a gateway. <laughs> hey kids, get hooked on chewing things when you're young, yeah. so that you'll, you'll you'll take a plug uh. <laughs> of our product later. I, I don't know. It's a good question though. Is gum as popular as it used to? I be? bet it's I don't, not. I don't think it is. Remember bubble uh, bubble tape? Oh yes. Yeah. yes. Six feet of bubble gum yeah. for you. Not that. <laughs> ridiculous. Love, but I still love Big League Chew, which is also a gateway to chewing tobacco. Oh yeah. <laughs> Now, you, you hung around baseball players a lot when you were working for Rawlings. Did yeah. You ever see, I've seen this 
where they would take big league chew, mm-hmm. put it in their mouth, and then put in chewing tobacco at the same time. I didn't see that, what? but I was, I was aware. You had told me about that. I had not seen that. And when I was, the, the transition to sunflower seeds was really in full swing when I was working in baseball because uh, <laughs> people, they went, hey, we're tired of having holes in our lip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah, fruit striped gum. There's a great article right here in the Atlantic. It's just not cool anymore. Chewing gum no longer. A universal symbol of rebellion and not as popular as it once was. Wow. Yeah. You're, mm-hmm. Jake, or, uh, J- Jeff, you're right, man. It was everywhere. Sure. When, when we were yeah. It school. seemed like it was way more popular. Yeah. It's interesting to me that um, um, that it had the stripes. That was kind of the thing about it. And do, do you remember? It was the, cool looking. And remember they had a, yeah. they had a toothpaste that would come out of the tube. Oh sure, yeah. Yeah. with stripes. Fruit stripes toothpaste? No, yeah. no, it, was no, a, it wasn't it was, fruit stripe. No, it was a Aim. toothpaste. Wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 like that. Yeah. Right, dude. That always. I'm like, how do they keep them separated? Yeah. Uh-huh. No kidding. <laughs> that that blew my mind. Overall, gum sales down 32 percent since 2018. Interesting. Yeah. Oh. Well, I, I mean, and, but now all the fruit flavors, they're now for kids. It's uh, in the, the vaping stuff. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they don't need, they don't need yeah, gum. Kids, uh, yeah, yeah, they can have that. a banana muffin, yeah, yeah, like <laughs> electronic cigarette. Yipes. Yeah, fruit. <laughs> Vaping's got it. <laughs> Why not heat up your lungs? <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Uh, when we come back, Christy Lee, what's going on over there? Uh, well, we have Monkey King coming up. We have a dog in the news that escaped and tried to get all of his buddies out. It's hilarious. Yes, and we have a lab-growing mini-brains, and... Oh. <laughs> I knew you would like that. Sexy time this hour. Sexy time coming hey. up. This is The Bob and Tom Show. Add to or continue the conversation. Check out The Bob and Tom Show on Facebook. Get the link at bobandtom.com. Let's get back to the chinchilla. We we uh, sent uh, members of our staff yeah. plus Donnie Baker to your uh, garage. She is my mistake. So traumatized right now. She has not come out of her little house in it. No doubt, whole the chinchilla. Day. Oh, well, yeah. that's because she met Donnie Baker. Mm-hmm. Yes, true. her um, ears are as big as yeah. frisbees. They are yeah. very big. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I can't get over how they're horribly. native of South America, and mm-hmm. they use those to you know, and they're and they're nocturnal, so they must be a lot of listening they, going they on. They do in a South lot America. of listening yeah, at night. Size of those ears, you can't they do. see very well. Yeah. And they respond, of course, with their brain by going, duh. <laughs> <laughs> duh, I'm a chinchilla. Oh, uh, wow, duh. it's that great wow. big thing right there. That looks like a really nice fur coat that lady's got on. <laughs> I wonder what, 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 what that's made of. <laughs> duh. Well, I'm going to I'm gonna rest for a while so I can poop again. Duh. I can tell you. I'm, I'm not wow. like a dog. I can't play frisbee or catch. I just sit here going, duh. <laughs> I'm kind of like something in a frame, like a picture, except I just go, duh, and then I poop. Except you have to feed me, and I poop. I'm like a picture you have to feed. Uh, duh. I can tell you what, they don't come when you call them. That's for damn sure. I will. What? I'll come I'm if you call me. Again. Hey, did you enjoy those videos played in that break? Check out the Bob and Tom YouTube playlist for more great stuff. Uh, a lion. Mm-hmm. I've always said, you want I don't. A lion? I would love. No, I, w- I know this is crazy <laughs> that I thought about this. What? Now? I would never go into the wilderness and get an, uh, and have a lion because they they belong. I, right. You know, you know where they belong. But if somebody like uh, maybe they worked at the zoo and there was a lion and 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 it had to live in a house, but it had to be sedated all the time. And I How could about squeeze raised from it? a cub. A raised from a cub. <laughs> yes. Know you? And- I would love a lion just because they're so cute. I would just bite them all the time. <laughs> Their face. That They'll, little they bite back. I mean, believe it or not. Yeah. You know. Dogs. Their teeth are bigger. Mm-hmm. Nick has raised a very interesting point. What? Which is uh, the essence of it, I think you said. Just because you like something, you don't have to have it. Well, I've always been, you know, somewhat uh, controlled by my finances. So mm. there's a lot of stuff that even if I did want, I couldn't have. Mm-hmm. Oh, sure. I mean, I, I, I literally, and I'm, uh, I I have panic attacks. Well, I'll, I'll I'll get done with the workout, and I go, I want to go get one of those really nice, like, $6 smoothies. And I'll think about it for, like, uh, can I, uh, do I <laughs> should I treat myself? Is it, uh, am I worth it? Yes, I You're it. worth six bucks. You know what says, says something? You think, I think in my head I'm probably the only one doing this. Right. I was at, um, uh, 
a, 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 a place. Whole Foods, Whole Foods. Mm-hmm. And they had these like expensive lemonades. I don't know how to explain it, mm-hmm. but the tops were the type where it had a metal top and you would pull it open and the rubber, it would be a rubber seal Ooh, like the old yeah. days. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, and it was sure. like a little bit extra, but I had friends coming in from out of town and I know this is crazy. I thought this, I thought it'll look good in the refrigerator, you know, and I, <laughs> I was at Whole Foods and I bought milk in the glass. I wanted it to look, yeah. you know, I wanted it to look like my home, it was a home, Holy. you know, like my mom's house. Right. Yeah. So I walked over and I went to buy it. It was two bucks more than regular lemonade. Mm-hmm. Then I walked away. And then mm-hmm. I went back. I went, what are you doing? <laughs> you are a full-grown adult. And over $2, get the god dang lemonade. <laughs> well, it worked. Because I'm not kidding you. Because But the outcome is how I reacted. My sister-in-law was there. And she mm-hmm. opened the refrigerator. And, you know, I go over. All my brothers are married. Their refrigerators are filled with. So I, she opens up. She goes, oh, fancy lemonade. I was like, oh, yeah. You know. I, <laughs> I, I didn't act like. Oh, I acted like, yeah, that's the type I buy. <laughs> Totally worth it. Yeah. Totally oh, worth it. Totally worth it. Yeah. As I only half it's there, I left the other half in the Rolls and it's yeah. spoiled. Yeah. 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 I'm having the Rolls Royce fixed. Well, I, that's I, why I, I'm driving this. I would have got the milk in the jug, but my lion ate it. So. <laughs> yeah, my lion likes it out of the glass. <laughs> right. Yeah. We, we all do weird He says, that's right. Remember that. I wear the pants in this family. Don't you ever forget that. She says, fine. She takes off her panties. She throws them over to Murray Whiskey. She says, you put those on. He tries. She says, you made me do it. You've got to do it. He says, okay. So he tries to get them on. Can't do it. He says, I can't even get these past my thighs. He says, I can't get into these panties. She says, yeah, and until you change your attitude, you're not going to either, partner. <laughs> A true tale from the Old West. <laughs> that concludes another exciting episode. Uh, Murray, Murray Whiskey. Murray Whiskey. Frontier, Frontier pyromaniac idiot. over here. What are you... You're lighting up the studio, Yeah, Bob? this thing, it's not working. I'm sorry. Nothing. Just... Brought to you by that new Japanese-Jewish restaurant, Sosumi. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Murray. <laughs> Hi, this is Mike McRae, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Also with us in the studio, Matt Fulcheron. Let's see, we know Matt, skateboarder. Let's go. I don't know anything about you. Married or single? Oh, I'm really single, man. Okay. Uh, well, if you if your listeners read People Magazine, they probably already know that. You oh, know what I mean? Oh, I really? Yeah. <laughs> Are you in People Magazine? <laughs> no, it's a hilarious joke. I'm a comedian. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. I actually, uh, <laughs> you guys get it? You get the joke? Oh, I, I do right, now. <laughs> You might have heard a dial tone. Uh, uh-huh. That the first joke was off the hook. Uh, <laughs> you get that one? Uh, you get that, that one? That's the there we go. Joke. There we uh, go. Now we're starting to get a feel uh, from this guy. Now we know what's happening. Do you, do you write these jokes I'm down? You. Uh, no, no. No, no need to. Uh-huh. No. Well, actually, I do write all these jokes on deposit slips because the money in the bank. No! <laughs> Oh, all right, go skins. Me. Go skins. Yeah. This is what the show is going to be like tonight. Uh, wow. Look out. So, Mark, you're a single guy. Yeah, I tell you, though, it's tough because uh, I got these neighbors behind uh-huh. me. Really? My neighbor, Gail. Very, um... Gail? Uh, Gail is a woman who just moved in. Her bedroom wall is right behind mine, and um, she has a new boyfriend. Mm-hmm. And I found this out. Uh, his name is... Tom! <laughs> Good morning, sunshine. Bob and Tom. Family. Hey, it's the Bob and Tom Show. There's Christy Lee at the news oh, desk. Hi, Josh Arnold. It's Pat Godwin over there in the music room. Hey, Josh. Jessica Alsman has joined us. Hey, Josh. And there's Jeff Oske sitting in for Chickster this morning. Yes, sir. Ace Cosby running the board, as they say. Howdy. I'm Josh Arnold, and there is... Uh, oh, Captain, our Captain, Tom Griswold. I was wondering what happened to my Aunt Marg's couch, and it became your shirt. Oh, isn't it lovely? That is, uh, that is lovely. But there's that no is, vinyl on it. So that's elaborate. Plastic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, that's really cool. sweet. It's like, it feels, I don't know, if it's a sweater, but it's not, right? It's lacy, there's holes, I can breathe, air mm, out. All things. right. It's I very nice. Uh, now, Jessica, I got a question for you. I don't okay. know if you were you listening a few minutes ago. I wasn't. Oh, good. Perfect. <laughs> <Great>. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
because no. we're about to do the Colorado campfire. With you. <laughs> First, you're Hope you like be, marshmallows. Yeah, you're going to be earning five marshmallows. Oscar's holding the cracker. Uh, <laughs> if you don't like the taste of marshmallows, that doesn't matter. Uh, do, you like, do, you like, do you like Civil War movies? <laughs> uh, you ever loaded a musket? Okay, no, that's not what we're doing. What were you only talking about? I what was going to ask her. Uh, if you, uh, I want, I'm going to play something for you, and I want to see if you've heard it before. Uh, I, I bet you have it, and okay. see if you know what we're talking about. Here we go. Yipes, stripes, peach nuts, got them. Yipes, stripes, new cherry stripe gum. Yipes, stripes, peach nuts, got them. Yipes, stripes, new grape stripe gum. It's so annoying. So yeah. Annoying. Okay, terrible. so it's about gum. Yeah. But stripes hey. gum, that's not the same stripes gum with the zebra, is it? Yes. yes. Fruit is stripes. it really? Yeah. Yeah. That's oh, the old yeah. jingle, and apparently it, the, the, there are people that still like it. And as Ace pointed out, Ace, tell, it, it was famous for what? I loved it, but the, the taste would go in minutes. Yeah, yeah, it, loses, yeah. it loses flavor quickly. Yeah. yeah, you just kept adding a piece, too. You didn't get rid of the old one. Right. You would it's add like another in five wad. minutes, and then oh. by the end of the hour, disgusting. it's a gray wad. <laughs> yes. Well, in that yeah. commercial, it says, like, grape and some other flavor. I thought it was yeah. like a combination. Yeah, and when we grew up, it was just a multi-flavored yeah. Uh, yeah. stick. Yes. Oh, it was? Yeah. No, when we when it first came out, they had grape, cherry, lime, a lemon? a lemon. I feel like yeah. ours was like all the fruits. No, yeah, it was, ours was, it was separate. Yeah. And yeah, you see, would, yeah, you could have a cherry stick or you could yeah, have a Yeah, this grape. says oh, it used to be, be in um, in wet and wild melon. Yeah, that. Cherry, lemon, orange, and peach. No, I think those were the more current flavors rather than when we okay. grew up. Right. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, yeah. We didn't have peach gum when we were. But it was one of those things when you wet were. Wet and wild melon. Yeah. When you were a kid, you're watching cartoons. Sure, you see a zebra. You'd see that and you'd. Of course, want to get it, but uh, it's one of those things you'd get it once or twice and go, hey, this gum blows. It's not, it's, it, it loses its flavor. It's no good. Um, but it's, I was just thinking about this. Made me think of Donnie, not your Donnie, but Donnie Baker and his mm -hmm. famous Zubaz pants. Sure. That is what they look like. Yep. Remember the striped pants? Oh, yeah. God. Yeah. Well, uh, but apparently, uh, according to the story, Christy, they're, they've stopped manufacturing the stuff. Yes, no more fruit striped gum. Sorry. That is kind of sad. Yeah. It's like nostalgic, but I'm never going to chew it. No. Right. Like, yeah, whatsoever. Well, as disgusting. I said earlier, I don't know how I worded it, but something like it, uh, those flavors are still out there now for kids in the in those vaping pens. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Are, have they made those illegal yet? No. Really? Mm. I mean, I imagine they have a decent lobby, if you will, uh, <laughs> making sure they're not totally illegal. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, well, Christy, where were we? Well, we're going to head to China. They're looking to hire a so-called monkey king. Monkey king? To live in a cave and be fed bananas. What? According to CNN, Josh... <laughs> The Chinese legend of the Monkey King follows Su, or our son Wukong, a monkey born from a stone who acquires supernatural powers from a Taoist martial artist. All right. So apparently the Wuzhishan Scenic Area, which is associated with the legend, wants to hire a person to embody this mythical character by dressing up as a monkey, living in a cave at the bottom of a mountain, and you will be fed bananas and snacks by tourists. <laughs> you make $842 a month, though. It's, not, it's not like you're volunteering. You That's get paid. That's crazy. Now... <laughs> Am I allowed to throw my feces at the tourists? I don't know. <laughs> How real I is it? Yes. Yeah. Doesn't yeah. I'm serious? Doesn't Monkey King sound like a net Netflix documentary? Yeah. Hey, have you guys seen Monkey King? It does. <laughs> Much better than Tiger King. Does he yeah. live there then? Like he has to live there. Yeah, he lives in the cave at the bottom of the mountain. It's, Twenty-four it's, hours I, a day. It's yeah. sort of like being a mascot. I think you got the mascot suit. You put on the monkey suit. And How strange! That is really yeah, strange. They had to, what did you keep? Well, I didn't give you the whole article. The one, last guy died. Oh, no. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Potassium, oh. potassium overdose. Oh, that's <laughs> a shame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, diabetes. Oh, oh. Yeah, sure. The bananas. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, a little closer to home. Could have been worse. He could have gotten, uh, what is it? What? <laughs> Harambeed. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. A little closer got? to home. A dog escaped from its kennel in the middle of the night at an Arizona r rescue facility, set off the alarm, and then tried to free his fellow dogs. Funny. Uh, so According cute. to Fox 10 Phoenix security cameras <laughs> at the Lost Our Home Pet Rescue, captured a dog named King breaking out of his kennel. King then managed to open multiple closed doors and made a mess in search of food and drink. His antics set off the burglar's alarm, leading a Tempe police officer to respond.
respond to the rescue and, of course, put King back in his place. Oh, oh. I, I'm glad you said put King back in his place. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so down. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Sounds like a fun movie until it gets to the, the euthanasia scene. <laughs> that yeah. is very... Come on, guys. We're free. Yeah, but he couldn't go. get him out. Awesome. He's walking around going, hey, look, I'm out. Let's go. But you, in the video, then you see a cop shows up. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's all just, you know, a, a single cam. It's a security camera. This cop shows up. Obviously, he's got a key to the facility. He gets in, puts the dog, pets the dog, puts it away, yeah. cleans it up. And then the lady that runs the facility is being interviewed. And she goes, I had no idea. <laughs> I came in. The place was all cleaned up. Thank you, officer. <laughs> That's oh, funny. What a sweet, sweet dog. He That's a good me. name for a pet rescue. Lost our home. I know, isn't it? That's it's better than thought. our old owners were dicks. <laughs> pet rescue. <laughs> No, oh, allergic to baby. <laughs> <laughs> but he's a good-looking little dog. Looks like he looks kind of like a little German Shepherd, maybe. Dog. I don't know. Yeah, sweet, sweet-looking doggy. Fun dogs. Um, but I, I found when you watch the video, if you listen very carefully, you can, you can hear this. This is kind of hard. I love that song. Oh, I'm back on the cruise ships here. Oh, there. Yeah. oh man. That or play, anytime that, that, you go anywhere in the Caribbean. That right? played a lot, did it? Oh, man, Jeez. all the time. Okay. Uh, well, coming up, we've got uh, Sexy Time. With yes, we do. With Allie Breen. We always look forward to that. Right now, this portion of the Bob and Tom Show is sponsored by Better Help. Now, let's see. We're, uh, what, 10 days into 2024. So far, so good, right? You're crushing it. Well, let's keep it going. Get your head uh, uh, feeling good. That's very important. That's where therapy comes in. And BetterHelp had a pretty good idea. Why don't we apply contemporary technology to therapy to make it extraordinarily convenient and flexible? Well, that's what BetterHelp's all about. How does it work? Well, you uh, fill out a brief questionnaire. And you'll get matched with a licensed therapist. It's all done online, as is the therapy. And by the way, you can switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. But the, the way it works then is the therapy is done at your convenience. You set it up so it works for you. You don't have to get in a car and drive somewhere. You're also not face-to-face -face with someone. It can be done, if you want to, on a Zoom call sort of basis or uh, uh, like a phone call just talking, or even um, texting back and forth, whatever works for you. Uh, BetterHelp is all about convenience, flexibility, and helping you and uh, keeping it super, uh, uh, suitable uh, to, your, to your schedule. It's really that simple. So celebrate the progress you've made in 2024. Uh, help your head a little bit so you can help everybody else. Visit BetterHelp.com slash BT Show today. That'll knock 10% off your first month if you add the uh, slash BT Show thing. BetterHelp. H E L P. Betterhelp.com slash BT Show. You want to be feeling great and crush it in 2024. A little bit of therapy is always helpful. Betterhelp.com slash BT Show. Coming up, sexy time. With Allie Breen, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Hi, this is Nick. Just before we went back to air, we were talking with Theo. Theo threw a new word at me, and I a I, new phrase. A new. I am not aware of this. Uh, there is something out there called the Lucky Pierre, <laughs> which, um, well, Theo, uh, I, you didn't really give me much information, but go ahead, f f flesh this out for me. This literally, is, it's something that I've heard that the kids are doing. It's uh, the kids would be you. Uh, okay. Yeah, you're a kid, mm -hmm. huh? Yeah, well, in this story, I'm not the kid. In this one, it's uh, if three, if there's a threesome going on, which. Which I enjoy. Um, uh, who doesn't? Who doesn't? Uh, uh, <laughs> now, threesome, uh, uh, so threesome would be, say, you, you and, and two ladies. Two ladies yeah, me right. and two ladies. Yeah. Um, if, however. However, if it's three fellas, then I've heard the term. What? Yeah, the, the, there's a thing. It's, you know, they used to call it the train back in the 70s. But uh, they. Three guys. If it's three guys. And then, no ladies. And no ladies. And they call the guy in the middle uh, the Lucky Pierre. <laughs> Do they <laughs> heard. I don't see that on Pierre. Lucky. Lucky. The man <laughs> or, right. or the manata. Uh, That's what yeah. I've heard it called as well. Oh, cool. man. The manata. Oh, so. man. You ever put your nuts on an anthill? No. You haven't? No. Me and my buddies used sure. to do that. We do anthill rides. Whoever could stay on the longest, get your nuts out, ride an anthill. See, these are the advantages to growing up in New York. Yeah. That never came up. <laughs> There's a few activities in the big city. We never got sure. to the point where, you know something, I'm going to just drop my nuts on anthill for an hour. 
Oh, yeah, wow. yeah. yeah. Maybe and the great like thing that. about New York is if you did drop your nuts on an anthill, no one would notice. <laughs> <laughs> they just like, would you? Have you seen the crazy guy on the anthill over on third? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah he's nuts, isn't he? Yeah. Wow. It's dangerous, though. One year they swelled up to look like a sack of kneecaps. Uh-huh. <laughs> kneecaps, you say? <laughs> nice. We play gay chicken. You ever play this? Uh, gate prob- chicken? Probably gay. not. Gay uh, chicken? Oh, gay chicken. Hold on. Have you ever asked that question and got a yes? <laughs> yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah, gay chicken, yeah. I was in a gay chicken league for six years. Chicks play. I could tell. Yeah. I could tell he's got soft I love hands. Love the gay chicken. He's got soft hands. Why do I think I don't want to know? know. How this I don't know. Want to know? Oh no, it's a real chill game. It's uh, you stand there, you and your buddy stand there, you hold on each other's penis. Right. Okay. Right. And the right. first person to let go yep. is gay. Ah. That's right. I see. Gay chicken. So in other words, you guys. <laughs> Now, if you look them in the eyes, you get a warning. <laughs> There's a lot of hand washing in this game. If you look them in the eyes, you get a, a warning. Welcome to a new show called I've Never Been That Boy. Uh, yeah. <laughs>
and it the way they used to sew them, and there, it was like it was heavy, mm -hmm. and it would it would dig into your back, irritating yeah. you. Oh boy! So and, I, and uh, uh, the, they've I guess someone must have written them a letter because they've huh. they've gotten rid of it. So I tossed the old ones and nice. They nice, should probably redo them every eighteen months, two years anyway. Why? Does, they don't get holy or anything. Yeah. I mean, unless you're Ace, and Ace, of course, famous for the uh, flatulence no. uh, eating. Uh, my, I just noticed my underwear matches my scarf today. Ooh, oh, oh and her scarf is a cheetah print. <laughs> I did yeah. not do that. Oh, purpose. my gosh, that's amazing. Mm, yeah. Now, aren't you famous for when you get, this won't happen now that you're married, but when you would date, when you got a new man, you would throw out oh, all yeah. the old panties. All new underwear. And get all new, oh, that's hot. Absolutely. Good it's a job. waste of so you let money. No, no I'm with no. her. No. Oh, she, no, she have sold them. Yeah, you should have sold the Wipe old ones. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, sell your panties. You're right, Pat. You swipe right. it clean. You Move, know on. Maybe, Move on. You know, Josh, maybe you should become a panties agent. I would like to. I've tried to talk create people a, into Create a it. business where you would, you'd be the middleman. Yes. You could probably do this. I've offered to be an agent for, like, girls to have their own only fan. I go, look, I get half... But I will be the one to message all the dudes. I'll pretend I'm you. Oh, and you, would do you that? won't have to do anything. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> You'd hire out. Allie, Allie Breen joins us. Oh, there we go. There's, there she is. I'm sorry. <laughs> Allie, can I operate your OnlyFans page and get 50% of what you make? Yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. New all Year's right. resolution. Get on OnlyFans <laughs> Just, and make some send money. Send me some feet like pics. I'll post them. I'll deal with the creeps. Now, Allie, <laughs> uh, Allie uh, you're in New York, um, and you, yes. live, you live there. Are there any uh, of your friends that are comedians that uh, are on OnlyFans? I know of one for sure, because she's very open about it. Uh, I'd imagine there might be a few more. There are some guys. I mean, I know uh, our friends Mark Normand and Joe List are on <laughs> OnlyFans. Yeah, that's hilarious. Yeah, <laughs> but they just for their podcast. Do you? Does your friend uh, make a lot of money doing it? She just was on like the podcast uh, circuit, saying she made a million dollars in two years. Man, oh, yeah. ridiculous! What does I she know, put up so there? What kind of pictures? I have no idea. I don't know her that well, and I've uh, never you know something. Me. I don't know her, and I but I have an idea. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> she, I wonder if she, if she made a million know. dollars. She probably has a <laughs> has a camera that has a fisheye lens that can be inserted. Yeah. Oh jeez. <laughs> it's, oh, it's not what every comedian. It's not just her doing crowd work, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Unless it's like that sub dom thing where the crowd work is just oh, filthy and insulting. Right. Yeah. Right. That. <laughs> wow. Um, Crazy, right? It really makes you think about whether you should be on there. Yeah. Now you, you, I think you'd kill it. You would uh, kill it. The mm -hmm. foot thing is really surprising that more people... I don't know how to do the foot thing. I would put my feet everywhere. I could care less if people want to worship feet. It's the rest Allie, of Allie, we're sitting uh, on thousands a month. <laughs> Yeah. Just Josh, you, you let me know. Josh is my new agent, although you just told everyone it was going to be you messaging instead. Maybe that's part of the allure. No, they want to talk to you. Yeah. But they're not, they're not going to know. But it's still your feet, so it's okay. Yeah. But, yeah. I would think. No, yeah, you can't, you can't push Josh's feet onto you. They, they are going to be. These are alleys. I swear. <laughs> hey, hey, <laughs> little piggy <laughs> hey, hey, fellas, I, I call this one Fungus Man. <laughs> My feet are lovely. I get look, regular he's, pedicures. He's yellow and crusty. Oh. Uh, no, you, they're not. Do you want to apply the medicine with a Q-tip, boys? Yeah. I have terrific feet. I'll be proud to post them now if you want. All right. Let's do it. You know something? I, I, I'm Josh... Maybe we should become a little business and we, we, behind the scenes, become agents for various people. To Dude, I'm telling you, if, yeah. we, if, if we can recruit Allie, Christy, Alsman. My feet pictures are already on some website I, somewhere. Yeah, but, oh, I know. Oh, yeah, I think oh. we all are. <laughs> so here, I got, I got, here's, here's whose feet, we, here's whose feet we need. We got the beautiful Allie Breen, the beautiful Christy Lee, the beautiful Jessica Alsman and Haywood Banks. Yes. We, <laughs> One of these is not like the other. Yeah. You know, with Haywood, you never know. Good point. <laughs> Haywood's the kind of guy that he could have gorgeous feet, and he's been hiding them all these years. Goes and gets pedicures. Uh, I yeah. do. I bet who? Else? I bet Drew Hastings gets pedicures. I do too. Yeah. Oh, you do too, Pat. Yeah, I like it. We gotta go together. We should go. Sit in the massage chairs. Yeah, absolutely, it's fun. Chat. And spill the you tea. You can make a business out of that too. You can do a get ready with me while everyone goes and you know videotapes you getting pedicures before you show off your feet to the sex world. Yeah. I, I have a question. Yes. Why would you want to get a pedicure with a buddy? 
It's we can, fun. Instead of just, you know, I'm, I don't have to look at my phone. I can actually just chat with him and... Uh, don't you just like to sit uh, there in the oh, quiet okay. and enjoy her rubbing your feet? Too. Uh, Godwin's yeah. got great stories. Uh, yeah, so, we do uh, have yeah. together. We have a, a good uh, rapport. But Allie, you Andrew. let me know on this, all right? Yeah, I'm exactly. texting you later today. <laughs> okay. No. Perfect. She thinks it's I'm going to be a business. <laughs> <laughs> Allie Breen is our guest. Allie is a very fine comedian, and she is the hostess of a show we call Sexy Time. People write letters about their love troubles. We try to solve them. Never once have we been successful. Been successful. Oh, yep. What have you got, Allie? Dear Allie, I'm dating a guy who has a vasectomy, so he literally never wants to use condoms. That means he absolutely doesn't use condoms with anyone else, and we're not exclusive, so I actually want to use them more. He's laughing at me, and he says, STDs are a thing of the past. Uh. Is it a red flag I have to fight him on this? Yeah, well, yes. Wow. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. They're not a thing of the past. They are not a thing of the past. If you want him to wear he should be wearing one. Absolutely. Uh, unless uh, he's not circumcised, that's nature's condom. <laughs> From what I understand. Ah, oh, uh, more line. bad advice. Oh, boy. Uh, yeah, I was just reading an article about the huge increase. Although I'm very upset that, that now they're calling them STIs. Mm -hmm. I hate it when they change oh, stuff. Infection instead of disease? Well, yeah. yeah. Technically, yeah. that is well, not a correct, disease. It's, an infection. That's in the, it's like the brontosaurus doesn't exist. I hate yeah. all these changes. <laughs> Come on. Nothing's <laughs> consistent but exist? change. Hey, exactly. nothing's better than yeah, old school like, gonorrhea, babe. Yeah. <laughs> They've gotten, like, supersized, haven't they? Now they have, like, super gonorrhea. And yes. Super, it's really? like, they've gone crazy. I'll take the soup. <laughs> <laughs> super gonorrhea. I'll take the soup. Uh, that was almost <laughs> missed there, Jeffrey. Uh, that's oh. a great joke. Yeah, that's, uh, yikes, that's pretty scary. Well, good luck. Good luck out there. Yeah, I, that's a red flag. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. Yeah. He may Especially be clean. That response. He may be clean. He may be. Watch, now, prove, your, prove your point. You go get an STI and then give it to him and be like, see, you wouldn't have got it if you just <laughs> would have wore a condom. You Listen know, to me. that's an insane uh, answer that will absolutely work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I love it. <laughs> I love Jess so much. I thought she was going to say prove it and go get an STI test, but nope. No, no. That's so much better. Yeah, that, will, that will work. That will be effective. Can, yeah. you, can you go to the drugstore? Or to ask for one. Hi, I'd like an STD. Do you have anything? Uh, <laughs> Nothing permanent. Yeah. Something. Schmegma in a can to give them or something. Ugh. Schmeg in a can. Oh. Okay. Okay. I'd move on. All right. All right. I think we've done our Dear work. Dear Allie, I was having an affair with a married man and he got caught. He got kicked out of his house and he now wants to stay with me while he tries to work it out with his wife. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, right? I love him, and I still like seeing him, but staying with me puts me right in the middle of his whole divorce, doesn't yeah. it? This I think, I think yeah. maybe, maybe banging him puts you <laughs> in the middle right. of his what whole divorce. What are you talking divorce? about? <laughs> this is, isn't this how it works? If he gets caught, he lives with you now. No. That's the rule. Yeah. Oh. Both yeah. guilty. Yeah. 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 Now he's married to you. That's yes. Right. Yes. Or, no. or, or his other side whore. But <laughs> he wants to stay married. Well, yeah. why wouldn't he? Yeah, no joke. He's his <laughs> love changed. Money. Yeah. So what does he want to do? Keep his house, car, and stuff? <laughs> <laughs> See his kids again? What the, what the hell's wrong with this guy? <laughs> and he, li he likes his stuff? Yeah. What an idiot. Yeah, I think that's going to go over well with the wife. Oh, by the way, I'm staying with my mistress while we work this out. Yeah. You don't yeah. tell yeah, her. Yeah, she's going to kill her. Uh. <laughs> like, no, you can stay with me. I'll let her know to forward all your mail here mm -hmm. during this time while you're working. No. He, he lives with you, man. This is your fault. <laughs> yeah. I, I, your responsibility. I went to Daddy's new place. Wow, it's really weird because the lady there looks just like you, only younger and thinner. Oh. <laughs> oh. Boy, Whoa. you know what? You know kids have accidentally said things like that <laughs> sure. not knowing oh what they're doing. Uh, oh, my God. Uh, yeah, kids are the worst roasters without even knowing. Uh, Daddy's oh work God. friend is real pretty, Mom. It's <laughs> <laughs> gorgeous. Sorry. Uh, he oh, okay. calls her his work wife. But... You know, one time I did not know. I, I, this, I had no idea that my buddy was having an affair. Mm -hmm. And his wife, we worked together, and his wife called. Josh. Uh, and I said... <laughs> And I go, just a second, uh, he's he's on the other line with his girlfriend. Oh. Just making a joke because I knew her, too. And, right. uh -huh. and little did I know that, like, they were, she had just found out about oh. an affair. Oh. And I was, he, I got him in so much trouble inadvertently. Okay. Yeah. I had no oh. idea. Whoa. I was like, dude, you got to let me know when things yeah. are. <laughs> he goes, why should I, 
I didn't know you were going to say something like that. No, I had a friend do the same thing, told his lady that he was hanging out with me. No. And did, forgot to tell me. Yeah. And so she called oh. me looking for him. I'm like, I haven't talked to him in like three weeks. Oh, wow. <laughs> and oh, wow. ended up getting him in a ton of trouble. Right. right? Because I'm like, yeah. no, you have to let me in on the lie. I felt legit, so bad. No, but you, you, you don't want to be part of that lie. No. Right, you don't, no. but at the same, you also, it was like, oh, you man, don't want I to be never, part of getting caught. Yeah. Either. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. I still feel bad about that joke. <laughs> now that yeah. You didn't friend. cheat, Josh. It's not your fault. I know. I but I. Uh, when's no. the, so when's the last time you uh, saw Joe Edison? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have used his name. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Allie Breen is our guest. The show is Sexy Time. What do you got, Allie? Dear Allie, my girlfriend keeps leaving things at my house, like sweatshirts, shampoo, toiletries, things she doesn't want to keep bringing over. But I feel like she's slowly moving in, and it's making me anxious. Mm -hmm. It's making me want her to stay over less. Mm -hmm. Can I tell her that and just start staying at her house more? Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know about that. <sighs> yeah. Does, does he have other you girls coming her, over? She's not going to take it well. And maybe he just likes the real estate in his bathroom not to be occupied by 40 different kinds of shampoo. Or the other girls come in and go, hey, whose is this? Yeah, exactly. Right. Uh, hey, well, I don't know, but it makes yeah. her smell nice down there. Why don't you try some? <laughs> 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 here's a, here's a no-pest strip. <laughs> wow. Are you, sorry. A no-pest strip. <laughs> sorry, I don't know why I said that. I do. <laughs> No, this I mean, is tough. I, I, you, you need to do some thinking if you really like this girl. Yeah, or not. but what's so what? She leaves yeah. a toothbrush. Yeah. Maybe she, you, know, what's, you, know, you may not like her all that much. I mean, I, I also get as a guy who's very, uh, a, a, so somewhat of a commitment commitment phobe. Mm -hmm. I, I get just feeling pressure. Uh, when it's undue, even <laughs> there right. may not be other women. He may just go, "Hey, this is my house. I don't. I'm not." But yeah. you got to really think if you if you like her. So hmm. certain things should just yeah. Be that's pretty there, minor though. stuff. Yeah, it, it sounds minor. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just, what are you going to say, Alzi? What yeah. should be there? It's like toothbrushes and stuff. Because if you're hanging out and going to dinner and you're going to make out and stuff, like, wouldn't she want her own toothbrush? Exactly. Like, I There's have shared a with toothbrush that. with my boyfriend before, like back in oh. the day when we were in college, oh, yeah. or I was in college. Oh, yeah. Oh, because you're like, oh, I need a toothbrush. Whatever. Maybe Sick. try the oh. uh, more of a Ugh. comedic route. Oh. Like where she puts her toothbrush, put an enema bag in there. Oh. So she, she'll, she'll put a bunch of like weird stuff, <laughs> weird personal things in there. Yes. All around the stuff she's leaving. Yeah, just disgusting stuff around it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what happens. I'm not, what else could you put in there that would, she'd find really odd? And I had a girl, she was so hypocritical though. She would leave things like hairbrushes and hair at my house. And mm -hmm. she got so mad when I left something at her apartment. <laughs> Granted, it was an really? upper decker. But still. <laughs> I don't know why she was so mad. So this isn't fair. <laughs> okay, Allie. Sexy oh. time continues. What have you got? Dear Allie, my new boyfriend wants me to erase everything I have on social media of me and my ex. Is this a huge red flag or yes. is it reasonable? I don't think it's reasonable at all. I say it's a red flag. I agree. Yeah. Like First how, of all, who has the time to do that? Yeah, a yeah. and B, you're not looking at it. Who cares? And if he's jealous now, he will be that right. way forever. I mean, that's crazy. Yep. It's in the past. Erase it. Yeah. Oh, Pat. Oh. <laughs> really? I don't want to see it. Oh, boy. I'm jealous. I admitted. Erase it. Uh, <laughs> Pat, insecure? No. Oh. no. Comes to the territory. Oh. Mm. Yeah, you I guess like, it depends on how lovey-dovey they are. Like, if they're super lovey-dovey, maybe get rid of some of those ones. But all of them sounds crazy. And she should do it on her. If she, if she really wants to, she'll do it on her own. Right. right? The guy has yeah. no business. Yeah, but her. this is just the start. Ne next thing, she, he's going to want her to delete all her sex videos with her exes <laughs> yeah. off her phone <laughs> right. and stuff like that. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's all just her dick pics. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. Stop God. talking to her children. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're all mine. <laughs> <laughs> we got time for one more, Allie. Dear Allie, I'm a 30-year-old female starting to think my husband's best friend, John, has a crush on him. They've on been hunting him? buddies for years. Oh. On him. Oh, yeah. They've been hunting buddies for years. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, this sounds very Brokeback Mountain. And is now newly divorced. John was over at our house for a party on New Year's Eve, and he was acting very affectionate towards my husband, calling him Little Bugger and Cutie. Ooh. And was overly concerned with his whereabouts all night. My husband took his shirt off to change, and John called him a bear. Uh -huh. At one point, John called him an angry elf, 
And I realized my husband has called me that a few times over the last few days, which creeped me out. Uh oh. Then when my husband fell asleep before midnight, John went and checked on him and said how adorable he was. <laughs> what is going on here? Is this weird or am I uh, being sodomy? <laughs> The answer you're looking for. That uh, is very if, weird. If he's using the same term of affection about you, as, oh boy. Mm. It sounds like but at least. But her husband's not using it back. Right, That's at least the, the friend. Is... The man, oh man. The friend yeah. may really have. Because, you know, if I call Godwin a cutie right now, most people go, oh, yeah, clearly he's joking sure. around. But if I do it 12 times this morning. <laughs> People are going to go, eh, you may not be <laughs> yeah. joking. And brush his hair back delicately, like, oh, how cute is yeah. your hair? I that is weird. So, what, I, so now, what exactly is the question, though? Is she, <laughs> how, how concerned should she be, yeah. I guess? Yeah, how concerned if she should pr- try to cut them off or something, I guess? It, it, I just like angry elf as a term of infe- affection. Yeah. <laughs> too. In her husband's defense, I... I accidentally dated a guy for six months, but I didn't know we were dating. I thought we were just friends. Wait a minute. And then, uh, <laughs> wait, wait a minute. <laughs> no, like, like I, uh, I met a guy at work right? and he wanted to hang out and he right? was a cool dude and we hung out and uh-huh. we'd go do stuff. And then, like, six what, months in, you found out he, like, tried to kiss me. And I was like, oh, no. Oh. And he goes, well, oh. well we. We have a thing, and I was like, "No, we're just fr-. Oh. like I have no idea." How old and then you? I knew what every woman I had done that to felt like. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Oh, this is weird. No wonder they hate it." How old? How old were you? Oh, like twenty six. <laughs> wow! Well, time to that experiment. Know? Yeah. So no, there was no really experiment. Really I just you, his name was Wade. He was a hairdresser. That <laughs> probably shouldn't tip me off. But yeah, I had no idea. I was really yeah. And That's he goes, oh, amazing. I thought we were a couple. Was he? Ba- he was just oh. baffled. He was as baffled as you were. Yeah, I think so. Wow. Yeah. Did, Did you were... ask him why it took him six months to make a move? That's a long time. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't I know. know. Maybe he was yeah. waiting on me to make a move. I don't know. But... I, thought, I thought there were like rules and codes and like Judy Garland albums. <laughs> I mean, he would he he would compliment me, but but I, huh? You know, I isn't there a handbook telling you, hey, I'm just. It was uh, very baffling. And how dare you try to kiss me during our weekly Sex in the City marathon? <laughs> <laughs> if you knew how close you were. I think it was six feet under. But uh, oh, <laughs> Wow, well, that's nice. Okay, I, 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 Allie, thank you, Allie. Thanks, Allie. Are, are thank you, wor- you, guys. Are you working these days? Yep, I'm back down in Brooklyn this weekend at Eastfield Comedy Club. And she can be seen on OnlyFans this weekend. Yeah. Information coming soon. <laughs> exactly. You have one debut. subscriber. I mean, uh, not me. Um, yeah, you may, you may look into that, Josh. It'd be, be fun. Thanks, Allie. Bye, yeah, Allie. Thanks, guys. Bye, Allie. Oh, I my, am, uh, my girlfriend just texted me. Are you in trouble? No. She goes, oh, I remember Wade. <laughs> <laughs> I remember Wade. Yeah, oh, she knew That's the name of a... John Cheever story. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great story, Jeff. The summer uh, of Wade. Kind of, <laughs> this is very weird. Wade. I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of a compliment, I guess. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, it was, it was very weird. So, did, yeah. did he make lots of references to the, the like the way you groom yourself, or did he? Well, he was a hairdresser, so did, did yeah. Oh, I thought you were joking. No, he really was a hairdresser. Did he cut? Yeah. Your, did he cut your hair? Yeah. <laughs> That's how I knew him was he was my barber, oh. and then we started Silence. hanging out. And So the time he, he cut your pubes into a, a Valentine's heart, you thought, wait a minute, maybe he's trying to say something. Oh, he's a, a good well, barber. He's really <laughs> yeah. You're good with a razor, my friend. Okay, I'm sorry. This is a, all these revelations on the show. Um, I tell you what, I was talking to a friend of mine, and he, he, he and his wife do... Um, they do HelloFresh three three times a week, and uh, it's just terrific. They love it. And why? Because it saves them so much time. There's a whole bunch of stuff with HelloFresh that's really cool. One of them is you don't have to go, well, what am I going to make for dinner tonight? Well, hey, the box is here. We ordered it last week. It's from HelloFresh. And HelloFresh, they do the shopping. They do the measuring. You put it together. So we're talking obviously fresh ingredients, obviously restaurant quality food. And uh, sometimes you put it together in five, ten minutes, pop it in the oven, et cetera, et cetera. And you've got more than 40 choices every week. What are you looking at, Christy? This one is one of those quick, easy meals. 30 minutes or less. You have chicken sausage flatbreads with broiled zucchini and fresh oregano. It looks amazing. It takes six simple 
simple steps. And the next thing you know, you have this w- gorgeous, why eat out when you give you this gorgeous flatbread at home with chicken sausage and zucchini and oregano? Yum. And, and again, you save that time in the grocery store. I always do the same thing. Let's see, you know, sour cream is where, horseradish, where is it in this building? It's, uh, yeah, yeah, no, they do all that for you. It's right there in the box. And we're talking about uh, stuff over here, vegetarian if you want it, and way over here, good old-fashioned comfort food, everything in between, including... To celebrate 2024, maybe you've got some food goals. How about some calorie smart meals or protein smart recipes? And it's not just the recipe. It's the food. It's right there. You put it together. HelloFresh wants you to try it. So they've got a terrific deal out there, of course. And something kind of interesting that is brand new is free breakfast for life. What I'm talking about is with each, um, as long as you keep your subscription open, with each box, you're going to get a free breakfast. So check it out by going to HelloFresh.com slash BT Show Free. Once again, that's the code BT Show Free. HelloFresh.com slash BT Show Free. Try it. See if you like it. Uh, and you're going to get restaurant quality food. By the way, a lot less food waste, and that's certainly important. You know those things where you, well, I'm going to make this for dinner, and you're done. You go, well, now I've got six pounds of flotsam and jetsam I got to toss. No. <laughs> <laughs> Hello Fresh. They have uh, done the shopping for you and they've done the measuring. Check it out. Have some fun. Great food. It's a great way to teach the kids to cook also. HelloFresh.com slash BT show free. Coming up, we're going to get in our history lesson. If it's as exciting as yesterday's, we'll do it again tomorrow morning. Oh, That's boy. right. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. Even though we're not too much to look at, you can also watch the show on our YouTube channel. You think you lost money in investing? My whole people lost money in investing. <laughs> Bernie Madoff came along and took, oh, all, wow. took set us back ten thousand years. I hate that guy so much. I hate Bernie Madoff so much. Not and not for what he did, because I don't care about the rich. I uh-huh. hope they lose their money. But no, for how he looked physically. Did he have to look so Jewish while he was doing that? He's already the image of a Jew that's in every redneck's paranoid mind's eye. Just some crook nosed Jew on top of a pile of gold coins, swimming in it like Scrooge McDuck. Like, ah, I'm gonna take the ten thousand money. Ah. Like, I always trip out when I see somebody that so fully embodies a stereotype like Bernie Madoff did. Like, when you see a nerd who's actually wearing a pocket protector, like, they don't even make pocket protectors anymore. <laughs> Believe me, I know. That guy had to go out and hand mold the plastic resin <laughs> in his nerdy little pocket. Or when you're driving in traffic and somebody cuts you off and you look into the car and it is, in fact, an Asian woman, you're like, are you kidding me? Are you serious? Are you seriously going to be Asian right now? There are people watching you. Mm-hmm. Have a a little bit of self-respect and don't be Asian. Like when I'm walking along and I see a quarter on the ground, I don't pick it up. It kills me not to, <laughs> but I don't do it because there's people watching. Bro. There are people watching. You, know, you don't yeah. want to reinforce the stereotype. No. That's correct. Oh, you got to oh, oh, keep it real. Uh, uh, Moshe Kasher is our guest. I live, uh, I live in L.A. now. I live in, I sort of, I live near Hollywood. I live across the street from a 99 cent store because huh? comedy makes dreams come true. Uh, yes. Yeah, they have a, they now have a, they now sell a 99 cent pregnancy test. Have you seen that? No. Yeah. How bad does one's life have to be? Like, how far down the socioeconomic ladder do you need to flop before the 99 cent pregnancy test seems like a viable health option? The 99 cent pregnancy test when you kinda have to know. Uh. <laughs> so I bought one. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, why not? Just to see what would happen. I peed on the little stick. And? Turns out... I have hepatitis C. <laughs> <laughs> I caught it from Who the knew? test. <laughs> wow, cool. I, I made this crazy movie called Freddy Got Finger, mm-hmm. and it was, uh, you know, I wrote it, I directed it, and it was a really, really crazy movie, and, uh, you know, it won the Raspberry Awards, and the people said it was the worst movie ever, ever made, made, and all this yeah. stuff. Mm-hmm. But no, that was sort of the point, was to make the, the craziest movie. The worst movie, movie yeah. Mm-hmm. kind of the point of it, right? So now what's happened is, and, and really what's been a really exciting thing about going and, and doing these shows is... You know, people are coming out to the shows. They're bringing their Freddy Got Finger DVDs, and and it's turned to, uh, it's sort of turned into a sort of a bit of a cult, sure. you know, mm-hmm. smash. I've gotten a call from the studio recently. They said the the DVDs have been selling through the roof. They've sold over a million units of the didn't, DVD. And didn't I hear that you you're going to do a director's cut? Did I want is, now. I want to do a director's cut of the movie <laughs> because you know <laughs> because there are scenes that just you know when you when you edit a you know when you do one of these commercial studio movies, especially a movie like that, they focus group it, and you had to change 
change things and tighten it all up. Right. So there are some some crazy scenes that I'd like to get back into it. But also it's sort of just the, I think the irony of doing a director's cut for me sure. personally is pretty funny. Whenever there's a movie, there's always a porno movie that someone makes based on the yeah. title. Yeah, it was no. called Freddy Got Fingered. <laughs> <laughs> okay, back to you, Tom Green. <laughs> people actually, to be honest, the things that people really like out of the movie are some of the sillier scenes, not sort of, not so much the gross scenes, but mm -hmm. people, people always come up to me and they say, Daddy, would you like some sausage? Which is this line from the movie. Daddy, would you like yeah. some sausage? So I sing that on stage. Uh, you know, come, come see me on tour. We'll, we'll be singing some of the hits. Sing along. But, uh, right. <laughs> you know, that's, that's your stairway to heaven? People, yeah, that's my stairway. I, the Bum Bum song would be my stairway to heaven. That, that went to number one on MTV, the Bum Bum song. When you Google Freddy Got Fingered, the first thing that comes up, the first line is Freddy Got Fingered quotes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing. Yeah. And then you go to that page in the sausage. Yeah. The sausage organ comment is the very first line. Yeah. There's all sorts of very silly lines in the movie. Yeah, it's there's not, a whole pile of quotes yeah, here. Yeah, so I was in a rap group when I was in Canada when I was a teenager. That was actually... What were they called? We were called Organized Rhyme. We were actually had a record deal when I was mm. 19 years old. No with, kidding. Went right out of ah. high school with A&M Records and we had a number one hit, you know, in, in many Canada? markets in Canada. We were the Much Music uh, Video Award of the Year for Best Rap Video. That was sort of the... Is that uh, on your website? Uh, you can find it on there. Yeah, you can find it on there and you can find it on YouTube. And... Uh, you know, the thing, that was sort of my first sort of realization. Hey, I, I want to work in show business, That's, you know. Yeah. I was I was sort of like, all of a sudden I had this record, and we were touring, and we were doing radio shows, and I, I went and started my radio show and right after that. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it was initially a rap music show that I turned into a talk show, which then turned into my TV show. But, uh, but so... Uh, yeah, I, I, I've had a lot of great rappers on my on my website too. Like if you go on on, on TomGreen.com, you can see me rapping with uh, Too Short and Exhibit. There's this funny video of me rapping with Exhibit mm -hmm. where I surprise him with this rap that's ended up on YouTube. It's got two and a half million views now, and mm -hmm. you know it's sort of funny because you see these rappers who just aren't expecting me to start rapping, and then right. I start rapping in their face, which is fun. So. <laughs> Canadian rap, right Canadian rap. You. Yeah, you can see why you haven't heard of it. Hey. Canadian rap. Tom Green is our guest. <laughs> I'm glad everything's okay yeah. now. Yeah. Now, are you dating at all? Do you see anyone? Are you? No, I don't. I don't. I mean, I, I try. You know, they're doing that internet dating, which. Uh, have you tried that? I have tried it. Yeah, but but it, I just don't. I don't see a future in it because there's no story. If you do get married with your kids, you know, I was checking the box score and then I double clicked on your mom's head. <laughs> <laughs> Pizza Hut, apparently, Pizza Hut. is going to start delivering cold beer along with their food. No oh, kidding. Why? They started t uh, the testing beer delivery program in Phoenix, Arizona. And it passed with flying colors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everyone did. Yeah. So how do you prove that uh, you're, you're of illegal age? The company Legal. told Fortune Magazine it bled yes, to expand I'd that. I'd like a large <laughs> pizza, please, <laughs> and 40 beers. <laughs> Bob and Tom. 24 7. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Second. Hey there, it's the Bob and Tom Show. Thank you for being here with us. We've got some exciting things in the world of history coming up, and uh, we'll go over what we've learned this morning, which is quite a bit, Tom. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's right. Now, um, before we get to that, we have to do a review today in history. I mm know -hmm. uh, we already did yesterday in history today, but we're trying to get. Um, oh, no, huh? Today in history. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> uh, time, time. On this date, in uh, 1958, mm -hmm. Jerry Lee Lewis' Great Balls of Fire went number one in the UK. Mm -hmm. mm. Um, How did that get past the censors? It's not about testicles, Pat. Is it? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, on, on a much more contemporary note... 1999, The Sopranos debuted on HBO. Overrated. I yeah, watched it for the first time. I haven't watched it yet either, but there's a great TikTok. 
that's running around that has the 25 years of The Sopranos in a TikTok video. It's like... Oh, like the condensed... Yeah. Uh, that's great. Right. Are you enjoying it, Osmond? Your first viewing? Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, isn't it terrific? I'm going to watch gosh, it at some Christy, point. And, and the, you, I, I want to say it's... Uh, maybe you guys remember the episode with the uh, priest and the rainstorm. That is the only yes. one I have seen. Oh, you've seen that one? I have seen that's that one. some of the best television ever made. Yes, yeah, and oh, that's yeah. why I looked it up, because you mentioned that, yeah. It's a, a, a incredibly brilliant. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's do some birthdays here. Oh, here's a good one. What? I bet everyone's wrong about this. 1864, George Washington Carver. Mm-hmm. Yeah? He, he did not invent peanut butter. Well, what'd he do? Carved the first turkey. Oh, isn't no, that something? Everyone assumes that he invented because that's when you that kind of kid thing. No, he was a brilliant man, but he did not, in fact, invent peanut. Did butter. he have anything to do with it? He must have. <sighs> you know that people with peanut allergies consider him the devil. <laughs> <laughs> you know that? That's that's a fact. Um, oh, this is hard to believe. Rod Stewart today turns seventy nine. Man, wow. mm, really? Yeah. Ooh. Do you think he's sexy? Sure, always have. Instead of spankings on his birthday, Rod Stewart gets stomach pumps. Oh, that's, oh, that that's old so rumor. not true. That, that oh, old God. fact, yes. <laughs> who did he... <laughs> did he I've always wanted to ask, oh, who did, yeah, who did he anger? Who did he and Richard Gere piss off that they <laughs> started that? And Danny Thomas, maybe. Oh, God. Yeah. Uh, Oh, and by the way, uh, happy birthday to the great Donald Fagan from Steely Dan. And that's my understanding. He's back on his feet and, and opening for the Eagles with Steely yep. Dan. Mm -hmm. So I, and I, I don't know. He was in the hospital, so I'm glad he's doing well. Uh, the guy is a, a musical genius and a great performer. If you get a chance to see the Eagles, that's a terrific, terrific show. And Steely Dan, of course, the, the, uh, the sadly, Walter Becker is gone, but Donald has carried on. And they are put on a tremendous show. And that's my cue to be quiet. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> the band is playing him off. <laughs> I'd, like I'd, like I'd like to thank the Academy. Yeah. <laughs> Time now for things we learned on the Bob and Tom Show. Chick McGee on assignment today. Thank you, Jeff Oske, for joining us. Uh, Jeff Oske is thinking about getting a bidet. I already have one. I'm doing slightly better than Jeff. Oh. <laughs> slightly? <laughs> Let's be honest. Nutella, doing way better. Nutella, not chocolate icing, and it makes me mad. <laughs> Quit pretending to be chocolate icing, Nutella. It's a hazelnut spread. <laughs> Jeff Oske recently got a new tattoo, and uh, he said that his, this will anger his girlfriend, but it cost him $1,800. I did not say it. <laughs> you told us in private it was <laughs> Listen, they Jeff had was... to shave your arm to do that, didn't they? Yeah, that was four hundred of the eighteen hundred dollars. <laughs> I, I got a question about the Sopranos. Yes, real, real quick, and I'll be done. Uh, you ever notice the show? He always had to get up and walk down to get his paper. Mm -hmm. Sure, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Don't you think if you were the head mafia guy, you might? I don't know. Tip the kid and say, bring it to the door, will you? <laughs> well, don't you think if you were the paper boy delivering to the head mafia, you would bring it to yeah. the door? Yeah. <laughs> Whether he asked yes. you to yes. or not. Yes. With, with free coffee yeah. yes. and a hooker. <laughs> okay, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Think you know your pro football? Then play Pigskin Pick'em every week at bobandtom.com slash contest. It's your chance to win a Minimax Big Green Egg. This is the Bob and Tom Show.